All right, all right. We're about ready to get started here on the second day of the Divinity Original Sin Arena World Cup. It's a World Cup, but I gotta say, the European side of things, uh, it's been a little lopsided. I'm American, but I've only got one North American representative here. Three Europeans, as we get a quick look into the bracket here before we'll get started today. But the first match should be Dotting versus Strong Pass. Then the American representative, Meister, or Ian, going against Meister. Meister being the round out for the Europeans. But it should be some good matches. We had some really, really good matches last time around. I mean, Dotting being the one winning to advance off a 1 HP snipe. I mean, he just barely, barely lived and managed to move on in a 2-1 set. That set being against Meister, so potential for a rematch. Who knows? That was maybe the best match we saw yesterday. It certainly had the most excitement, I would say. But hey, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I mean, anything can happen. And now that we've moved on to this side of things, since it is a top six, uh, there's no such thing as loser's brackets anymore, just losing. If you lose, that's it. You're out. So, unfortunate, you know, with some disqualifications and whatnot, we couldn't run a full top eight with a, you know, loser's side of things. Now... You gotta win at this point in the game. It's, uh, as they say, win or go home. But either way, we have really, really strong competitors left right now again. So as we get closer and closer towards the matches starting, I'm sure Joe will be here with me in, before too long. We'll get things started. I know... Both Dotting and Strong Pass are here, so we do have the match lined up. We'll just wait uh, to get everything set up and put together right where it needs to be. We'll also have a little bit of a... I suppose if you are interested in competitive PvP Divinity Original Sin 2 Arena type gameplay... I have a little bit of an announcement at the end of the tournament. I suppose I won't say what it is. You know, I, I, I got to hype it up. I mean, come on, you got to hype it. So I'm not going to say what it is. Although, if you're in the Discord, you probably already know. But if there's anyone not in the Discord, I'm just going to not say. You know? You have to wait and see. So. Uh, they're good to go. They are? Okay, I think Dotting sent me a link to watch. It's still loading right now, so I mean, he might just be, like, tabbed out, or maybe he'll have to send me another one, but aside from that, uh, everything's good to go on my end. But it will be Dotting Strong Pass first, right? Yeah, correct. Gotcha. I'll go check with him, I guess. Yeah, he might just need to send me another link, or I don't know, maybe he's tabbed out, but. Oh, what? Did. Hi. <laughs> Sorry if you were using all caps and got hit by <laughs> hit by Nightbot. I'm sorry about that. I should probably I just put Nightbot in recently. He's not well trained yet. I don't mind all caps, personally. Especially if you're cheering someone on. So 
Yeah, I was surprised too. I get a message, I'm like, ah, oh, God, the bots are here. And it's no, it's just, you know, a good natured dotting fan showing support. I'm cool with that. So, I don't know. Nightbot just is, he's, he's temperamental. Hmm. I'm not sure why the. I'm a dotting fan too after yesterday. But for some reason, his broadcast is not a fan of me. So, I'll try and get that sorted out, but... Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see here. What's... I'm gonna Still tell... no good? Doesn't work? Yeah, it didn't work that time either. If he... Okay. Well, let's let's just use uh, Discord then, I guess, for for this round. Uh, let's try. You want to try one more time, just because I hate how Discord. Yeah, the quality you know, on Discord is terrible. It's, I know. It's I know, really I know. bad. Uh, okay, so you got you got Dadding's point of view. What about StrongPass? Did he try to share it to you? He didn't. Let me. Uh, oh, I think Dotting sent it one more time. Please, Dotting. I have. I believe. I believe Dotting. Oh, he might not have it up anymore, because it didn't work. Which is understandable, but I don't remember. Yeah, this is a bit. Hey, there it is. You gotta have faith in dotting. It worked. You gotta gotta have go faith in dotting. He deserves right. win. He deserves the win for that. Uh, Let's go. Yeah, well, you know, I I don't want to be biased or anything, but <laughs> he did stick it out, and third time's the charm. <laughs> but there it is. We do have it set up. And ready to go. Radeka, Radeka ban, and Arhu. So maybe someone angling for the Lohar. I'm not sure. I'd likely just. I see up there. They're still, they're still talking in Discord, figuring out their, their oh, picks and I'll bands. Oh, I'll check with them that they know that they're ready to go. Yep. Oh yeah, they might not know that we're all set up here, but yeah. I appreciate that they typed out the bands too. Nice catch right. on that strong pass. They didn't. They didn't see us uh, getting started. So. Oh, it's okay. But, you know, I'm sure, soon. I can't tell what map they picked as my German is not very strong. <laughs> that doesn't sound that doesn't to me that doesn't look like Enemy in the Gates. That doesn't look like Skyfort. Uh, You'd assume it would have like the same amount of words, right? It doesn't look like Trial by Fire. Yeah, they all have several what names. The, what was the last one? What's the last legal map? Well Skyfort Skyfort only would be one name, I guess. It's like one combined name, so it could be that one. We will see soon enough. Yeah, I guess it's probably one of the Skyfort or uh, what's it? Chapel? Is Chapel the other one? I don't know if that has a full name. Yeah, no, it's like Chapel and Cliff. Oh yeah. Words. yeah. Well, either uh, way, but something wow. we do understand: picks and bands. Uh, Jahan slain Tarquin, yeah. and Lohar did get picked up. Radiga is getting popular now banned, so we see Jahan's get through. I I, I I I feel like just a couple of bombs and it'll be... <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Discord works! Oh my god, the Discord bot works. I'm spamming oh, that. Yeah. You've been you've been relieved, Mason. You are no longer uh, a bot. Wow. You are free. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> you ended up uh, posting the VODs last night too? Oh, anyway, let's just focus on the game for now. Let's go! Yeah. We've got a Lohar opening coming up. This is very classic. My classic. Will he throw a nade or not? Gonna find out soon. No, he's he'll back it up a little bit, it seems. And uh Well I mean what do we think would happen here? It's gonna be the Jahan. The classic. You know, I did draft um Lohar to uh 
Yeah, Yan told me. It. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the curse. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets past it and then it spreads. He get, so he brings that along with him, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's another Ian thing there. Ooh, necrofire instantly. Yeah, I, I soothing cold. Get back a little bit of that magic armor. Ooh. Taking a little bit of damage to navigate that way out. But it's clear he has, you know, sort of a setup he wants to go for on the opposite side. Slain. He needs to get rid of that web. If he doesn't get rid of the web, he can get cursed and webbed and get two turns stuck there. People are, have been learning that the tough way. We'll see. Alexander. Just rain for now. But. He still has some more AP to work with. There is a body right there to get source vamped, so. Yeah, like he can't. He can't. He's not in range. You mean for. for um. Tarkin right now, or for the other side? Oh, uh, for the other side, if they want to do yeah, the yeah, curse yeah. web. No, Tarkin, Tarkin's not getting his hands on anything right now. <laughs> no, Tarkin's just going to be hanging out. He can summon, but... He can summon a spider, I guess. In terms of what he's going to do, he's going to stay put. Yeah, I think getting the spider out is a good idea, and then maybe a totem. Yeah, in terms of what he can do, this is, uh, this is about it. No blood totem, sadly. I, can, yeah, I just... don't think this is going to reach, but I guess it's good defense if they push on him later. Yeah, not the worst. Trying to find a burrow angle. Yeah, I don't really know. I, I, I mean, He can see the top. He can just go on Lohar, but I guess he's trying to go on someone else than Lohar because Lohar has high uh, fizz armor anyway. I think he's just testing, yeah, if he can't get in the back line and cause some trouble. The spider doesn't have much durability, especially against mages, but he's peeking. You know, he, he oh, can he do. Ends, he a decides lot of to end turn. He could have, like, moved for 2 AP, I guess. Really? He does. Oh, no, that end makes turn. sense. Because if he. He would have been, like, on fire, I guess, if he moved, but. Oh, decides to go in on Tarquin. That's going to be a. Boxing move right there, I believe. Oh no, it's a straight up chicken, okay. Yeah, not gonna with adrenaline being I imagine you no, he's using it here. He actually didn't use it on the opener. I had forgotten. But now we probably will see some ruptured tendons to complete the combo. I mean the ruptured tendons, if he's in web, it's not chicken's not gonna run far, you know, <laughs> so Yeah, he's actually not in webbed right now but if he runs right into the web like you said yeah he's just gonna uh get stuck but he doesn't cast rupture just cc just keeping tarquin controlled so it's good that he got the bone spider out instead of just hanging out because now he at least has something, something about on you the field. Yeah. yeah hmm so he comes out of the the web pretty okay i would say with only one, you know, Tarquin's a chicken. That's unfortunate. But <laughs> well, Tarquin did. Well. <laughs> he had to go right there. He, yeah, he I, I, uh, uh, I, I was wondering. I was like, please, <laughs> please don't walk forward. I was gonna take care of the web. One thing you can do with Jahan is uh, he could throw fire on the slain. Oh no, but the slain is gonna be. No, the slain is freed already. Okay, no, that's all good. Not so bad, especially because he got some good hits in on Lohar, but, uh, you know, I think it could have been a little better if, if maybe he just navigated a bit away from the web, but... Yeah, yeah, you know, you like know, point, point two AP to get away from it. And you maybe had some faith that he'd be able to. It happens. Who was it that was immune to uh, slipping yesterday? That was Crow, right? Oh, Crow. Crow that could literally crazy. not Funny. slip on ice. <laughs> I don't know how or why, but he was walking over ice like it wasn't there. 
So B Bunny would have gone straight there and he would have been just fine. <laughs> yeah. Imagine Slain will take to the skies I, I would here. I would stay with his team if I were him, but... I it depends. Going in. Yeah, it looks like he's going to... Oh, wanna... he stacked up full EP, though. That's that's an insane. Yeah, really this, this should be a big... Big Slain turn. I like that he pre-casted Wings last turn when he wasn't going to be able to do much. Saves one AP, yeah. So... Oh, wow, he's already that low on armor thanks to the... Okay, that's a lot worse than I thought. You know, with the blob... Now frozen. Is he going to keep that, or he's going to cast it? He casts? No, okay, he keeps it. Yeah. Wait, he just got his turn? I thought he was frozen. <gasps> it said... I, in German, did that say extra turn? Did, uh, did, oh. a, did I miss a ti uh, time warp cast? Yeah, maybe he was time warped. That would explain it. I did not see it, though. No. Time warp, yeah. Ah, good to know my German skills from... I have German Where? heritage, so, you know, yeah, of course I can speak a little, you know. <laughs> nah, I just figured the pop-up would have to be e extra turn, otherwise it wouldn't make sense, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... We should be... I'm sure people in the chat... Have you been looking at the chat at all? I'm sure... The, yeah, the I peek every now and again. Yeah, that's how, oh, I, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. I knew I was right. I wouldn't have just assumed I was oh, right. I saw okay, someone I was who didn't know, chat. So. I, thought, I just thought you were clever there, man. Mm, <laughs> this, guy, no. this guy studied some, some divinity before, before casting this weekend. No, I... I, saw him. I can... Well, yeah. Me, though, I can cheat. I can, can just cheat. cheat with a chat <laughs> that knows many, <laughs> many things that I don't. But... Either way, Lohar gets to high ground, but still... He's burning. I don't know if he's going to he do from burning. up there, honestly. No, I think he just wanted to get him out of the way and maybe make it a little bit of a risk to go up there and challenge him if you're low AP and you don't get to take care of him once you arrive. He's also has the wear... They're range, though, and slaying... Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, so. it's, a, it's not good. I, it, I don't, it's really weird. I feel like a lot. Everybody's been saying like, "Oh, Lohar's broken. Lohar's broken." But like, people don't necessarily know how to play him that well. It feels like Ooh. everyone's like, "How will I play against Lohar?" And they've put a lot of thought into that, but not into how to play him really. No, because most people know Lohar as the guy with the crazy opener. But yeah. the <laughs> really, really good Lohar players, you know, they learn what to do after the opener. So Well, I don't know. Talking to Ian yesterday, he was just like, well, no, you pretty much just throw the web and throw smoke and <laughs> call it a day. So, yeah, it's it's like a very dismissive, you know, like that's just what you do and then that's it. <laughs> but And then you win. <laughs> there was some, you know, I forget exactly who it was. It might have been Dotting, actually, who had some decent Lohar play in that after that opener. And, but he did lose. But he made Lohar look useful even post opener yeah so yeah, see, lohar is just gonna die yeah it is the issue with lohar for sure though is that after his crazy opener he doesn't well he's supposed he's supposed much. to go invisible and then sneak up stack ap and do some crazy combo but he just chicken for no damage and ran i don't know mm, even with just chicken just chickening is oh that worked Oh, is he gonna pop some uh, ice? Sorry, I just I just thought it was out of range, but I think it actually dealt no damage to the. Yeah, yeah that, that's weird. It dealt no damage to the Alexander there. Still gets a freeze off. Uh, Lohar's not going to be able to do much this turn without burning to death. I don't think he, he needs can go to. Uh, he, he can very easily just. Uh, oh, is he gonna? Ah, uh, he's got a grenade. Oh, that was uh, that was Alexander's grenade. Okay, and then he's like gonna that. curse. I thought he was gonna go for the smoke. I would go for the smoke grenade at this point, not this one. But I'll go ahead and curse some fire. Jahan is. Oh well, no. Jahan's lost all his magic armor, and that's what he has the most of. So I guess that's not bad. But Jahan, he gets out of there without getting lit on fire. That's good for him. I, that was pretty sneaky. <laughs> yeah, Just I guess so. With how the game is sometimes, you never know exactly. Oh. Oh, did he just curse it? I, I believe I think he, he just uh, cursed the ball. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, that no. was uh, unfortunate. Now he's all sourced up. 
but not before, you know, being you quite know, rude to Yo, these guys have been, body. like, chilling with me in Discord for, like, two hours before the tournament. They could have been practicing that. <laughs> <laughs> they Maybe they just wanted to hang out. out. Come on, man. They just want to hang out. <laughs> yeah, they just want to hang. Nothing okay. Wrong with that. We can goof on, on stream at the end. It doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> nice double laser. Find the angle. It's still I, I've, relatively close, I'd say, this game. I've posted the tournament on like my public Facebook. Like clearly everyone watching is gonna be like people who have like two thousand hours in the game and then there's gonna be like maybe like my aunt <laughs> yeah, tuning in. Like, yeah. Props Ooh. to my aunt if she she's here like <laughs> not understanding anything. <laughs> just just you know, having a I good time. I appreciate the effort. <laughs> cool spell animations. Yeah, the game looks pretty at least, that's that's yeah. for sure. As long as as long as Ian is not the one holding the camera, we're gonna get to enjoy yeah. a little bit of it. <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing, Dotting, you you better not be listening to this, but great camera work. Because if you are listening great to it, that's work. that's kind of cheating, man. Don't do that. Focus on the match. But great camera work. <laughs> See it in the vod. Oof. There goes all that physical armor in one shield. It didn't bounce? Oh no, it didn't bounce, yeah. A little bit too far apart. Yeah. I guess it's hard to know exactly the bounce range. I don't know if it's stated. Uh. And now Slain gets put in timeout. In permafrost. Never coming out. Why has he not... He just needs to... Oh, he went down there? I don't understand. I'm pretty sure it, the body at the um, south should be fresh. That means he could easily have sucked it and then blessed the fire up there, I think. I mean, that would have been a big play. He would have been safe there basically forever. But And I think Dotting's kind of calculating, was calculating out how much more he needs to do with Lohar, if whether or not he's going to burn next turn uh but we did see a sucker punch surprise uh to knock jahan down so lohar still being a little bit of a nuisance not having hugely impactful turns but uh definitely being a little annoying as tarquin i don't believe he's gotten to physically move he casted a bone widow but in terms of actual movement he's been stuck in that same spot i think since the start we'll see what the slug can do or no alexander right now you got the mage bros up here He fortified himself, but really thinking about what he wants to do, and I think he's going to keep going for Tarquin. And yeah. with that entangle, Tarquin's really not moving. Yeah. <laughs> Tarquin... Stuck there. Yeah. But, I mean, he resists death, and then you're fine staying there for a bit, I guess, so... He's not resisting death? We'll see. He's looking for... Can't quite he get has to three that. AP. I don't know if he saw that he had three AP because if he does not know that he has three AP, he doesn't cast. Yeah. Edge here. He He's he is shocked. Busting. He is shocked. Yeah. And sometimes that's kind of easy to just not overlook. Yeah. Think okay, about. I think but he, hopefully, if he if he notices. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It does look like he's kind of. Yeah, I think he was mathing out between the movement and what he has, checking some ranges, but. I do think his best bet is, because he's not in range of anything, he could throw up a totem. And I don't think the totem can hit anything with that slight elevation, but I think he did the right thing. Man, I, I feel hate. like this is this is a warm-up round. <laughs> it feels pretty goofy. Yeah, there's been some uh, misplays for sure. So he can just barely clip him. He can, and that's enough. 
I mean, it is even, actually. I believe... No. no, it's just with only Alexander. Is it only Alexander left? On the other side here? No, it's not. Zandalor is the only one. Alexander was the one. Oh, Alexander? Okay, okay, yeah. yeah he I, was I, victim. I read the situation quite wrong there. Oh, yeah, so he had the... Never mind. Okay, that's a stomp, yeah. For, for a moment, I got confused, and I thought, like, Jehan was on, like, like the surviving team, but no. <laughs> Jehan is on the team dominating. I'm gonna go and zap the slug away. But not a not a great position for Xandalore to be in. Gonna do what he can, but it would be uh, a really... Really impressive comeback. Especially, I mean... Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Tarquin just needs no, what? No, one... no, don't, don't try it. <laughs> Not like last time? To... No, 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 you never know. Last time we thought it was open and shut here on a dotting match, but this should be pretty much over. Ooh, he can actually hit from it's there. It's his turn. Let's see what he does. What's the comeback move here, eh? Yeah, if he has anything... Maybe, but I... He can't really run. The spider has opportunity. He can't really freeze anything. He yeah. does have tele... Oh. Does he have teleport? Well, he freeze one guy. Wow. Well, I think the totem alone could kill him, right? The totem would be enough. And the spider... I mean, I like that. That puts Tarquin in death range after burning, I think. Depends on which, if the death resist wears off first, or the death resist resists the burn. Then he'll just be at one health. But... The totem... The totem will probably... If not... Something here... The totem should be enough. Oh, I'm sure he could use the glitch Ian. I no, never mind. No, that wouldn't work. I was gonna say the Ian glitch there. Oh, but... he's he's oh, really he trying. Oh, he has three source. Oh, he just needs to wait one turn and just call it a day. We want to see the 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 meteors. That would be fun. That would be fun. I think he should just kind of get yep get in a safe spot. So Tarquin does get a turn, and uh, I think the totem squad here. Probably will do enough. He gets a corpse up just... Might as well. Oh, so the death resist does last longer than the burn, so he can move around. Unless he had a um, smidge of magic armor I missed. Well, they both expired, like, at the end of his turn? I'm not sure. And, uh... That'll do it. That, that will do it. Little snipe there. I thought maybe, but that's just because it's that's just because it's a dotting match and they seem to go a little crazy. After the one yesterday. I'll go check on them to make sure they, they they're clear on all the rules. Sure thing. Alright though, first match in the books. Again we saw the Lohar come out and Lohar I mean, he is very frequently banned for a reason. He is incredibly strong. And just, in general, difficult to deal with. But I think the more experience someone has against Lohar, it just becomes easier and easier to withstand that Lohar web opener. And maybe yeah. part knowledge, part drafting. Strong passes fangirl is on the Discord with them? What is that about? <laughs> I last I, I saw that, but they were muted during the match, so there's that at least. Oh, Chomp says he's uh he's uh he's heading he's out heading soon. Out. Yeah, he's likely losing our mod here. Do. That's alright. I've still got my you know, streamer ban haver in case things get a little you know, get a little rowdy. I think we'll be fine, though. Plus, you know, we have the the chat commands now, so 
He doesn't even have to be a uh, bot. Yeah, thankfully, <laughs> Strong Pass's fangirl is muted and deafened, so that's good. Arhu Redeka for bands, so nothing different from the first game. Both these guys know what they don't want to play against. And, I mean, just hearing Strong Pass yesterday, uh, not, a, not an Arhu fan. I think he just says he bans Arhu every single game. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jahan as a first pick, not surprising. Yeah, how is Jahan going through all the time? I'm surprised. <laughs> Another person losing their job to a robot. It's true, automation's gone too far. But Jahan is going through a lot. I have a suspicion that we just might not see Lohar, or if we do, I believe it'll be a... I think it'll be a dotting last pick. I think he might switch it up. But I'm not 100% sure, but... I th Dotting is 0-2 with Lohar picks, and that is with me thinking he's a good Lohar player. It's just... At this point, maybe Lohar has been a little figured out. Potentially, I don't want to say anything for certain. I think we've just been we've just been seeing some 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 sloppy uh, sloppy little hard play, but I think people are learning how to play against him though. That's 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 for that's the thing. I hope. Hmm. Interesting. Tarquin Malady. Man, I really goofed there. Your your freaking twitch with the double uh, underscore man is is kind of a pain to. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, trust me. Don't. If I could get just Jimmy Lightning, I would have done it in a second. But <laughs> every form of Jimmy Lightning except for that is taken. So I gotta wait until. Or maybe I just need to t contact Twitch and be like, hey, hey, these other guys, they don't, they aren't around anymore. Gimme, give gimme. Give They're not the real deal. Give me the keys to the account. Yes, I would love that. So it is Lohar last pick. And another good reason to do that is this height advantage. He's looking for the malady, actually. Specifically. I suppose... That's Tarquin. not going to work. That, that, that's not going to work. It's it's a straight hitbox. It has no arc. There's, there's no way that's going to work. Yeah, I think he might be realizing this uh not sure if he just wants to no he's he's committed he's, what the he's committed okay. to trying and that's still not please don't do it it's not gonna work oh my god no even with oh, the no. icon looking like it the no arc no 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 but you had yeah exactly and Wow. I can appreciate that he did not go for... I mean, maybe at that point you do Man. just go for Tarquin Jahan, but Tarquin Jahan don't need to move. I mean, they Ian, summon... Ian, Ian deserves to win this now. What is this? <laughs> but so, this is just Dadding messing up again, right? It was just... Yeah. Dadding is messing up. Okay, yeah. That's right. Okay, okay. Well, we're... Uh, that thing, uh, hopefully some solid... Uh, Strong pass uh, finals going, <laughs> unless he gets his shit together. <laughs> yeah, I never want to. I don't want to write people off off one move, but it is super unfortunate because Lohar's opening move is so important to him. But, yeah, he's, uh, he's vulnerable once he's out there. I mean, if I were him, I might just teleport Lohar in on purpose and kick his ass at this point. But yeah, I think you know. Just because Dotting made one mistake doesn't mean Strong Pass might not make a mistake as well. You that need could to make punished. several. <laughs> yeah, both these players, I, it could happen. So for now, I, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I, I definitely will say that that is a pretty is big down. mistake. I mean, Melody can't walk down now, but she has Blitz attack. She has wings, so it's not like she cares. No, Melody hardly walks anywhere anyway, so... 
Yeah. She usually teleports or flies. He's cool like that. Yeah. And oh, he now gets in range. that's good. I, yeah. yeah. Get, get the get the. Yeah. Go John ahead. Get John there? out of there. Yeah. Uh, if you're gonna teleport over there, maybe just get him in the barrel to so he can't move. But I I suppose. Maybe avoiding sight. John, yeah, can just do this. I, I don't think that was that productive. Yeah. No, I agree with getting Jahan out, but I, it definitely depends he's, where. He's still with his team now. So that was not the play. I would have just thrown him next to Lohar. I mean, that way at least Lohar can punish him next turn, probably. Oof. Lohar, uh, yeah. 45 health, I believe. Yeah, he'll survive a burn. So, uh, Lohar might get another turn. Maybe. Maybe one. Oh, man. This is Unless kind of Tarquin. depressing, I'm not going to lie. That's definitely unfortunate. It's not unfortunate. It's, 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 it's just sad. Yeah. I don't... There's no fortune here. It's just, it's just a lack of preparation and skills. Yeah, but I prefer to not, you know, go after players for making mistakes. Because mistakes happen, you know. He didn't specifically know that an interaction with an arc up on a ledge would result. If you look at the game, it showed that it was outlined. No, no, no. It's a the very game, specific the thing. Yeah. A straight line. The game showed a straight line hitting the wall there. <laughs> yeah, it also showed the guy targeted. So it's just, you know, didn't know the interaction. Yeah. It is a lack of knowledge. I definitely won't dispute that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus the oil. Okay. That's that's cool. I like that move. Definitely trying to make the best of a bad position here. <laughs> best but... of a 2v3 now, let's go. If someone can can um if someone can uh, bless Slohar actually he Holy... might be fine, but Holy Fire would be Really nice to have right here, for sure. Yeah, Holy Fire into Chameleon Cloak, and then... Uh, Just go for all, you know, walk away. <laughs> Get out of there. Can he delay his... Because I think if he ends his turn, he dies. Yep, I, I was just about to say, please don't do that. Please don't backlash. It counts as movement. But... Uh, goodbye, Lohar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, Lohar didn't get a play. It just kind of went from bad to worse, <laughs> the Lohar situation. Yeah. And now, a man down. Yeah, I just, this would be uh, the greatest comeback I think I've ever seen. <laughs> but... Uh, you know... We'll, we'll He's still see, thinking. But... He's like, oh, no, I don't want to mess this up, yo. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't, don't want to waste one AP here. <laughs> I mean, your AP... I mean, yeah, if you're dotting, your AP really matters now. <laughs> I'll go ahead and freeze. Oh, well, a nice double freeze. Mm, yeah, I kind of agree with not using Soothing Cold. That's a tragedy. Can't quite get there. He's so close. But, yeah, save the AP. I like that he didn't use Soothing Cold because Zandalor is not in any kind of danger right now. And yeah. Strong Pass will be going to finish off the Alexander, if anything. I think he's going to walk up. Well, I mean, maybe at this point he should walk up to the Alexander to... to, to uh... Soothing cold him, I don't know. Maybe. It's, yeah. Alexander's in trouble. <laughs> Sucker punched. And now we see a teleport. Zandalor might be, uh, well, maybe just couldn't quite reach, but I think Zandalor is going to be moving. Maybe after this. Nope. Look the other way. Well, here goes a little bit of magic armor, potentially.
Didn't get hit with any... None of the fire actually sticks on the barrier or anything, or smoke. It just passes underneath and does 80. I'm surprised he actually... I, I will have to just practice that laser and try it in a bunch of different situations, because... I, I have no idea why this one landed. I have uh, absolutely no idea why that one worked. Yeah, that one was weird. The fact that it didn't actually hit the platform to do any yeah. of the effects, but still did the damage. Uh, but that was a nice angled impalement in order to just clip yeah. uh, Alexander. And goodbye, spider, but... Does set shock. He's trying to get the... Uh... Ah, it didn't land on uh, Tarquin up there. Kind of looking around. Lightning here is... It doesn't have a ton of options, but... Big damage on Malady. And Alexander... Still not going to get a turn. There, He just stands back up. Oh! That lightning was... Pretty strong. Tarquin really looking for this teleport. I'm not sure that reaches, though, as Xandalore's on equal elevation. Yeah, it doesn't look like it will, so... Maybe just another totem. When in doubt, totem out. And there it is. Solid 57. Yeah, I've got some big delay compared to you. Oh, that's because I'm on Twitch still. I'm so silly. Oh. I had the. <laughs> Slug. Eh. Reposition a little bit. There's no real urgency to do anything crazy with the slug. And once again, Alexander has hit the deck. So, Alexander has. Uh, <laughs> been looped. For quite a yep. while now. <laughs> and I think next turn, probably he's losing that just gonna match. die. Yeah, he's getting ganged on. Well, this mm. uh, looks like a quick wrap up for the first set of the day. Hmm. Yeah, I can't reach anyone with that. He could. He could. Hail strike. Totally. Hail strike. Could. Hail strike. Could. He. He chapped a uh, uh, chain lightning. I think for just a second. Oh, or is that superconductor? Okay. I forget it exactly. He was just peeking with it, but yeah, he does does get one confirmed kill that does give him a source point, mm -hmm. which yeah, I, I'm still not super optimistic. I think he might be realizing he moved back. I think kind of just accepting Alexander is no longer Dead. going to be with us. <laughs> well, I think he's headed for the source. I mean, he can easily get two source from there. Uh, True. And then he can hope to get some value off of the uh, three source ultimate. Um, I don't believe Alexander survives this burn, so uh, nope, nothing more needed. Poor guy. To take care of him. So one source also going the way of Jahan. Tarquin with a long-range grenade. Yeah, that was kind of wild, eh? You, it seemed... I it think wasn't it's... even, like, clipped on the side of the platform. It was kind of... Oh, right. man. Yeah, he didn't cut... He didn't... He didn't soothing cold, you know? So that's... Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, he's gonna be... Uh, comboed here. <laughs> Still uh, in range. Wow. In... I think it was casting it underneath, and because of that arc, or just because of how the grenade specifically works it will hit the top i i think he just has that range i think because the glitch for the extra range under a platform as far as i know is for skills that um like the the projectiles get spawned in in the sky mm, okay uh, oh but that is the case for this for the yeah yeah, yeah. for the one of the grenades did, yeah yeah one of the grenades is the case yeah the terror grenade i was a bit surprised but it has like a huge aoe so i guess maybe he, that the terror grenade probably just flipped the side Oh, Tarquin moving in for the kill. Uh, Tarquin really moving in for the kill. My gosh, this guy. Eh? 
has no patience. Oh, teleport? Ah, you're going to send him back. Can he see through that? That is a steam cloud, right? So, where's that smoke? Either way, uh, he can see through it. Might have sent him a little too far to get that mosquito. But he will get the corpse. Yeah, I think the corpse is going to be a... I think if it that... reaches, it's going to be a much better option. Yeah, if he can just sneak through here. Mm, doesn't have the range. Slug actually does have some cooldowns. It's got the ray back up, and that ray hurts. Yeah. Jahan, imagine we'll finish it off here. See that landed. This is such a weird spell. I, it's plays I by wonder, its own rules on height. Yeah, I wonder if they'll have it in the Baldur's Gate. If they do, I hope. Oh my God, the stats were so low. That was weird. <laughs> Very low damage done, you know, just enough to kill everyone. <laughs> yeah, no massive uh -huh. overkills, I suppose. But I mean, strong pass looked pretty solid in that one. Just really clean. I don't think strong pass made left any room for mistakes. Can we switch to the lobby? We can go talk to them. Ah, yeah, sure, of course. Let's go. All right, I'll see you in there. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're switching here. We're we're coming. Oh no. <laughs> so uh, we we I, I was expecting half expecting some tears here when I, <laughs> when I switched to the lobby. What what happened there? What happened there? You mean the game that just happened? The, the whole set. Oh, I mean, whole two set. Yeah, um, first game, um, I did things and they didn't work out. Yeah. Second game, I did the same. Yeah. <laughs> Just like this. <laughs> That's simple, eh? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> like, I'm rooting for you, Dadin, because I don't want to fight Ian. <laughs> But you gotta earn it. This is just your training montage. Yeah, so yeah. when you <laughs> beat me, you'll be ready to fight Ian. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, then turns out Meister wins. Then I'm just gonna look like a true, fool. <laughs> true. Yeah, so waiting for game three. Shall we go? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys had like two hours to warm up. You guys didn't warm up at all, right? Zero warm ups, nothing. Oh, I remember first game, I saw him cursing a corpse. He's like, huh? I did that. Yeah, I, yo, game. yo, we were watching. We were like, these guys did not play one game before that today. And you could have played against some AI yeah, or something. Yeah, I, I misclicked. It was so annoying. <laughs> I was too busy killing rats in Vermintide. That's what I was doing instead of uh, practicing. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, you're taking this. The viewers are listening, man. This is yeah. sad. No mm -hmm. one's going to take this seriously after that. Come on. <laughs> Well, Jeez. you know, my friend wanted me to play rats. So like, what's more important, my friends or a tournament? My friends. Or a tournament. Or uh, yeah, yesterday, guys, <laughs> this guy was so motivated to win yesterday because he wanted to go drinking with them. Uh, I can respect it. And the motivation worked. So the motivation here had to be he had to win fast. His friends had to ask him, let's play after your tournament, mm -hmm. not not like before. Wait, what? it's it's not a two zero, Joe. It's it's a one one. It's oh, it one, is one one. one. I, I won the first yep. game. <laughs> oh my gosh! I thought, I thought Daddy got wrecked both times. <laughs> okay, I am so lost. I wrecked him. So game. lost. You wrecked me the second game. Yeah. <laughs> So if we've done an equal amount of wrecking so far. Yeah, oh wow! Well, I'm happy. I glad I hopped onto the chat to uh, get corrected. Let's let's head back then. Uh, sure. <laughs> wonder what the third one's gonna look like. Good game interview. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, guys. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Well, I mean, great. Uh, uh, we get one more game from those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of got mixed up on the perspectives. I was like forgetting who I was watching, but. Honestly, it, next time we host, like, let's, we, we gotta have, like, these little, I don't know, man, like, avatars going on in the screen or something with the teams, I don't know. With, like, having everyone have a... 
I guess I guess casting this this game just requires some brains that I don't have right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's hard to be aware of everything and running the tournament and casting it. Yeah, Not for sure. On. Sometimes I out top for a sec to check chat and everything. I guess I, I really can't afford to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you head back to the, the drafting? They're not quite on draft yet, but yeah, I, I got it pulled up. They're looking at stages right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, cl I, I'm like enjoying, you know, looking at the Reddit views going up and down, but <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just sit here. Uh, I'll run to get something to snag though. I'm really dying here, but. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I, Looking at stage select, uh, for me personally, I don't speak German, so I'm kind of just along for the ride on stage select. I do my best, but I think that's chapel on a cliff, but that's only because I'm seeing things that are, it sounds, it kind of sounded out, you think, ah, it kind of looks like chapel on a cliff. Yeah, it looks like chapel on a cliff to me, final answer, as... An ignorant American. Van same as always. Yeah, I was kind of expected. So now it's a Lohar first pick. Chapel on a Cliff, I believe, is where we saw Donning's crazy opening last time. And Lohar coming out first. I don't know if I personally I'm not sure if Strong Pass maybe he knows that Strong Pass plays Lohar as well. But it's like, was was Strong Pass going to take Lohar away? Does Lohar need to be in the first position in order to do his combo? Like, does he waste too much movement otherwise? Uh, just trying to think of, like, draft mind games to maybe wait on the Lohar pick. Strong Pass does get a pick, too, so there is the risk that it would be taken away. But this is a very familiar draft from dotting if you were watching yesterday. Lohar, Niles, Riker. Exact same chapel team that he used last time. So Strong Pass, we'll see what he goes for, and no Arhu this time, so is he gonna go for the Jahan, or is he gonna go for tank team? He might just go for tank team. This is also part of the reason I think I mentioned maybe holding off on showing the Lohar first pick, if you're able. To maybe bait him into the false sense of security, like, oh, sure. Totally pick that Jahan. He's going to get to play. But we do see the full blitz dotting opening. Backlash. Adrenaline. He's got enough for ruptured tendons. And one last thing. A chicken. So Xandalore's off to the races here, bleeding the whole way. And now... I'm curious as to who Niles is going to go for. Does Niles go off to finish the chicken? Or... Would he go for one of the tanky boys over here? Looks like it's going to be... Xandalore in the chicken form. They're targeting. Won't be able to kill though, so a regeneration. We'll see if... The regeneration might provide enough. Lohar is not going to have much of a turn. I like the ordering here. Trouble. What's that? We got a game on Chapel. He went for the same uh, crazy opener. He went for the opener. exact same opener, but if you look at Strong Pass, Strong Pass seems to be aware with the Slain and Gareth pick. Yeah, he went for two beefy picks. This is pretty unfortunate angles here. Uh, he's trying not to move before casting anything, but he doesn't have an angle here, so he is going to have to Probably move around before he can hit Zandalore. Yeah, he's going for a quick kill on him. Um, 
Unfortunately, Slain I mean, had enough time to hit a cast a regen on him. He could just get uh, Condor. I would just get Condor, maybe. He's looking, moving, then checking again. He's just gonna go. Yeah, yeah extra just damage. Oh. Cursed Ice. Naturally, that's a two turn freeze. Going through his options here. A couple different animations. Guardian Angel, perhaps? Looking to vamp. Really fully cycling the options. And now we... I think that was a grenade <laughs> for a second. He's thinking. He's thinking. Now he's just going to go for the Guardian Angel. I was. I thought that might be what would happen eventually. Sandalore pretty likely to get a turn here. However, I saw him eyeing those... Ooh, corrupted? So he is decaying with a regeneration already set on him. He hovers the shackles for a second. I'm not sure if shackles... Maybe not worth it. But at the same time... Maybe just want to use it. Save an AP for next turn. Yeah, I don't know why he wouldn't do that. Slain, taken to the skies. Quick punch. Yeah. Man, it goes through Rikers right away. That's crazy. Yeah, Riker not even having enough physical armor to sustain against a raw sucker punch. <laughs> punch. No prep. <laughs> More physical armor here. Uh, 106 armor, yeah. So, the fact that Xandalore survived the initial burst means I don't know this the way it's angling is because the fortify already got rid of decay I believe if I remember right so he just heals yeah it's looking like the dotting opener it's it's uh, all or nothing basically you get quick kills and snowball or they kind of outlast your opener and, and you you're not well, getting any all his characters are, are vulnerable right they don't have big health tools or regeneration or anything yeah no and strong pass kind of scouted what was happening from draft oh my god zandalor has like tons of armor and half health now yeah, yeah. The, the power of uh, uh of uh gareth being able to provide so much physical armor riker Gonna join them in the <laughs> cursed ice. So, uh, not an excellent position, and another two-turn curse. This time on Niles. So Niles likely not gonna be able to shackle anyone. I think he might have just taken his last turn. Sad. <laughs> we'll see though. Maybe he'll get one more chance to do something, but uh, with the decay being taken off by the fortify and Alexander getting to regen, I think the full, I'm pretty sure the full value of a regen, uh, the penetrate, the pen damage is not going to do a, enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really don't know why he didn't summon Condor sooner than that. Oh, he was hoping for a knockdown. That's why I think he was trying to chip the Fizz armor so he can get a knockdown eventually. But it was already out, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, is just a bit awkward. And turn one was definitely the most important. That's a big shock. Lightning all over now. But, yeah, turn one, definitely the most important for dotting, and 
And he just didn't quite have enough gas in the tank. Wow, these games were all so one-sided. Yeah, they really bet it all on the, the early moves. It would take a lot of, uh, it's a double. A double kill, and yeah, seeing the writing on the wall, dotting, just gonna go ahead and, Damn, and forfeit. Points, though. Oh yeah. Strong pass, you know, basically just drafting the counter to what was happening. Just kind of recognized it. Now we can go again. <laughs> yep. I want to hear him cry now. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to end it with some cheese, but it didn't work, so I don't care. I ended with tank gaming. Come on, mm. tank! <laughs> oh, I, I missed the order of the draft, so who picked what in what order? Uh, um, I, I believe Dotting I... first picked Lohar, if yeah, I remember I right. Then, did, did I pick Slain? Yeah, then Slain. Then oh, then the you still went for your opening. You still went for your cheese into that. Wow, okay. The problem was... He has to first pick Zelenda. I forgot about it. Exactly. Because the chicken is not random. Um, okay. And from the first pick spawn, he would just run the right distance, so he's in kill range from my condo. Even as he's, even is, even when he is fortified. Wait, what about the Condor? I thought because yeah, I was wondering why you didn't summon Condor like sooner. Yeah, because um, yeah, he wasn't kill range for Condor. That's why. Um, but <laughs> if he runs the usual way, also if he first picks, he will run in the corner right behind, um, and gets like enough damage so he only has. 55, 59, 11. And that's enough to one to kill him to Condor. Because the Condor only deals, I don't know, 60, 70 damage per turn. Yeah, I saw your game against the Ahu. I was like, that's great. I hate Ahu. I, I love mm. that you just delete him. Um, yeah, so, I said, yeah, I missed. So when you said cheese and then pick that map, it's like, yeah. okay, I need to go tank game in here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would be fine if you had second, if you didn't second pick him and first pick him. But yeah, happened. I really oh, wanted to try it out again. Oh, there. Oh, that. It yeah. Great. It's busy. You're gonna make it work. I'm sure we're gonna play like off tournament eventually, and one day you'll. Uh... So, has Gareth won many games in arena? Um. Yeah, I, he has. No, no, I, I've seen him win a lot. I've drafted him. I've won some games. Actually, I've won a game on Chapel with Gareth. Uh, well, no, I, not that game. But no, I dropped Gareth. I've won games with Gareth as well. Yeah, yeah. it's funny. He was he was thought to be trash, and now uh, <laughs> we we see him more and more. Well, it's like he doesn't have much. So the best thing you can do is just Guardian Angel. It's like my job is done. And <laughs> you know, can you please, you don't want to. Okay. <laughs> I was just uh, thinking, like, can I suck a punch, if Riker? You, if you just pick Gareth against this comp and not a second tank, it's... Gun Angel doesn't have any use at all. I, I still can kill you, so. Wait, uh, 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 say that again? What? Also, um, <clears throat> if you just play Gareth against this comp, it doesn't matter, to be honest. If you only have Gareth, because he, he's yeah. too slow, he won't get to counter it soon enough, yeah. Yeah. That's well. That's that's what you rely on anyway. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. the last the last time it, it Gareth won a two v three basically. So I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. I wish he was that effective in story mode. <laughs> not, he not is. Blowing ice shots. Well, no, 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 no. Like Gareth is like really effective in story mode. We're just too dumb to like realize. Like like in in chess, he's thinking ten moves ahead, and we're just thinking of the, the like next move. Gareth, he knows. So, uh, you know, just think next time he ice shards into like, like Seer and Daggers, he, he's got this covered. Trust Gareth. I 
I was hoping to see some Brackus Rex action. <laughs> this is the finals. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you gotta save it for the final, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, please, whoever plays against Ian next... <laughs> uh, whoever plays against Ian next, uh, better not fall for the same... I Did you guys watch the VODs? Did you guys watch, like, Ian's games? Yeah. I saw he had, like, a half-hour summon a game. I was like, nah, I'm not watching this. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. But did you see the game... Oh shit! Was that the game, the first game or the second game, Jimmy? Hmm. The that was what, the, the summoner. The, yeah. Yeah. The summoner fest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the, the 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 important. Well, actually, no. That one's important too. You need to make sure that doesn't happen. But I guess just buy uh just ban that map. But he can go on it as counter pick if you want. Um, ban Arhu. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. I mean, they're both ready. I think. Uh. I don't know if. Um, Sure, if they if they got it booted up and want to send me a a link, I'll. Oh, did I miss it. Oh, oh there it is. Then... Meister's way think... ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, Meister, Meister. I asked him earlier. Yeah, because well, like, you know, I thought it was a two. Also, I got in touch with him. You know, I was like, "Are you ready?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> yeah, he's, I'm just waiting yeah. for it. Uh, <coughs> the broadcast so, to start. It says. Strong, so strong press. Good luck in the finals against. Uh, thanks. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I got to fight it. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> good game, GG. And good night. See ya. Oh, yeah, he's probably gonna go to bed now, I guess. I'm not sure. Oh, God. Well, okay. Um, you know, I'm the only EU guy left. I got a. No. I'm... No, no, no. Maester's still in there. Yeah. You're yeah. not up against Ian yet. You might never get to fight Ian, dude. I think when I spoke to Ian yesterday, we might come to a German's agreement, they call it. Just, like, play low tier only or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I heard something about that, right? You guys want to do some, some, some triple brackets or something? <laughs> it sounded like that. I, um... I'm not sure I'm that eager to see it <laughs> in grounds, but... <laughs> why not? <laughs> um... So, let's see. Uh, Ian says he's ready. Are they in the same lobby? Uh, on mine, I'm just waiting for, I get the, the please stand by, so uh, whenever, I think, I don't know if he needs to tab back in or something, uh, Meister, but. But the stream, he does have the broadcast up. Yeah, if anyone in chat wondering is wondering, there's there's no, like, observer mode or anything in this game, so we have to just wait for whoever to just oh. stream his team game all right yep meister does have it up and i can it's see it enough? so yep i'm just waiting for uh Ian okay, to join it, and then once he does i'll i'll get in there for the picks okay they're gonna coin toss Looks like they're both in there, so. Yes, sir. Go ahead and move over. Did Ian change his name to Strong Pass Fanboy? <laughs> no. Now there's no, two. Quite, no. Wait, oh, has that wait. been him the whole? No, I'm in the in the lobby. There's a Meister versus Strong be... Pass Fanboy. <laughs> oh, I mean... uh, there's an ad. I've got to wait till I can. All see. right. Well, do I have ads now? Wow, am I that? Uh, I just see live you. broadcast. Please oh, it's by. probably it's probably just the Twitch thing, yeah. But yeah, I, yeah, Meister. Okay, moved away for a second. But yeah, if you see now, this is what uh, this is what the lobby looks like. So let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and uh, that's like, what uh, Ian had yesterday for his Steam yo, picture. Big, so big DM on Meister. <laughs> Strong pass. Like I'm already ready for the for the last set. <laughs> like. Um, if Meister wins, that means the winner of the tournament is EU. 
But yep. if Ian yep, wins, we get to like play meme builds. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Let's go, Meister. <laughs> oh, these enemies at the gate. Okay, right. Have fun. <laughs> yeah. Commentated. Yeah, oh no. Good. Oh no, why? Ian, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> wow, vegan, you, you like stop spamming the. Yeah, the I just chat. looked over. I have a. <laughs> get denied. Six messages for being all caps. Sorry, I didn't actually set up my Nightbot very well. I just was like, ah, you know, just in case someone starts, you know, spamming awful things. Yeah, there you go. But it looks like we're into picks and bands here. Arhu, yep. And Lohar. Pretty classic bands. Um, do you want us to leave channel or do you can uh, yeah, me and me and Joe will probably yeah. hop over. We've got channels just for this, so I'm gonna go to stream commentating and yeah, good luck in finals. Thanks. <laughs> Hey. Howdy, howdy. All right. So, Jahan, Tarquin, Alexander. Pretty classic oh, picks. Oh, damn. Maester got one crazy lineup going on there. I don't know what... I thought he would just, like, tone him the cheese here. But he's going for a Radica portal thing, I guess? Teleport thing? I don't know. Probably some new cheese. Yeah. We're going to see something Enemy, new here. Enemies at the gate? I mean, it, Ian was talking about how he had some... He's like, we hadn't even seen the real stuff from him yet. Like, yeah. he'd only done the standard stuff. Well, he's only, yeah, something like that. He only had to reveal two of his cheeses. Yeah, apparently. And he was he was able to do them twice. Oh, wow, with the slain. That's kind of exciting. I, I haven't really seen him play a comp like that before. So I'm going to guess there's a pretty, yeah, okay. So the Radeka for the early teleport. Oh, is it teleport into teleport? Is that what we're gonna see? I'm curious. Oh, I think he, I'm curious. Uh, yeah, I think he's gonna teleport something again after. Oh my god, this is I already like this. <laughs> I'm digging this. <clears throat> Let's see, AIDS. I'm Jahan likely gonna do Yeah. The slug. Oh, you know what? Um, Zalandar could actually time warp. He can easily suck a body and time warp. Also, I kind of like uh, Ian start because Radeka teleporting someone and moving leaves no one really grouped for the big slug oh, that is explosion. True. But that as is you true. said, that is one source point for Jahan. But now the slug kind of has a choice to make. And looks like that choice is going to be Zandalore. Kind of, yeah, I see him sorting out where he's going to move to. Lockdown Radeka. It's a little bit of oil and still get an explosion off. Not, not as high value as some of the Jahan stuff we see, but... Now we He's see rain. Ian with a rain into a, a pretty, looks like a big dazing bolt. That is a pretty big dazing bolt. <laughs> the magic armors I, on the enemy team just went down uh, quite a bit. Wow, I didn't realize you could snipe it from there. Oh, but knowing him, he might find some weird angles. Like, we don't have his his sight, right? So we don't know how he found that angle. In response, though, we get the corpse from Tarquin. And now, I mean, look how far they have to move in order to get out of this. And without much magic armor, it becomes really risky on how you're going to move to avoid getting shocked. Tarquin makes it out. Meister's big on ladder plays. Yeah. I've noticed. But he's not going to go back down this one, it looks like. Going to cover... 
You gotta find that magic spot, maybe? Might be able to do it with this one, with how it works. Oh, this is so funky looking from just our point of view. And a nice response, actually. I kind of like just blessing all that. Makes it a lot easier for his characters to move around. Yeah. I mean, Blessed Ice would have been... Ah, he could have made Blessed Ice, I think, with Alexander. And then regain all that magic armor. That could have been a pretty good play. But... Hmm. Bloated corpse. Just kind of looking for a target. Yeah, he's trying to find that magic AP zone. <laughs> to to save one it looks like mm -hmm. I haven't really seen Slane do uh, much of anything yet I'm pretty curious because so far we kind of see what he's going for with the other characters but not so much with the slain maybe slain yeah, is a bit of an yeah he hasn't revealed his, his, uh, his plan for the slain yet maybe just pick slain for the safety but it'll use tornado clear that oil away so Redeka gets a I don't remember if Redeka is still maybe slowed though but now she won't have to walk through oil so I, I think there's something planned with Redeka for sure in order to spend that slain turn clearing her path well he's just gonna camp high ground with the two of them I guess that's pretty cool, honestly, because usually he goes for totems, but now he uh, he found a way to reach those platforms with his just long-range spells. So I guess they're just gonna get bombarded by long, long, long-range spells. Doesn't even sound like he knows how to approach at all. He's just uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're. He doesn't really know what to do, it seems. After the blob, uh, he really didn't get much done. Got Alexander on some high ground. Not sure what the plan is from here. Teleport prevention with the fortify. Now... See what Redeka is going to be up to. And Ian picking this map. Everyone's like, this map sucks. Ian's like, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, he gets everyone's gonna everyone's gonna hate this match. Let's go. The way they're playing it is totally fine though. At least I, I don't see any totems so far. If yeah, anything, it's... Harkun is on the losing end, so he's gonna get killed. Yeah, not very not exactly very summon heavy. I got like two summons casted so far I think yep and uh, they're the kind of summons that don't last very long <laughs> no no not at all their, their object is to explode yeah so that's pretty what much they're there for extended, uh... oh that's a frozen Tarkin eh? yeah Tarquin not gonna get a move so after this it'll be slain and I am curious if slain is gonna be doing much of maybe just insurance mostly that tornado wasn't even his scroll, I believe, right? So he actually hasn't done, like, anything. He's just purely <laughs> supporting right now. <laughs> yeah, he's just along for the ride, but... Well, at least now I think we'll get to see him move. Let me see, he's still thinking... He's probably trying to find, yeah, where exactly you put the slain high ground or, or not. You would think it'd probably be going high, but no, he's actually going to go maximum possible distance. I think with the high ground from where he was. He must have like all the AP imaginable right now, I guess. So I don't know. Yeah, I think he's been stocking up a little bit. 
But he's going to stock up some more. Wow. Alexander. Not sure. A lot of the bodies have been consumed for the source. Not sure which ones he can see. Alexander's just going to delay turn. Which is fine, because he'll get to go soon enough. Got a punch to explode. Big damage. I think we might have lost no one, actually. I thought I maybe... No, not even close. These guys hadn't been taking damage beforehand. Ooh, is that just the corner? Wow. Precision. Double knockdown. I have a fan in the crowd. <laughs> You do have one. A big fan. Yeah, <laughs> this kid plays Apex. He has no clue what's going on. <laughs> Just here, you know. It's long for the ride. <laughs> well, I mean, they still have high health. Yeah, I think, I think Meister's done a good job of controlling, but it's not like... I mean, who knows with Ian. I might have something still up his sleeves. Ooh. I was gonna curse acid maybe there? Or poison? But... Nope, it's slug time. Now the curse comes out. And the explosion from the slug being nearby. That is a lot of necrofire. Oh, those magic 125 from the slug headbutt. So Slain is. Slain's lost a lot of health real quick, and it's not over know. for Slain know. yet. I don't really know why he sent Slain there. But, I mean, he's. Still alive. True. With a terror grenade, gonna make him take a lap, move around in this necrofire. I Sounds believe. like a nice little stroll to have. Yeah, we'll see if he. I think he'll probably survive it, but maybe. Depends how far he runs. Mm, uh, maybe not with a totem also being there. That might be a bit much. Man, <laughs> if Tarquin can hit this grenade from this far away without a height advantage, too, and everything. Okay, he's not going to go for it. It looked like there might have almost been an angle. Oh, the elemental totem didn't go for Slane. And Slane actually gets off the fire. Wait, no, he was going back for more. Oh, he gets... <laughs> he avoids the... <laughs> He moves so much, but he only took like one tick of fire damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was reworked and very smart, yo. Oh, well, I was heading. Oh out. no, it's because he's floating too. Yeah. Okay. Nice. But he's got to go. He's got a job interview. Good luck on that job interview. I hope you get it. Hope you get it. That A and W job, man. Literally. <laughs> hey. He's in high school. <laughs> you know what? Get that job. Get that job, man. <laughs> Even if it's not a great job. Whatever. You know. Employment's rad. <laughs> but, well. This could be... If he finds an angle here, this could be... He's, he's not angling the camera right. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. He just... Yeah, he's... He's learning from... Ian. There we go. They, they all know that trick now. That's pretty cool. Pull up in a suit. <laughs> Do it. They'd be impressed. Wait. He has the angles. He just needs to cast it. He had the angle, but he didn't have the faith. He didn't believe. He, he just gotta believe. believe. This is not how you win games, bro. You gotta believe. It was rough, too, because now... No, he just didn't do anything. What the hell is yeah, that? Yeah, he's just, uh... He's gonna get zapped though, and that is a. Stun. Yo, that Zalandor was dead. 
That Zelendar was just straight up dead. What has he done? I think he might have... He wanted the higher value on both, and he he should have settled for one, I think. He should have... Oh, I and mean, if you stunned. can take out his Alandar, yeah, and now... Now, Alexander isn't going to be able to do anything. Let's see what Jahan... Jahan will just finish off Slain, I guess. Now he's going back up that ladder, I bet. This is Meister. <laughs> the ladder master. <laughs> Oh, yeah, nice. Yep. Got the... Oh, yeah, Alexander might just be able to get that ice at the back. <laughs> Blessed ice, man. He looks like he was angling for a really precise spot. I don't know if that's true. He went up, down the ladder, moved a little bit more, and then ended his turn. So I don't know what... No, but I ha there's we a have his camera, it. so I don't know... Yeah, that's. Yeah, I really I'm not know. sure what he's, Meister he's was spending doing. A lot yeah. of, he's spending a lot of time not doing anything. Oh, is he... Huh. I don't know why he wasn't just killing Slain there. He's just letting he's letting them live with like 30 HP. Why? He's about to be Ian, dude. Think about it. He could be Ian right there. Well. He could hmm. beat the villain. Don't play with your food, dude. Let's see what he he's gonna do. Extra oh. turn. I thought he was gonna do the extra turn on Radeka, because I thought it seemed like Ian was a pretty big fan of casting time warp on other people but yeah. I th think he's got plans the benefit on Meister's side is uh, most of his characters are decently healthy besides Tarquin who does get another yeah. turn uh, uh, I don't know what he wants to do here but I would imagine finishing off s well he does mostly well, he does have this Oh my god. Wow, now he gets to Living Edge. He does. He does just barely. And I don't... Yeah, I I support. Yep. Do that. Are you... Please oh my it. god. Uh, I thought for a second those weren't going to hit him. Just because of how those early, early bits of fire didn't actually connect. But... He does, in the end, get slain. There's like only one tick that connected actually, but it was enough to kill him. Damn, yeah, that was like that was very really unlucky. weird. It was, I think it was the the height with the stairs behind, like, took, like basically tank some of them for him. But mm, I, I think it, it was, was just weird. unlucky. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Because it's it's random. It's random hits. Mm. The the exact spacing is actually random. I don't think he can do much with that slug now. Nah, just uh, dashing through the fire. Get some distance. I'm not sure if it's more AP efficient to do that instead of uh, walking. No, but the slug, the slug can't go up the ladder. That's the issue. <laughs> ah, yeah, that would be the bigger issue, huh? <laughs> that, that's the big one. <laughs> that's the long-term plan uh, missing for the, for the slug there. It doesn't really know. It uh... doesn't have any hands. Although you don't need there. you don't need hands to climb ladders in this game. Some no, weird you don't. weird exceptions can just get up those bad boys. Teleport time. Who's winning the teleport sweepstakes here and probably going into that nice bit of fire? He's angling that way. I'm just not sure who he selected. I'm just waiting for one of them to go. He's, he's really trying to find an angle. And there it is. It might be the barrels at the back, eh? I think that he's going to send the person super far, probably. Yeah, he actually didn't. Yeah, he did not teleport a person. Now. Wait, what did he teleport? I missed because, you know, I can't. The camera was kind of at a weird angle to see it, and I don't speak. It wasn't. There was no way it was the uh, the blob, was it? I'm looking at I'm the. I'm not health. sure. Every yeah. character is still there. Yeah, it definitely, definitely wasn't a character. So. That was curious. Yeah, I don't know what exactly the uh, that move was, but. 
see. Time for impalement. Double slow. Jahan not going to be able to do... He's got one AP left. I'm not sure if he has many options. Yeah, could, gonna go back down the ladder. But is he gonna go back up? No, nope. you never know. No, you never, never know, know with <laughs> Meister and ladders. I, I I think the laser would have connected. I'm not sure. Yes, I, yes. I think the laser would have been better. It might have killed uh, Salandor, I think. And I mean, just that laser would have been. Oh, it would have blown out all the oil up damage. Too, yeah, yeah. It would big big damage if it did connect. He did he have fireball, fireball up too. Yeah, he he had different options there. Ooh, he got both of them. Clip both of them with that. That's going to freeze Alexander. And I think... Yeah, it's actually going to freeze both of them. He actually got a double freeze off there with height intervals. That was pretty crafty. Wow. Good angling. In order wow, to get was, a that was, double that freeze. Was clean. That yeah, is that a clean, clean double freeze. Very nice. This has been an interesting game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it looks goofy at times, and then it really nice plays come out, so I don't know. Yeah, you get a bit of everything. Now, just uh, looking at Tarquin, really, not nothing. I would be... Is he going to delay turn here? He'll get to move again, I think. Yeah, he will get another turn with Tarquin. I'm just... I guess uh, he'll have a lot of AP on the next Tarquin turn. I'm just curious if he's going to put this slug just to kind of a... Oh, I think he's angling for the ray. Oh, that is so close to being a double. Regardless, you go for Zandalore because the explosion's gonna go get both. Zandalore should burn next turn. I don't know how much health he lived with. I don't think Radeka can save him, but maybe there's a way. <laughs> not that I know of. Not that Radica's, I know of. Radeka's not that kind of character. <laughs> no, and I don't think. I was just thinking maybe if item if they had any scrolls. I don't think. Yeah, I think. Well, Dead Slain had a nice grenade, but as far as I know, he's used it like turn one. Yeah, he did. Yeah, so. he did. That's not on the table anymore. And Tarquin. Actually, no. She could bless. She could bless. She could bless the fire. True, 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 true. So there is a way. Tarquin got a totem out. I'm not sure where. Going back up the ladder. Can't. He's searching for a corpse. <laughs> There's slains right there, but I think he wanted one a little closer. That He put the totem there, I think, hoping to finish Sandalore. Doesn't work out. Kind of looks like Radeka 3 health Sandalore. Sniped. Jahan is gone. And that bless, like you were talking about, means Sandalore does get another turn. Lives another day. Damn. Yeah, Jahan dying there is a pretty big deal. We'll see after... Tarquin's, yeah. Tarquin's death resist ending soon. And uh, if Alexander could just summon his plant soon, I don't know. I guess he doesn't... Yeah, he doesn't have any way to get source, but that would have been huge. If he could kill Zandalore, he would have... A source, yeah, yeah, but yeah. that kills, would require him killing Zandalore. You know, if Zandalore. he killed Zandalore like five turns ago, you know, he could have summoned the plant after. Yeah, that yeah. would have been nice. <laughs> True, before he got Permacy Seed. If he can kill him, but, yeah, he's got Magic Armor back up from Soothing Cold. And he's not gonna have, uh, wow, I, he actually got stunned. So, we're not gonna see much from Alexander. I don't know if uh, Tarquin's going to be looking for a corpse somewhere. I don't think there's anything that... Any in range. Dominate mine, potentially. 
well, they have magic armor still. I mean, that's he, true can, from he should just four. summon the, the Widow. The Widow can just go up there and finish the Zandar. I feel like that should have happened, like, ages ago. Well, it looks like he's hovering the, the Widow now, so... I think you'll get your wish. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, he can summon it really close to them, too. He's really trying to find these uh, these totem angles, too. He's looking for physical totems. He's trying to find yeah. the closest possible physical totem, or the, the best angled one. Because he, if he gets too close, he might not be able to find line of sight. Yeah. That one won't work. It also ended up being ice. And, uh, yeah, Zalandar, gone. So, just down to Radeka. But, Radeka does have lifesteal from Necromancy. And is just on demand stunning this Alexander. This poor Alexander has not, <laughs> has not been able to do anything. The real question, I wonder, does he risk trying to get up and get the corpse of Zalandar for bloated corpse? He, I'm not sure no, where he'd he doesn't have, have magic armor. That, that, that would be suicide. Mm, yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I was just wondering if he, would, if he would risk the game working in his favor and maybe not showing up there. But, yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to get up there. Ah, but now... Now it's not so bad, but he does have to risk the ice. I think he's just probably going to stand back and uh, totem it up. Oh, that removes stun? Yeah, I, uh, Bless is uh, pretty strong. Back up the ladder? No, no but usually it wouldn't remove stun, though. Maybe it has to do with the water. Bless water? Maybe. Oh, sure. He's looking. I don't know. Yeah, just go ahead and... He's gonna go this way, actually. Now, Alexander. With a lot of cooldowns up, because, uh, you know, turns have passed. He just hasn't gotten to do anything on them. What is Tarquin doing? He just walked around? Yeah, he's... I don't know if he's trying to get along the other side but I think he's gonna oh that's interesting okay so now it's necrofire but necrofire doesn't remove holy fire or blessed fire and uh, the bone widow still being up uh, put out some pretty solid damage before it's likely gonna get taken care of this turn not sure what Radeka's teleport cooldown is. Um, fairly long. Yeah, it might, likely it doesn't have that. Six, maybe? Something like that. <laughs> no items left. And there goes the spider. Tarquin. He's looking at those corpses, I see. I mean, Bloated Corpse, one of his best spells, especially it being, what, 1 AP? Yeah, it's kind of Really, strange. really strong. He's going to go for it. I If he slips on that tiny patch of ice underneath of him, that would be the most unfortunate thing I've ever seen. Please don't happen. Okay. <laughs> that would make <laughs> me so sad. And I, as soon as I said it, I was like, but... Uh, don't make it happen. If I, if I jinx it, it's my fault. Yeah, <laughs> don't make it happen, universe. Please. He's really... He doesn't... He's going to have to spend another AP if he wants to do it. I was just going to go for Totem. I suppose... Uh, I, guess, I guess he couldn't find a body. But Alexander has... He's got a lot of cooldowns up. No source, but a lot of cooldowns. Okay. 
What did the totem shoot? I'm not sure. I think because we're seeing this from Meister's perspective, we can't see Radeka in the smoke. Oh, so it shot her, but... Yeah, I, I don't think we can see her. Oh, okay. Well, and Meister can't see her either. Let's we'll see now. Covers a nice wide AoE. That did not do any damage to Radeka though. I don't even know if it did magic damage. I'm looking up at the turn order thing unless that won't uh, update in order to kind of preserve stealth. Yeah, that completely missed Radeka somehow. Oh wait, there she is. Did I just completely miss her? Am I dumb? I might be dumb. No, 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 no. Okay, she did just pop up there. Yeah. Well, she is just staring into the totem right now. <laughs> yeah, I think he 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 angled um Earth spell not to kill the totem, but I mean, he had to kill the totem if he wanted to land that cuz she's uh Tarquin going to be yeah, joining over now. Wow. Getting teleported. And, uh, I don't know if Tarquin... Yep, Sucker Punch. So... Let's see what Alexander... I mean, Tarquin's just gonna stand back up. Alexander's gonna have to... Alexander had a lot of AoE spells up, so... How... The placement of those spells is gonna be really important. I mean, if he can just nuke both and kill both, that's fine, but Rudeka does have lifesteal, so unless he manages to chain stun her, it might become problematic fast. Yeah. Yeah, definitely go ahead and kill both if you can. But we'll... Let's see. He's gonna go ahead and... So... Rain first. I'm gonna try and... Ah, yep. Yeah. So Tarquin not getting frozen because he's still warm from the fire getting put out. And both players saying GG. Now we see if uh, BM happens. What a game. Dominate. Corpse. looking pretty much is he going to commit robbery <laughs> no but hmm I'm wondering what the what's happening here I guess just positioning. <laughs> I'm back and forth. So he called GG, but he didn't leave. Okay. <laughs> Well, they, they both said GG, and I mean, I imagine it is GG, but they're still just playing it out to the end. Corpse here should do plenty of damage. 110 health, I think this will do like what, one, it was like 154 last time I saw it. And that's that. So. Ian lost Meister. the game. Meister coming in. And, yeah. uh, pretty s strong opening game. That was, uh. Wow, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm pretty happy about that, yo. That's nice. <laughs> Ian washed. <laughs> Ian no. got wrecked. We'd love to see it. <laughs> but the thing is, now, Ian gets to pick the map. 
So if he has a specific um, strategy on a map. No, I think that was his pick. Was that his pick too? Oh, I didn't know if that it was. That means we might go back to the map. <laughs> oh, please no. Please no. Is this a uh, trial by fire? Yep. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Oops. It is trial. No Jahan. No Aru. And Lohar does get picked up. Yep, We're not up. seeing the drop. It's up now. I was a little late. I'm sorry. But... No problem. Lohar gets picked up first. By Ian. Next up, I'm curious what Meister is going to draft to sort of... Now that he's seen the Lohar. I saw him hover Gareth there for a little bit. Does he think... Ian's going to take the Gareth for himself if he doesn't first pick. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Stealing the Gareth away, sometimes you see that now. Yeah, you I, you never know. I, I would imagine Lohar's hardest counter in is probably... Yeah, hard to say. I think Meister's really thinking... He's definitely brainstorming whether or not he does think it's okay. He does think it's worth it to get the Gareth early, but did Ian, you know, is Ian five head chest, you know, seven steps ahead. Did he want him to take the Gareth? <laughs> did he have something prepared? Did Ian lose the first game on purpose? <laughs> Maybe. Is he doing this uh, for better content? Who knows? <laughs> Now that is an interesting team. You don't see that team too often. Lohar Malady. You don't see Lohar That's too cool. often because he's constantly banned, but you don't see I them together with, I'm guessing, Zalendor sort of playing a support role, maybe. Yeah, I wonder how this is going to go. Lots of teleports on the <laughs> table again. I kind of like. Didn't work out for him that well last game. And Meister's going the tanky boys. He's got slain Gareth. I like it. I like it too. I think this will be interesting. I think I'm. To be honest, I really don't know what Meister uh, is going to do for an opening here with these characters. But Garden Angel. <laughs> yeah, I suppose double Guardian <laughs> Angel, maybe. Who knows? But uh, I, th I imagine we'll see one. And Web. The adrenaline as well. What so you know what that's gonna be. Da -da -da -da. Yo, Jimmy, Smoke. Do you think it would tank your uh, your stream quality if you streamed to me on Discord as well in real time? No, I'd be fine. Uh, That'd be fine. I, I've got this delay, and yep. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but... No, no, no. I can do it without... Uh... Okay. Should be up now. Sweet. So he went for the smoke. He, he did. He went for the smoke. And I think he got the cursed web, too. So he's he did the classic... The Ian Lohar Classic. And what has it done? Well, so far... Hmm. Meister's thinking. And he's actually going to delay. I don't... Hmm. I'm really not sure what's going to happen now. Because there is there is there much harm in delaying a turn? Like, you know, like, what... What is Ian going to do next? Is my question. Well, I mean, if he's not moving out of the smoke, he can get all the source on the map, which might be a problem. <laughs> True. I mean, that, I, I agree. I think that would be a problem. So I guess we'll we'll see how much gets scooped before. 
<laughs> yeah, that's funny. Meister's like, hmm, wait a minute. Big smiles from Ian. Have fun. <laughs> Ominous. Well, I guess Meister sees what's coming, but now what's he got planned to do? Armor restoration. I wonder. Yeah. I wonder if reflective barrier could actually shoot some stuff back through the cloud. That's what I was thinking, but it's you know, I don't know exactly how you know because it seems different things are reflected different ways. So yeah, it's very. Uh, he did it though. Reflect is up. Yeah. So I'm curious as to what <laughs> what's gonna happen with. No, he can just reflect. cast rain. Uh, yeah, but yeah. if he does, it might set up surfaces for Zalandor, though. Yeah, maybe. Zalandor the other option, bolt. The other option to, to rain was uh, using his Staff of Magus to set the web on fire. Also, oh, it did not remove I it. I don't think it removes Cursed Web, either. Wow, that's really bad. I did not know this interaction. So okay, now so then, the surfaces are knows. set up. I don't know if he knows about the Staff of Magus then. He really needs to use it. He's literally never going to get out of there if he doesn't burn it. Yeah, he's... Uh... I'm not sure he does know. Is he he's thinking of casting? Just to There's keep nothing some else he keep can out? Do. He I don't think there to, is He much. just has to burn the web. He just has to burn the web. Uh, he decides to... That's, oh, did uh, he mess up? I don't know if time was running out there, but I I don't think he got the wall up, did he? He was gonna wall at the end, but yeah, it didn't, it come, didn't out. come out. Uh, well, so nothing done there. I, he'll save some AP for next turn, but I'm sure he would have liked to have something out this turn. <laughs> More source going the way of Ian. Uh oh. Zandalor is going to have a nice amount of AP next turn as well. Yeah. Is this clear? Nah. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, it does. So Slain is still in webbed. Yeah, it, he but will he... be for, for this turn, but then after that he'll be fine. Unfortunately, I... I yeah. Well... The rest of the team can get out to hopefully. I'm not sure if they'll step on just a little bit of web on the way out and get stuck. He's going to take Slain out the safe way very directly. And see. He's going to go up for these two. Oh, it's just on those steps, it's moving a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that freezes, does it? I think it's... Oh, it doesn't quite get low hard. It was hard to tell from the camera angle. And low hard doesn't even lose all his magic armor. Oh, huh, yeah. I'm I think he surprised. got a bit unlucky with... Uh, That's going to be the lightning spell. Yeah, this is going to hurt. I love this spell. Oh, man. And sets up a charge. Oh, Gareth is stunned. Wow. Yeah. It actually doesn't look like it sets up a charged cloud, but steam cloud. Extra turn, I think. I didn't see exactly who he cast it on. Teleport time. Oh, he's gonna teleport in back in there and then you extra turn oh, yo, this into is so bolt. Cool. I I like this. I like this setup a lot. This is gonna be <clears throat> big damage. Double stun. I think it, it's kind of hard to tell. Alexander, yeah, that is a double stun. And Malady's in here, and 
Malady hurts <laughs> uh, in melee. I think she does pretty good damage with the spear. So this is. But I this mean, is... Maester had all the tools to get out of this, as far as I know. Ian is going to be like, oh, you can't do anything against that. But actually, if you staff of Magnus the web right away and then you fortify it, slain other people to move out, then you're fine. But he, he just didn't see it. I guess. Yeah, this is a pretty bad, uh, <clears throat> pretty bad situation for Meister. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he I... has no way to get uh, magical armor back, so. Nope, he can only get physical at this point. I mean, he can get a lot of physical. He can get as much physical dam or armor as you would want. Yeah. With fortifies and you know men metal, uh, but that's not what he should be worried about right now. Corrupt Blade, well, I suppose Alexander might have been a little worried about physical armor, as Lohar is just going to yeah. walk in there and assassinate. This one is uh, pretty likely going to be set up for Game 3. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> uh, yeah. I would, yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> it's looking that way. But, yeah, it's just this particular setup is so limiting on uh, options. He goes for Icebreaker? Yeah, I think, you know, just going to have to get a little, little crazy, I suppose. He could restore Gareth. Yeah. Looks like that's going to be the play that doesn't remove stun. Blinding. So, Gareth can't see, but Gareth doesn't necessarily need to see to just cast <laughs> Guardian Angel, if that's what he wants. Uh... <laughs> no, it's true. Zan Zandalor this... has the time of his life. This yeah, was Zandalor sure. gaming for sure. Wow. Uh... I don't know if I've ever seen Zandalar used in a way that was just like so just like wow. <laughs> what a setup. Whirlwind I don't think that hits Slain, but Mal Malady's just Malady's kind of the sacrifice. She's kind of suffering in there, but you have Zalandor up here still. pretty threatening oh is that a ooh no it doesn't doesn't huh. he's actually gonna go for rain instead and like, I think the only one frozen there was Malady but there it is no no Gareth Gareth froze there yep off the second Slane's been kinda chillin Still has magic yeah. and physical. I mean, he's kind of just hanging out. Yeah. But uh, is he enough to solo win this? I don't know. It's kind of easy to forget there's a Lohar in there, too. Yeah. But... Both Lohar and Malady still have all their physical. I don't know how much Slain doesn't have any of his magic CC anymore. He can shields up if he just wants to stay healthy, I suppose. He could shield bash. Yeah, shield bounce, I mean. But, I mean, both of them have full physical. He just doesn't have as many... Losing Alexander lost him a lot of his magic options. He is going to go for shield. Into break. Oh! Oh, that's big! Um, that That's... I like that. I like that a lot. So the break removed the ice? I'm not sure I understood that sequence, but he did set up for a two-turn uh, two freeze. Unless Zandalor has some... Uh, 
Taurus to bless. He's gonna decide to just keep nuking them <laughs> instead <laughs> Poor of helping Gareth. his Poor <laughs> uh, Gareth hasn't gotten to play. Staff. Did that miss? I didn't see damage numbers pop up, but I saw something in, you know, a language I don't speak. But I couldn't tell. Maybe it did hit. Yeah, I... Because, uh, Slain doesn't have magic armor anymore. Oof. Superconductor. I think. Yeah. So... Mm, both of them kind of living on a prayer. Malady. Uh, not sure how much what she's going to do here. I mean, I suppose hypothetically speaking, even if Meister managed to take uh, both of these out, that looked like a crit just based off the text. Yeah. Uh... He'd still have to contend with Zalandor up there, and don't... Uh, you know, you just gotta sucker think. punch him, no sweat. It's true, you just gotta sucker punch him. <laughs> but I don't think they're gonna be able to get up there. Ah, uh, peeking at the scrolls. Gareth flying to get out of there, maybe? I don't know. Or just gonna keep working on what's in front. Could set up oh, a pretty big CC here. Yeah. It's just, every time, he's doing great against these two down here. It's just that mage up top. Can just keep doing his thing. He's just going to keep doing his thing. Going to keep being a problem. The only consolation is maybe most of Zalandar's stuff's on cooldown, but I think at this point a lot of stuff's probably coming off cooldown. <laughs> Including Dazing Bolt, which is going to oh, one-shot both of God. them. Dazing Not one-shot, but... Brutal. What a that was... Fan. I think it was a pretty, it was a pretty, a good effort, Meister. Like, that was, you know, good effort, but holy moly, that is a really disgusting opener. So, that sets up for game three. I'm curious as to what, uh... I get a feeling Meister might not want to go back to Trial by Fire, maybe with a maybe with a Lohar ban, but it is it is Meister's turn to pick. Uh, can you go back to the draft again? Uh, I was just gonna wait until they were actually picking, but just because I don't know the names of these, this is Chapel. But I think this is going to be Chapel indeed. Wow, he really made Malady shine there. That 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 was to my taste. <laughs> I've appreciated this. But I can definitely see how it could be countered though. Meister. Definitely comfortable. He's standing strong on the Arhu ban. I'm curious if Lohar is going to be left up by Ian or if. I'm just curious what Ian might have cooked up through draft here. He won't have first pick. So what is what does Ian want to risk going through? I'm on the edge of my seat <laughs> as I wait for Mr. Strong Pass Fanboy. Strong Pass Fanboy number two, probably. I don't know. <laughs> I don't believe he's the first. No, there's, there's a fanboy and there's a fangirl. <laughs> oh, that's true. There's a fanboy and a fangirl. That's right. I forgot. So he, he, he can still be the first fanboy. He has the owner. Yep. One sec. Okay, that's... Hey, that's not a ban. Still, <laughs> let's see. Maybe busy or just brainstorming. I don't know. But he doesn't want to lose. Have a smoke. <laughs> yeah. Smoke break. 
every time you tell him I got an AFK, he's like, oh, that's fine. Yeah. I'm a smoker. And you're like, <laughs> well, that makes me feel good about taking a break. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's the there's the mix-up. I thought, you know, you never know. But Tarquin ban. So I thought, I don't know, are we going to see Lohar ban, Jahan ban? But no. We're going to see Lohar and Jahan, probably. Yeah. So that's interesting. I I didn't expect Tarquin to get uh, taken out there. Two picks coming up from Ian. I do think one of them will probably be Lohar. Maybe not. Depends how confident he is that Meister won't play him. But, you know... And maybe he's still thinking of something. Okay, Lohar. Zandalore, maybe. I'm After what I saw last time, I wouldn't be too shocked to see Zandalore. Yeah, well, it's a bit unfortunate that... Oh, it is Chapel on the Cliff, I figure. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um... they won't all be grouped. Because of the height change. No, no, no. Chapel on the Cliff, they are all grouped. I don't oh, that's right. I mixed Skyfort. up Chapel with Skyfort. Yeah, no, yeah, Chapel yeah, yeah, yeah. is the one where you teleport right in their back and... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So, being able to... Maybe he's, uh... Watch the dotting footage. Actually, Radeka would be a really good pick here. He could split the split his team, actually. I never thought about that, but Radeka can not only... Uh... Okay, he moved him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering what he... I just saw Lohar disappear, and I was like, Hey, where's he, what's happening there? That's true. It is still his, his, his uh, turn to... He is. I'm just curious... Pick. He's, I can. He's brainstorming. Yeah. For sure. Or I'm, maybe he's looking at his notes like, my Lohar yeah. needs to be two centimeters to the left to get his uh, end web placed uh, properly. Lohar Zandalore. Okay. Yeah. Not. Uh. Yeah. So he does go for the Radeka for the uh, initiative, so he can split his team. I Seems like. like. He's thinking. Is he going to try the Gareth again against Lohar maybe after? Is he going to think the Radeka split will be enough? Hovering Alexander. But is that who he wants? Gives us a nice moment of suspense here. Hovering the pick and then... Uh. I like it. I would go for some Garden Angel shit there, but I guess he doesn't. Lohar, you skinny. Solid pick. <laughs> That's yeah. a good team. Good team. I do, I do like... So far, I like both these picks. I don't know if Ian's going to go for some weird... Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's know, totally something... got some crazy cheese. Yeah, that's up. what I'm wondering. I'm wondering, is, like, is this lack pick going to be something strange? Or is it just going to be it like It might be Malady again. Or Slain. Oh, is it a Slain? Oh, no, it, no, never mind. We're I think Slain would be like the Nexus. solid, you know, just like a, you know, solid round out uh -huh. a comp. He's basically, I Slain is the strongest character still left up on the board. It's probably Slain, Malady. Aside from that, though. Yeah. Could potentially see a Niles for the TP in or with a portal behind, like we saw Dotting do. Yeah, I kind of think we of won't team... see it though. I don't. Uh, think I don't we'll think see it, it would synergize that well. Oh, it is a slain. Interesting. It is a slain. I, I can kind of appreciate. Just pick up, pick what's strongest on the board still. Yeah, it's tankier than uh, Malady. Definitely, uh, I think with the with the back portal, I guess you don't need Malady set up as much. You can just literally walk up there. So we'll see how that goes. So game three is oh he goes. Deck is going for the portal. See, this is wow. what I was curious. Is this this is not what I expected at all? Oh, he's oh, gonna... he's gonna. He can't quite reach it though, and I don't think you get any movement points after coming out of the portal. I don't think you have like. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. I'm not sure. He's not gonna go for it though. He does actually. Okay, thank goodness he checked. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. He does. Okay, I thought he knew that he didn't, so that's why he wasn't. But thankfully, he does, and so this opening has been, 
you know. Well, this is genius. So now, now been... Lohar is like all all screwed up. He can't he can't really just do what he wanted to do anymore. He Lohar's can't so much AP. Yeah, Lohar's best move might just be to go on Radeka, but with backlash. And... Well, he can backlash Radeka unless he doesn't have vision. That would be so funny. If, if he like, doesn't have vision because of this thing, stair pillar, oh, oh my, my god, god, he doesn't. That... I yeah he did it that's so funny oh my god no <laughs> now he, goes for this. He, went, he went back through the portal does he have a uh, adrenaline like chameleon cloak like to move, get out of the way a little bit or is he just gonna uh, adrenaline it? yeah I wonder no way he's still gonna go for what's left like I will not allow you to stop my opener <laughs> I'm getting through there he has enough for smoke. I hadn't done the math in my head or anything, but he still gets the Lohar open, and he goes back too because he still has the AP for it. Yep. He didn't curse though, did he? He didn't have enough for curse. I think the backlash. Well, no. I mean, if he get... was able to teleport, that means he was able to curse. Now he was gonna be upset about this because he should be blinded, you would think, by the smoke. But smoke is very unreliable. Wait. So he easily gets that through. He's gonna put the crescendo on it, I guess. Yeah, that reaches as well. You know what, I guess I just didn't realize Blob went through <laughs> teleporters. I don't know why I hadn't thought of that, but <laughs> it does. I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> oh, cursing it doesn't do anything as far as I know, but uh, he's going to go in, and then I guess he's going to go for the two guys over there. Oh, yeah, see, Ian tells yeah, him that doesn't, doesn't work. work. Oh, is he blocked? I think he's body blocked by the... By, the... by Lohar move. coming out. Yeah, he's got two in his own Radeka. Oh my god, that is really funny. So he's but, just I mean, gonna I make the best of it. For his Rudeka to tank it. Did he just miss? I don't know what happened. There. Oh no, he 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 changed it to oil. We well, didn't did hit that the just hard miss, with though. that though. That did just miss. Wow, that was weird. Is he gonna go bad? Nope, he's gonna call it. He's gonna let it roll. Well, that was weird. <laughs> yeah. I was a bit. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see how this plays out from here. Kind of a weird. Uh, is, it's a little yeah. unusual <laughs> game state, yeah, just from what we've come to expect. But that keeps it interesting. Well, so these guys are going to be just hanging out here for a while. Uh, See if the yeah, rain comes I'm out. Now yeah. he, uh, well, if it's not cursed, that should clear it this time. It yeah, it, it isn't cursed, so, yep, there goes the webbing. Well, he's doing Staff of Magnus, or Magnus. But... Yeah, there's no point. There's no he, point he, now he, uh, that the web's gone. He might as well just fortify someone and call it a day, honestly. Wait, what? why would he... Trying to block the way back? Is he... Yeah, I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, I see. Okay, so he's concerned that they're going to use... The teleporter. Hmm. He does save an AP still. I'm. You know, he wouldn't have had a ton else to do with the AP, I guess, so... Uh... Mm. Not the worst, but I don't think anyone was coming through the teleporter. Maybe Lohar, considering he's close. Yeah. Radeka in a lot of trouble. With the damage she's taken. Yeah. Might be her last turn with Lohar standing right there. Yeah. Actually, where did Radeka? Did she get teleported? Yeah. Oh, I missed it? Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, she's... She's in the danger zone, for sure. 
But what's Lohar going to do? He doesn't have Backlash anymore, as far as I know. Mm, no, I think Lohar just gets to hang out for a little bit. Huh. Turn after using Adrenaline, so... Doesn't have much AP I mean, to spend anyway. As Jehan, as Jahan, I would like to take the portal right now and do something. I don't know really what that wall was about, but I okay. I guess he's just gonna try to. Oh, if he can get source, he could cast. If a he can slug get source now. on, a, yeah, yeah. The source would be would, really would, good to pick up. Slug he's looking. Like he's looking at which which source he can actually get to. I think for sure. Maybe saving the source for Alexander. Gonna check a chest, actually. That's interesting. Now, hopefully he can set up the slug from here. But I don't know if he's gonna have vision on the corpse. Gonna look for it. Not yep, enough. He oh, he does on that one. Yeah, he does. I was looking at the yeah. other one. Forgot there were these corpses And then, corpses I don't know so how far together. he can cast it. Hopefully pretty far. Oh, no, what the... Uh, it doesn't cost AP, so... Or that one, but no, I don't think it... Well, he's got one, so yeah, actually. Yeah, why doesn't he... Oh. oh, oh, that's really interesting. I've been wondering why people don't do those plays more. I, I, I'm really curious to see what will happen with that. Yeah, I'm not actually sure what. I mean, I guess his Rudeka's gonna try to drop it or something, but it doesn't sound like she will get to. <laughs> Ian says nice coffer because uh, he can check the combat log, and like, he oh. was the one who told me that you can check the combat log and see what. And see what up. item he got. Yeah, so yeah, he does yeah. know what's happening. Yeah. Mm, not sure what Zandalore's. Oh, just gonna call it. Alexander, maybe get into that. Mm, no. Do you want to delay? Save up some AP. Does get a move after this, so. The score of these guys are 1 1 right now in their semi final match. So, this is the one that'll decide who goes to Grand to fight Strong Pass. Strong Pass earlier took it 2 1 over Dotting. Checking the coffer on his own. I saw he, he peeked on the combat log too to see if he pulled anything out. I'm not sure if he did. Now I'm curious if he is he gonna go for the opposite portal? Or is he gonna go to the middle with flight? Middle, middle. Where is Slain heading? Nowhere. <laughs> well that's <laughs> anticlimactic. But oh, Alexander, the suspense, the suspense is kept until next turn. You have to see it that way. Yeah, and five AP now for Alexander. Can he get to the source puddle with zero? It looks like it. Kind of has some weird oh, edges sometimes. Oh, that would be huge! But oh that's my god! Huge. Yeah, now he can cast the plant. He can cast Two the plant. AP. Where does this plant? Ooh. Hmm. The plant's not allowed on ladders, right? Nope. So does he want to wait a turn till he can get up the ladder of his own to cast? Or he's just going to go here. You know, I think he might be taking the plant up to grab another... S no, he probably not, isn't going to go another source for Alexander. Oh, that doesn't work. I mean, you can't transfer the source like that. Oh, that's right, because the source just goes on the plant, right? Yeah. <laughs> Goofy. Well, yeah. <laughs> but... He's looking slain straight in the face and I'm gonna spit on him. That sounds good. <laughs> oh yeah, he gets double turn. Uh, he's gonna delay. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Which means that he, it's gonna get a double turn later now. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Next. Alohar gonna go take a little extra damage. But Lohar's he's got his AP again. He's ready to be dangerous. 
<laughs> Backstab. Chicken claw. Well. He had to cast the slug sooner. I don't know why he didn't cast the slug sooner. Uh, well, Jahan, that way, if you have summons on the board and you get chicken, then you're then at least you still have a summon. Yeah. yeah, it keeps you useful. But now Jahan, well, he's not going to be doing too much for at least one turn, and Lohar might have enough damage to finish chicken, him off next turn. Two turns. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, he just burned one, right? I think. He yeah, he he did just. So it, he'll have another turn where he's not doing much of anything. Gonna take care of the plant, I guess. Dazing Bolt. Stunned already, wow. Yeah. Soothing cold. Pretty nice. Is he gonna vamp again, potentially? He's hovering it. Or is he going to go, yeah, maybe cast some of those big Alexander AoE spells? Okay. He's actually turning the other way. I'm surprised he, like, didn't even try to not hit... Uh... No hesitation. Yeah, like, he just went all. and hit Jahan along with it, like, no sweat, whatever. He's like, he's, like, punishing Jahan. How'd you let this happen to you? <laughs> Or Jahan. Yeah, Jahan. The tough or, life of a tough cheer. So, yeah. so, so much pressure on Jahan, man. Every time he gets played, he, if he doesn't perform, man, he gets a lot of hate. Yeah. It's the life of Jahan. But, okay, I was wondering. I was wondering if he was so, going to... So, so, I don't know how that works. I'm sure, I didn't think Blast removed stunned. Yeah, I'm not sure how that interaction is exactly. We'll see Slane going to go for the Source Puddle... Or is he going to go up top? He's ready to fly. He's got the license, but I, don't, I guess he's not using it quite yet. He's peeking around. Go for Alexander. Go for Source. Alexander, Source. Oh. That's an interesting point. Cripples the chicken to stop him from moving. That's pretty big brain. You can't go too far if you're slowed. It's just, I suppose, does the damage from getting oh, hit by... Oh, that was the Alexander... Oh, wow, that was pretty smart, yeah. And Oh, true, true. I was just thinking, does the damage from Impalement make it worth it? But, I mean, Jahan still had magic armor. He's not going to be taking magic damage. Yeah. So, that is pretty, pretty big brain. Still, he didn't fortify, in trouble. He didn't, I, I thought he might walk down to fortify uh, Jahan, though. He's got a lot of faith in Jahan right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Especially I'm because Lohar is going to get another turn before Jahan does. But Alexander, Jahan, or uh, Alex, Lohar isn't very healthy. Alexander may might be on this next him. turn. Yeah. yeah, I might just kill him instead of. Uh... I think uh, some things might be pretty pretty close. Uh -oh. oh, and Palemon oh, cripples bad. with Fizzar. Yeah. Okay. Alexander going to be going for a journey here? Yeah, which means that he won't be able to save uh, Lohar. I mean, save Jahan. It's up to That's the plant now. Play. Yeah, it's, uh, every time I don't that think happens, the plant you're like, can, why though. didn't I use Fortify for one point? You know, you're just like, why didn't I see it coming? But Let's see where he ends up putting him. He's, he's scheming where to land him. All the way to the right, I think. That's what I do. He is looking that way. Yeah. And then... I don't think the the teleport is probably not not great. I forget where that one goes. Uh, it's actually not that bad. I would take it if I were him. Yeah, maybe... It sends him here, and then, but I don't think he'll have the AP to uh, get anything. He's, oh, if, he's if he could fortify Jahan, that would be huge. I don't. 
Oh, Jahan's tucked in that weird angle, and it'll cost him 3 AP to get up, so he'd be out. Yeah, He's saving he two. If he... Hmm, I don't know if, if he delayed turn, he might have still gone at the end and had the AP for it, but... That's pretty risky, I guess. I'm not entirely sure how delay turn works. If you delay right at the start, does it just move you to the end of the order? Yeah, but if someone's already delayed, then you get delayed, but after them. Mm. Like, you will play before them. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Slain getting in on the action now. Oh, he's going to go up to run interference. And a sucker oh. punch. So, if Jahan is going to survive, somehow this plant is going to be what would have to save him. If it can kill Lohar, uh, I don't... I don't think so. Its options are just not, not great, uh, yeah, just no matter which way you look. That's, I guess, the best value. Can't climb ladders, so... Lohar might finish what he started here. Adrenaline to guarantee. Wow, wow just one, one hit. On the plus side, I suppose Lohar is not going to be able to do much next turn. Um, but... Jahan's dead. And... Alexander is in a tough spot. Is he getting punched for now? He got sucker punched by Slain, and now he's getting just bullied. Yeah. The plant's also I mean, getting... I, I, <laughs> I assume Lohar has his sucker punch. If yeah. that's the case, then it's over. I think it's over. Yep, regenerating while decayed. 101 damage off that. Yeah, Crippled. but he's going to get more in the next turns, too. Yeah, Lohar. Lohar might not even sucker punch. He's got him. He's behind him. Yeah, yeah, he's just... Likely just him, a backstab crit until... Well, he should still look sucker punch, just... Apparently, sucker punch can't miss. No. Uh -huh. You might want to do attacks first, and then sucker punch maybe if you wanted the safety, but... No safety needed. Because, uh... That's all. Wow... Oh. Wow, well Meister then. didn't make it easy. No, that was that was an exciting set. Uh, after the the first game, I had big hopes for my boy Meister. He's the one that kicked me out of the tournament, man. I made I... him promise to win for me, but no, I'm kidding. I didn't. <laughs> I was hoping he would. He got further. Honestly, he's pretty good. I, I was impressed. I didn't realize Meister was that good at first. He's he's really solid. He is. He. I he mean, could have beaten him there. He could have. He, the last game was. You know, pretty close too. Bam. So the villain proceeds to the grand finals. And uh, yep. we'll see how that goes. And our hero strong pass. Yeah. We'll have a chance to, uh, you know, you know, be the hero. But I've updated the bracket. Oh, and... thanks. I've been, like, absolutely not looking into that. Thanks so much. No, that's no problem. That is true. North America is still in it. Woo! Let's go, North America. Yeah, no, no pressure. You can crush lots of North American dreams, Strong Pass. But... Okay, so we got... I'm seeing Ian fans, and I've seen... I mean, Strong Pass has a whole full-blown fan club so yeah yeah strong pass is the fan favorite for sure yeah so we got <laughs> he has my vote he has your vote I'm, I'm, i mean I'm... geez even ian is part of strong passes fan club yeah true <laughs> one of his fan club <laughs> man strong passes is, is he's powerful yeah he's already converted the opponent to his side the real question is if is we're gonna get are we gonna get memes 
you know are we gonna get Deacon i don't know Freeman's, i'm not saying uh, big memes i'm not saying we should or shouldn't I, i'm just wondering if we will you know <laughs> yeah gm mode versus arena mode when worlds collide we need a three-way <laughs> match where's the speed runners yeah someone call up worldly shiki was in here earlier oh i didn't oh yeah i see it i see it so <laughs> have of the three worlds collide but yeah i suppose we have everyone together and probably get this started before too long huh yeah 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 for sure so um i don't know if i have Ian, strong Ian's... pass on uh if he'd be willing to send a steam link my way other than that otherwise uh... it's ian and uh yeah you know, oh no i'm just you know if we if uh <laughs> we could see from the give it 10 minutes sure i mean, if strong pass needs 10 minutes i'm i'm willing to i could just put up the timer right now if we wanted to take a a break before finals up to you though joe uh yeah sure i can send you the um the the, the image sure if you wanted me to pull that up and Get a timer up. But yeah, for now, sure, you can put a timer for 10 minutes, I guess. That's something good. Sure, if you just want to... Do you want me to have the image up during the, the break? Or no, just not, do the, not during the timer. Sure, sure. We'll, we'll, we can just prepare it for the end. All right, let me... I'll pull it up. that over well on the fly changes but okay so I've got that set up I'll go you know I'm gonna take the break and it'll be grand yep. finals up next yes sir
All right, 10 minutes are up. Uh, go ahead, unmute myself on Discord here because I think we're just about ready to go. Yeah, we're just about to get started, aren't we? Yep, uh, so I did add Storm Pass on Steam, so whenever he's ready to shoot a broadcast link my way, we'll be ready to go. I've sent yep. you the uh, splash images for the end of the stream. Yep. Let me go ahead and probably... I left the space at the bottom right for the commentary little faces that we set up. Yep. Let me, uh... Oh, nice. You even titled them nicely. Thank you for that. I very yes, appreciate sir. that. So <laughs> you even know what I'm going to be seeing. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And the link just came through from Storm Pass, so just waiting for that to load up. I'll give it a chance here. It says waiting for the broadcast to start, and it looks like there it is. Yep. Awesome. So I've got his point of view. Just wait. He's uh, on his way. I see him on the way to the arena right now. <laughs> as soon as he gets in there and as soon as he joins, it's time for the grand finals. The end of this grand adventure. Let's yep. see. NA versus Europe. That's what it Who takes the win? Here's the Good journey. or evil. <laughs> Good or evil. <laughs> this is the journey it took to get here. With Strong Pass taking out Soul, then Dotting to get here. Ian taking out Bunny, then Meister. Losing at least one hero? Jeez, at first it sounded like... I'm not even sure he dropped one character against uh, against Crow yesterday. And once again, Ian is no longer a Storm oh, no, Pass no, 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 fan. No, 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 that's not okay. They're going on Wreck of the... Wreck of the Venom? Oh, this is an illegal stage, is it? If they're in, in comms, yeah. That's funny, we haven't had too many problems with Up anything here. like this. Yeah, you go ahead. That's funny, we haven't had any sort of problems with this, and then they're both just like, yeah, we know, we'll just get it. <laughs> I just thought it was really funny that Ian is no longer a Strong Pass fan. He cannot be. Now he is just a casual. He's just a casual arena player in Grand Finals. And, okay, I think they might be reasoning where they're just like, ah, you know, we both agreed to this. The reason I'm saying is that they, they probably know this isn't legal. Uh, first pick, Brachus. So, and then second pick, Lucian into Lucian into Lucian. Okay, so I think we know what's happening here, right? Like, <laughs> with it being the way it is, I think, uh, and they went through, so... Oh my god. They got they got you with uh with the memes, huh? It's like, yo reps here guys, what's going on? And they're like, What, there's nothing illegal here, you know, we're just There's gonna... nothing <laughs> We agreed, gentlemen's agreement to triple Lucian. Oh I think it should have oh been Lucian god. versus Brachus though for you know Yeah, no, I, I heard about Brachus for a bit while I was in comms, but then it sounds like they went for all No, the they Lucian went for triple Lucian. I was like, Man, where's the Brachus? Brachus <laughs> 
Like <laughs> Lucas, act, Lucian actually looks cool, but Brachus is a real goofy looking dude. And like I was hoping to see Brachus. <laughs> yeah. But casual arena player's turn. Oh, casual nice, arena nice player. He has exited the Strong Pass fan club. <laughs> The thing oh, is, though, no. is they're actually probably going to, like, try. <laughs> they're just going to have weird picks, but they're going to, like, you know, try I, I, to do wonder, something with yo, them. I just reposted the link, like, everywhere, like, Grand Finals coming. Grand up. Finals, <laughs> come see the most serious tournament we've ever... And then they pick the Triple Lucian. <laughs> but at least it'll be fun, you know? It'll be pretty funny. I'm not, I'm not super... Yeah, casual arena gameplay. Oh god. Ooh, right, you sure you want to stand there, Lucian? Right next to that barrel? I have to relearn what what is I have to learn what Lucian has for spells. He has a lot of like buff spells, right? Like fire damage, you, like You notice how they're all just picking up scrolls? Like clearly that's better than their kid. Yeah, I mean why yeah, you're playing Lucian, just pick up scrolls. <laughs> and they all went Phoenix. Lucian on like the most like campy long range map that is banned for that reason. <laughs> yeah. Pick Lucian, Phoenix dive to scrolls. It's powerful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. And a lot of source... Is Does he have any good source spells? Onslaught? I forget what the other one is. Another... Okay, he's picking up source. I, I think... Is he... No, he just has the one source. Is someone trying to, like, get all the source? Oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. I mean, what? Epidemic of Fire is what they're gaming for, I guess? I mean, jeez. Oh, look oh, at he's the, stealing. <laughs> the vamp coming one. through. Oh, my he's God. Just this taking is it. funny. Is, he's, well, is he taking it straight from... Oh, he's from, getting both because he had two. Straight from the source. But oh, my God. But, uh, is he going to use it right away? Nah, he's going to no, keep it. it wow. I think he's greeting, he's greeting for Onslaught. Oh, my God. They're just they're slapping each other. The whips well, are coming I mean, out. So far, we're watching. Uh, we're watching Strong Pass's viewpoint. He wants right? it right back. <laughs> he wants it back. Oh my! God. <laughs> and to deny him, he's like, "You're just gonna steal this back, so I'm gonna take one and bless." Oh. Uh... Oh my God! No, with the triple <laughs> red scrolls, no. I forgot about that. There's six revives possible in this game. Oh. I wonder if they have like three meme matches planned up or if it's just the first I wonder one. if they're gonna throw, one's gonna throw so they do get three. Honestly, if they have like an entertainment lineup of different characters, I'm all for it. If we yeah, have to watch I'm, Triple Lucian again, <laughs> maybe uh. not. But Isn't that how all tournaments work? Usually there's a limit to a gentleman's agreements that are allowed to do, right? <laughs> Usually, do but I guess with there's no like money or anything, so there's like, ah, we're just we're just gonna okay, have fun. They don't care. It's fine. They don't care. They're fighting for glory right now. Yeah, and honestly, who knows? This might be for people watching it, maybe this is more entertaining. <laughs> I mean, we've seen a lot of try hiring today, I guess why not? Yeah. You know, we've seen a lot of Jahan, we've seen a lot of, you know, well, we saw a decent amount of Lohar today, but now, Lucian, and this Lucian is, a, uh, yeah, he's probably not going to live that. I think he's going to burn. Now, where is this Lucian going? I think there might be a chest right there that's blocked by the branch. I think I can just see the corner of it. What I didn't see is what he got out of there. What is he doing? He got... Yeah, I'm curious as to what he got out of the chest. Uh-oh. <laughs> That'll do it for one, Lucian. And what he looked... What he doesn't realize is he was peeking to snag the scroll off the body. Yeah. But... Apparently, he, he did the same thing. Because we saw Strong Pass. Look, he moved them all to one specific Lucian. 
Yeah, Ian yeah, did the yeah. same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is so They're funny. They're serious about their Lucian gameplay. This is right a here. very. This is the most serious <laughs> meme match I've ever witnessed. Yeah, this is some godly Lucian gameplay right there. <laughs> yeah, some godly Lucian gameplay indeed. Man, are they really just gonna use all their stuff to bless? Like, I wanted to see the onslaught. My question is, are they going to keep one Lucian as... No, he's going in with it. I thought they were going to keep one Observer Lucian holding the scrolls at a oh, high ground scrolls? to try yeah, and yeah, revive. Yeah. So he can revive from far away. <laughs> but no. He's going to go in. Lucian is such a weird character. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. His gift looks kind of cool, but... It looks cool. The heel is so out of place, though. It's so weird. Yeah, well, what's that doing there? <laughs> it's strong, though, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the inventory looks so funny. Is Ian going to fight back here? Or is he going <laughs> to move his Lohar out of there? Or not Lohar, it's, it's Malusian. Lohar? I wish. <laughs> I was just <laughs> thinking, I was like, we man. We did get a break. We did get a break from seeing Lohar and stuff. That's that's cool, I guess. Yeah, my only hope is that it's not all Lucian again. Just, you know, keep mixing it up. Yeah, yeah, we want... Well, I mean, Triple Brachus would be kind of... Uh... <laughs> Maybe even better if they have, like, not Triple Stack. They just go for all the low tiers. They get all of the low tiers. You know, together. one mode we did sometimes was, uh, I well, like, we talked about it, right? The the It's Crow that came up with that. Such a serious player, but he came up with this goofy uh, way to drop, which is uh, you pick your enemies. Uh, oh, you, you pick for your enemy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, really funny. But you still have bans, so you can try to ban shit. You can that ban you really the worst play. character. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he's still going to be just up here observing. Nope, not anymore. Phoenix dive. I don't Phoenix know why he walked up there, really. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, oh. He's trying to find something. He's still peeking around, he's thinking. There's the resurrect. It begins. Wait. Yeah, there it is. He's back, and I think he's immediately burning. Does he immediately burn to death? Oh. Because is that him standing next to him, the rezzed? Gaming. <laughs> yeah. There's some gaming going on here for sure. <laughs> and goodbye, Lohar. Welcome back and see you. Oh, he got enough for Onslaught. Please use it. I just uh, want to see it. I think it's funny. Yeah, yeah. He's going to pop the fire band and then Onslaught with it. He was a good man. True. <laughs> Rutta Watton. <laughs> God, where's that from? I can't remember. Oh, let's go! With all the little 10 bonus damages, he's not dead or anything, wow. No, it's Onslaught, it's kind of... <laughs> Damn, that was... I just wanted to see surprising. it, I don't really think it's that good. <laughs> I just wanted to see no, it. No, I, I, I'm, I'm very underwhelmed right now. Yeah, I, I am incredibly underwhelmed. Wait, he was a good man, what a rotten way... Isn't that from, uh, freaking Deus Ex? <laughs> I do not the know. The video game? I'm pretty sure it is, that's funny. I got your reference, Strong Pass. I'm now a Strong Pass fan because you said it. I'll join the fan club. Please res him again. Just waste your AP resin him on the Necrofire so he just burns immediately. Oh yeah, that's right. He does have yeah, does have the heal. The other Lucian Slugfest over here. They're just staring at each other. <laughs> uh... Both of them are like crippled too. Firebrand. He blesses. Didn't turn. 
Into holy fire? Oh. <laughs> yeah, what he's gonna do? Oh, he's gonna slap him right back. Oh, what's that? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. I don't see. Oh, yeah, he's oh. got laser ray. <laughs> Forget about oh, that. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, he got it through a scroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I don't think Lucian has that. Oh, he's getting crafty. He's moving the red scroll away. Preparing to go in. Yeah. Hold my red scrolls. I'm getting in there. <laughs> it's probably because he's going to need oh. them, too. All right. Oh. He gets a knockdown. Wow. Into beat down. <laughs> oh, this guy's in trouble. What is he going to do? He's definitely in trouble. He's already withstood an onslaught, but 69 damage. Nice. 68 wow. that time. Way less cool. But he does die. And... Woohoo, 5%. Gotcha. 5% showing up. So he's just going to go ahead and heal himself. God is on my side. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, he's on both sides, but... <laughs> fire whip so you just cleanse the burn off you congratulations it's back and now is he gonna heal he's gonna heal himself oh wow <laughs> he looked again for a scroll doesn't find any scroll management coming in clutch <laughs> I've not seen this much inventory management in a while in a while <laughs> occasionally well, you'll see it sometimes but yeah the first set we had yesterday had a lot of it but <laughs> this is i do enjoy try hard meme matches because <laughs> you can like see that they're good but you're well, it's a little more difficult with how uh they're playing triple lucian they're clearly doing triple aru next that I'm would sure be Scrum something Pass would love that Triple Aru <laughs> with just three incarnates running around while none of the Arus actually move. <laughs> I don't want to give him any ideas. <laughs> I don't know. Which one do you want to see next? A Triple Brackus would be pretty funny just for... Oh, I feel my, like it's yeah. the meme, you know? Yeah, it's the ultimate meme. But I do hope well, they... Well, I mean, I mean, Lucian just really fights for the title with the Raz Scrolls and everything. Honestly. He does. It's it's a close one, <laughs> for sure. It's a close contest. Uh, I'd love to see a Brachus Dallas, like, kind of Face a meme third option. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's Brachus Dallas Lucian. Oh, he's running away. Is he going to res someone? Has uh -uh. he used all the scrolls yet? No. This is... I do believe this is one of... He has like a, a lightning spell. Huh. He's got them grouped up too. I was trying to see wow. if it was in the. Oh no, don't tell me he loses for clumping up like that. That would be so sad. Maybe not, because he's looking a different way. He's just got to take care of one more Lucian. <laughs> oh no, he's on fire. Watch out for the barrel. Blitz attack? I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh, you hate to see it. it. Doesn't it? Doesn't actually take his turn. And there's some conveniently placed vines. <laughs> and it's the no sight for knockdown. Will he get it now? He can just do it in place. Yep. Oh, but a miss. This is peak gameplay. Oh, peak gameplay here. Oh my god. You guys. <laughs> oh my god. This is hilarious. He's <laughs> really hunting for the angle. Maester asks for a triple Jahan. Oh god, slugs everywhere. Still has two AP. Is he gonna blitz attack his own guy so he can get behind, get there? Yeah, five percent isn't actually five percent. I'll explain later. What do you mean? 
Five percent miss isn't actually five percent miss. It you know it just happens way more often than it feels like. Oh yeah yeah. Oh takes two. There oh, it is. Wow. That one doesn't miss. <laughs> just keep trying. Five percent can't uh, get you forever. All right, oh, ten health. HP. Yeah, he'll burn. Oh. But finish him off. Get all the Lucians up there in the group picture. <laughs> That's it. Wow, what a game. Really showcasing, you know? The depth of our community, the strategies yeah. they've worked for weeks. To be <laughs> to fair, preparing. I've never seen the triple Lucian strategy. I've seen something new. I learned what that character even does <laughs> for spells. <laughs> but what's next? That's game one. Unless they were just like, that's it. But no, I mean, come on now. It's a best of three. Is it going to be the, the same map? Or now. are they going on a stupid map again? <laughs> it would be very anticlimactic if we just ended now. Oh, they know. They have their plan and everything. Okay. Trial? What is it going to be this time? I, it, you'll, we'll know off the first pick. I hope... I, Pray they were not listening to the uh, triple R. No, please. I that wasn't supposed to be spoken into existence. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I don't care at this point. Just yeah, it's it. just whatever. Just give it to me, yo. Oh, there's a ban. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Strong pass oh has my, my God, back. Guys. Strong pass. I think has we're my having back. a normal match. Or are we? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. That's not a low tier. A low heart pick. Indeed. And we have a Caliban here just sneaking up. Hard yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, good. Nice, good. nice. Just came to see some matches. Were you, uh, into that, uh, did you know they were planning this, this grand, uh, Triple Lucian Ditto, or that was news to you as well? Um, I didn't know it was going to be in collaboration with Strong Pass, <laughs> but it is fun. We've done it before. <laughs> triple Ooh. Gareth incoming, please. Triple Guardian Angel. Let's see. Let's see. But I think this Strong Pass won, right? If I remember right. Yeah, Strong yeah, Pass yeah. So won that. Ian probably doesn't want to lose. So now... Going we have for some it. secret tech. I think yeah, I know who who he's gonna pick. Uh oh, some anti Jahan tech. Poor Jahan. Man just wants to throw a slug out. <laughs> Man just wants to play normally, but <laughs> no, he's too good. Oh, interesting. Okay, because he went. For... Oh yeah, because the Zandalor got taken this time. So mm -hmm. I see teleport on Maladies. An interesting but he doesn't deny his lohar first initiative mm. which is interesting i feel like the radeka sucker punch strat was good oh no but radeka is banned radeka was ian banned radeka. oh yeah 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 yeah, ian banned her. yeah i did not see that yeah <laughs> so either way the lohar is going to be strong here yeah lohar is going to go do, go ahead and do his thing wait were you there to see um ian's uh opening with um well, his comp with uh, uh, Zalandar, uh, Lohar, and uh, Malady. I did not. It was so cool, man. Because he had Curse Smoke, mm -hmm. and then Malady went in there with um, her... the smoke, the closed circuit. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. think it actually electrified the smoke, though. I'm not sure. It. I don't but think then, it, but then it she creates was a curse. Immune. It, it yeah. creates a curse static cloud. Oh, and yeah, well, look at it... that smoke. Oh my God! It denied Jahan so much area. Ooh, and it. But it's necrofire. If, yeah, if and you want to get out, can't see. you have to necrofire it. And his whole team's still in webbed. Hmm. Oh, he could have done that. Yeah, maybe. Uh, no, he couldn't because the smoke. Wow, you can't oh, see that's true. point I one that meters in front of you. I forgot that was a thing. This is so weird that you can't cast that. It's so bizarre. He's well, just the way the tornado wiggling. scroll works is it's it's one click towards an area. So like if you click it away, 
from your character, it still. Okay, just play your turn, dude. What is he doing? <laughs> yeah, right. I think he's. I think he's. Uh, yeah, trying he's to make out a of point. Options. Taking the wings. Interesting. That is interesting. Setting up for next turn, I suppose. Kind of a. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah, yeah he, he saves. Jayhon is no longer in wet. Yeah, he saves one AP for next turn that way, so that's that's good, I think. Yeah, it allows him to get to a high ground, next turn and maybe. Ian is playing very out. aggro though. Coming in with the closed circuit, I see. Probably gonna get that source to the left as well. Yep. Now all the sources on Ian's side of the map, and the one to the left up there. Yeah, Soothing Cold makes sense. Still can't Still see nothing though. <laughs> <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> he can see in the one direction. But he but can rain though he now, can't right? In there. Oh no, it's Necrofire, so he can't. Nope. He's he's going through everything, but. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, I saw he can teleport. He can the corpse. teleport the corpse, but like that's a waste of a teleport, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. But I'm not too worried for him. I mean, once he moves out of there, I mean, Gareth can still guard an angel and all. Like he hasn't taken much damage, so. What what happened last turn? He he had last time he did this combo, his last character was Zalandar. And the issue was that after Malady went in, Zalandar could nuke everyone on top of her because she was immune anyways. And they I just think... died. But Tarkin here is not gonna have this Oh oh my god, he has the bloated corpses though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this could I, I would go I would go and straight for a bloated corpse. And yeah. I would I would straight up Get a bloated corpse there. I think that's what he's going for. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. shit! I didn't think about that. I mean, it is against Gareth though. So it's I gonna least... electrify the blood probably too. Make it maybe make a cursed blood cloud when uh, the closed circuit goes off. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Well, if there's anyone that can get you physical armor back though, it's this guy. And then men. Perhaps, yeah. but two are peeled. Oh, JK. The men metal as well. Damn, that's so much physical. Yep. Gareth going up the meta every day. <laughs> uh oh. More grenades coming in. Yeah. Yeah, here comes the cursed fire and terrify, probably. That was a terrible cursed fire grenade. Oh my <laughs> god. It's the RNG. All right, Jahan. Yeah, he's looking. Wow, he's, he's looking yeah, at I his would, health and magic. Ground. Ground. I would take the high ground. If I yeah, were I would get tower. the high ground up there by the. I don't know why he didn't go for the tower. Yeah, I really... because if he had the tower, he could have done the source vamp, and I don't think he gets it unless he wastes. Yeah, what does he gain from not being up there? I'm so confused. He's still gone for it. He's full uh, committed. I mean, Slug plus Crescendo is only 2 AP, so... I guess so. Mm, I don't know if that was the play. I would have Crescendoed Slug over by Lohar. But, we'll see. Well, that's gonna hit yes. so. But yeah. that, hits, that hit him it too. Hit that hit him as well. That sucks. That's Why? Bad. He did not. That... That's just barely too. He's on the very edge. And, uh, yeah, she still gets to do her thing. Mm -hmm. There was no knockdown. That's a lot of damage. Stunned Gareth? Oh my god. Yeah, he got stunned last time too. There was a Gareth in the last yeah, game. Yeah, Gareth he didn't seems... move after this combo. Yeah. He just didn't get to do anything. At least he got Guardian Angel off, so standing there is actually not terrible. He can just Moving stand. Moving to be useful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he can just yeah. stand there. And I think he's the still... problem is that he couldn't move, and now Jahan's gonna get sniped because he's not in Gareth range. Probably. Does he... You know, I don't know. This turn, I think, is gonna be pretty important. 
for Zandalar. Mm. He has a lot of AP. Mm. Is he going to use it against him and throw him into the curse? Yeah, fire? throw him in the fire. What are you doing? Throw him in the fire. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Oh. What was that? What is he doing? Uh, he was trying to get the weapon so he can sucker punch, but he didn't, he didn't like, plan it ahead, so... Oh, mm -hmm. double freeze? I Maybe. don't know if... I don't know, does that work? He might have the magic armor, or the AP, to peel the magic armor. Maybe not, because it's just hail He's just gonna hit point, one, and it's yeah. RNG, yeah. Might get one He of gets them. low har, yeah. yeah. Oh wait, how is it RNG? Because it's the, like, triple circle instead of, like, all centered on one, like, Winter Blast. Yeah, I know, but it's always the same three spots that hit, no? Uh, depending on the orientation of your character. So, like, you can't turn it, you know? You can't turn the Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. But, I mean, once you see the diagram, you know where it's going to hit, though. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's more unreliable, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish he could rotate it. I don't know why they didn't like allow that, but oh well. Mm. Dimensional bolt. Ooh, and it was a shock dimensional bolt. Yeah, I was, he just went for the RNG. That is RNG. Oh my god. He just went for it. Well, he did need magic to be able to get the Terrify. It, like, there's a low chance you could get a Necro Blood in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, what is it? One out of five? I don't actually know. Something around that, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Malady just kind of She's in there here. somewhere, yeah. I'm not sure what she's going to do. She can't move. It'll probably just burn. Uh, probably uses a teleport. Or does she have uh, supernova? Or not supernova, but uh. She made it out. Oh, she has wings, so she can't ignore the fire. Actually. Oh, that's true. True. The necrofire. Oh, she's blinded. That's the worst, actually. Oh, she by the smoke. She can't teleport him yeah. too far. Yeah, she can't do anything. Damage. Just physical, I guess. <laughs> I thought she would send him on the barrel, but I guess not. I would have, I think. Oh, this will hurt. <laughs> Double stun. stun. Both. Oh my god. Well, that's solid. I never expected that Zalandart to get up there and do that much work. I was yeah, he's, scared that. He's doing it. Yeah, I thought the Zalandart would just kind of get wrecked for going up there after casting one or two spells, but. Gareth is just chilling. <laughs> nice yeah. yeah, just doing Gareth things. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he just kind of hangs out. <laughs> you know, if I were him, I would just like save my AP now. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't with shields back up. I mean, he doesn't really. Oh no, he should walk up and get. He should walk up at least for maybe. Guardian. I would. I think he should. And he's back out. Oh, but he gets it on Zalandar. Oh, but it ends there. Oh, pff, yeah. It expired. Well. Mm -hmm. Slug, uh... Slug can't do shit. Except yeah, he's just gonna go for... Except, except kill someone. So that's but still... And this still slug hits. has been, like, Jehan's own worst enemy. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it's hit him twice Did now. Did Jehan get blinded there? No. Oh, now he's gonna go for it? He's got a lot of shock surface. He he does have magic yeah, armor, Yeah, he's though. gonna get stunned. Just barely. Just barely that makes it without so getting stunned. I don't even know what his magic armor is after that. <laughs> it's like not visible. Oh wow! Right between the two. Nice. Oh, this is I good. I think they're dead here. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty savage. He's looking at other cooldowns real quick to make sure. Uh, he really, if he can choose, he should definitely kill uh, Tarkin before he gets Living Edge off. He's aiming I don't right think at he him. has the damage though now, does he? Goodbye, Lohar. He might be able to just kill, yeah. Ooh. I like that, attacking a little more. Oh, right, Tarkin doesn't play right away. No, Tarkin's dead then. No way. 
He has one damage. He's got my Oh, that's unfortunate. He has teleport. He has teleport. He oh, but he doesn't have a weapon to punch him. Could just teleport him onto a barrel. To be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll that'll do. That'll do the trick. Yeah. Teleport <laughs> right on. <laughs> what the? Wait. Why? <laughs> wait. Did teleport not do? Oh, that? he's he's flexing Oh, he didn't on actually him? teleport. Yeah. <laughs> wait. I was say, did he teleport him and then it didn't do anything? Wow, did did he just kick out Ian from the tournament? Wow. No, he just, yeah, he just, I, he just was really good like that. <laughs> he he survived Trump that. Trumpfest is opener. just really good like that. Yeah, honestly, Damn. gotta give him props because he he played that super Yo, well. Yo, let's go, let's go trash talk Ian. Let's go. We're switching to the other Discord, okay? All right. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not from e you. E you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't beat the power. Oh of your... wow! There's no way. Oh. That opening, yeah, they, that that didn't work at all, man. <laughs> no, it did not. Damn. Did you, did you see my struggle with the tornado scroll? It's like, come on, I got yep. vision. Yo, you're, you're you can't, you like, can't use it in smoke. It's fucked up. Yeah. Yep. Your guy was like break dancing in there. Yeah, yeah. Out of all the things that should not work in smoke and those that should, that's one that you would hope would work. <laughs> all the other shit gets through though. Damn. I, yeah, I, I really hate like, smoke. I really like the, the the mallet you play there. Just close circuit, pretty good. He did the same with um. He did the same, but he had Zalandar. I, you you were hoping to get Zalandar in your draft this time, right? Oh, certainly, certainly. Uh, I yeah, thought I could so adapt that... it with the uh, Tarquin pick, but I wasn't able to peel their magic armor, so yeah. I couldn't mass terrify there. Yeah, also, he Caleb, got said the, uh... your... Caleb said your grenade was pretty unfortunate. It didn't RNG very well to pierce their armor. So the that... oh, did... oh, did I not get a good one? No, it was like 60 damage Gareth, and that was it. Oh, well, no. Okay, well. Gareth! Gareth was in the final match on the winning team. Go Gareth! <laughs> Yo, Gareth, we're World the champion, end. Gareth. Let's go. Gareth. That's here now. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, Gareth did win. It's true. Well, not like, the last lane. Probably would have been better, but I mean, he still hey, Gareth won. Gareth gave me that um, wing scroll for uh, Jahan. Ah, Think no, you're right, it. actually. Yeah. Think about it. Also, a strong pass. I really don't know why you didn't choose to go um, uh, up. The high ground. Why did you decide to go next to uh, Malady? Because you ended up like blowing up yourself with the slug and everything. What, like, what I, was I, that about? I needed source. And yeah, yeah, but you can snipe really the source close. from up there. You can get. You used the there. you used the same amount of AP walking forward to get the source that was on Ian's side as it took to like fly to the base of the ladder and then okay. climb up the ladder and then just slurp it up. Like it was Pretty the exact sure. same. My full person. Well, there's the barrel. Was... You don't think the barrel could have blocked it? No, definitely. Not. I was I was thinking, do I want to go up there? I don't know if I'll have vision on um the guys on the other side. Uh, you so do, thought... but you have to use illegal technology in order to hit me. <laughs> yeah. So, and also, uh, your Jahan didn't hit them at all, anyways, until the very end. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Your your Zandalor was the one that swept me. Damn. Zandalor was pretty throughout the tournament. He's been pretty mm. dang strong. I mean, yeah, I, I can't play him properly, but w when I saw him walking up that ladder, I was like, he's a hero, you know? But, like, <laughs> he he's just gonna hero. die there. He's just gonna die. But somehow, like, there was nothing to knock him down or CC him. He just got the CC off right away into the, like, double stun right after. Because you, you saved AP, right? Well, he yeah, had no he choice got, to. He, he, had, like, no. he, he can't even cast the scroll. <laughs> <laughs> Not for sure, for sure. Um, there was also... I keep on forgetting Zandalor has elemental infinity. I was like, cool. Oh, I'm standing on water. Shit. Wait, is somebody here called Power Lord One? That I'm getting messages from them on Steam. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's uh, Maester. That's, that's, that's Maester. Oh, okay. Allow, allow. He, he he's saying congratulations. Yeah, I I did it for the EU man. Although yeah. I am oh, on yeah? the UK, so whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Do you regret that that Lucian Lucian uh, match now, uh, <laughs> Ian? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> that I was the plan. It. That was the plan that from was, the beginning to get people to that, play Lucian Ball. That, that was, was your hope. That was your plan. Yeah, that was your yeah, hope so, from the very start. <laughs> oh, my, from the start, I wanted people to take this game less seriously, and uh, you know, <laughs> my mentality you did, you was did. 
I could win in like the mean games because I prefer melee characters, but he'll <laughs> win on like the actual tryhard stuff. <laughs> oh no, but you want you want it both technically. Yep. Yep. We have solid players in here, Ian. Solid mm -hmm. players. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy right now. It was a I'll, cool tournament. It's not I'll figured put, out. Ian yeah, still has work on his plate. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on my CV or resume yeah. and Discord profile, arena mode champion. And... <laughs> I mean, you are the world champion, you know. Best in the world. Wow. That's true. Nice. No so, less. <laughs> the good thing about me winning this is that if I participate in the next one, I, I don't need to, to, to like try hard. I've got to pick like Dallas. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You already got to win. Characters. Yeah. Wow, that was fun. Yeah, I got the graphic up at the end of the the new stuff, plus the the oh, strong pass me, winning graphic and everything. I don't know if you want to talk about the oh, uh, my God. the new stuff. Like, the if 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 I knew you were going to show my um. My Steam profile picture. That Steam profile picture is sick. <laughs> it looks sick, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's um, it it's from a certain movie. So if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks cool either way. It looks like an old school movie. What movie is it? I I'm not gonna say that on your professional <laughs> stream. I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> also, did you drop a uh? Uh, was it a Deus Ex quote too? Yeah, the in, uh, I caught that. Uh, yeah, I was <laughs> like, I, I know that's from. <laughs> so you were right. Funny. You got that one. Yeah, I saw I, it. I, I was like, I know where that. I've heard that before. I, I kept on trying to like, steal his rest goals, yeah. but he was fast. <laughs> yeah, throughout that Lucian game, I kept on changing which Lucian had the rest goals. Yeah, yeah that's I important. Think you both if you're not were. Careful, yeah, if you're not careful, you can loot it off a dead body. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, I think you were I both like, frantically fire, so. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys were both moving them around. It looked like super funny. It's like nuclear launch codes. You got to swap them around, so <laughs> don't let them fall in enemy hands. Uh, we, we we could do a 2v2 kind of tournament. Then me and Ian can like team up and uh, take it from that. Uh, and <laughs> just, just do like the shittiest lineups all the time and then win anyways. I guess uh, that would be your goal. Nah, if I'm doing a 2v2, I'm probably with Caleb. Yeah. We're yeah. going we're gonna to probably pull through. That would be cool. Though, uh, please legalize exploits, man. That'd be, uh, be pretty nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We, like, probably next event we're going to do is going to be with that. Uh, I, I actually played a game with Worldly today. I'm back And, on. um, he, uh, he said he was disappointed about not having the time to partake in this one, but he would have otherwise. So, uh, definitely, I think if we host one with uh, a lot of cool tricks involved, he, he's going to, he's going to show up. Yeah, so he stopped, he actually stopped by. Me. He said yeah, GG he said at hi. the end, so it was cool to see. Yeah, it's Speed great. Speedrun legend. Hi there, World Reef. You're still there. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, thanks to everyone wow. for stopping by, because we actually had a lot of... I, there's a lot of... I know fans of people playing. Stop by. It's cool to see the Strong Pass fan club versus the <laughs> mm -hmm. Ian constantly changing fan clubs to different names. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I I did it for the GM mode. <laughs> the, uh, the, like, that um, hate I hate arena. Shout out to the guys. Yeah, yeah. they really hate arena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's good. Um, there's one game master. He made his very own version of arena mode, and he said, "Oh, guys, there's no rules. Just build your character and all that jazz." And then my friend, he was in this call. He he called himself um, Strong Pass Fango. He just made a elf necromancer and just basically won the fight in like the, the, the first turn it's like no it's like no rules huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the preset characters are kind of a good thing yeah but like... yeah definitely yeah actually when i brought up the idea of arena to a lot of streamers when they didn't know what it was they were like that's just probably totally broken and i was mm -hmm. like well you know it's preset characters and they're like oh wow i never thought about that okay that's interesting uh so they all assume like you could do some really cheesy broken stuff and well <laughs> you can, but not as bad as they thought, I suppose. <laughs> Do you ever play the multiplayer for XCOM? Never the multiplayer. Oh, yeah, the multiplayer. I have played XCOM. Yeah, yeah. The um, the way they do it is you build your units and you have like um a, a total amount of points, which mm. 
yeah, to, 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 to like customize your unit with or how many units you want, all that stuff. It's like I would like that for this game mode. So like you know, now that you mentioned that, Ian and I kind of built like the way we play around kind of a point system like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's that was our original plan. Like, um, oh, you want time warp? Well, that's a thousand points, or whatever. Oh yeah, well you guys, you guys yeah, point system like is for the character too. drafting. His is mm -hmm. for the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so, I, yeah. I, I agree. That would be super cool. Uh, strong fast. That would be really nice. For sure. Too bad they shut down the SCOM servers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's oh, fine. Nobody played it. Uh, <laughs> goddamn. You should look. There might be a custom server out there. You never know. I, I think so, but I didn't like it that much to keep oh, playing. Oh, just, oh, oh, okay then. So you're sad, but you're not that sad. <laughs> yeah, okay, I see you. <laughs> it was just a meme about with friends. Oh, like, yeah, okay. okay like, okay. like, just this, like, picking six chrysalids and poisoning the team and <laughs> having babies grow from their corpses and all that. That kind of wow. thing. Wow. That almost makes me want to play it. <laughs> that sounds pretty crazy. Mm. All right. Um, I've been like sleep deprived for a while, so I think personally I'll keep, I'll call it a day. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and, you know, I think I'll probably stream just cause I feel like streaming more, but that'll be the end for the, the tournament at least. I've, do you want to talk about the new character at all, Joe? I have it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We have it on here. screen. So if you want to mention anything about it or anything. Uh, well, yeah. I don't know, like, who in the chat is, like, I guess most of them are from the Discord, but either way, uh, yeah, so in, in, like, for the future, uh, of the Discord, I guess, uh, one thing we're gonna probably try to make, um, glitch, all glitches allowed tournament soon, uh, and invite some, some speedrunners to, to, to join. I know Ian and some other members of the Discord crew are curious to play around with the exploits, so, uh, there's gonna be a lot of crazy, uh, Shit going on with that, flinging stuff around, going through walls and everything. <laughs> uh, that would be the next event, I think. Next big tournament, I'm not sure. Uh, might be up to Jimmy and the others when they want to set up casting and everything. Um, but as for, uh, uh, yeah, so probably just some smaller events going on. And uh, as for the modding, uh, I'll get to it. I hope I'll get some help maybe here and there. Because uh, the the editor's pretty wonky, but I know for a fact that like the most of the maps at the top there are uh, basically maps that are already there that just need slight tweaks, and I basically have done part of them, so they should all be available pretty soon. Uh, Lady Vengeance, I'm not sure how easy that's gonna be because it's not in the part, it's not a like PvP map at all already. Um, but uh, like none of this will be part like tournament ready anytime soon. I'm just hoping we can like. Play casually on them for a while and see how they how they play um and yeah as for the hero well <laughs> some people here should have been like probably warming up for the tournament before before it instead of doing Flaming that tongues, let's go. <laughs> it, it turns out that strong didn't really need the warm-up he was he was fully prepared for the for the lucian <laughs> for the lucian <laughs> triple that that put that was the warm-up right that put you in the right kind of spirits for the, for the following match so yeah, so the new content coming up, I, again, I don't know how, like, open you guys are to including new content like that to a, to a tournament. We'll have to see. Um, I'd be very wary about unbalanced characters, so definitely, like, not anytime soon in a, in a competitive environment. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. What, what are your thoughts, uh, Ian and the others, about adding new characters? Do you think, like, if we don't, because I'm thinking the meta might actually become somewhat stale if we never change anything. The thought behind Quiller was to make kind of um anti-mage character to some degree to to mix things up a little bit. Um is that do you guys would you guys like to see like not a ton of new characters added at once, right? But do you think it could help like the tournament scene in general to mix it up with a few new characters here and there? I think it'd be pretty cool if y'all added fourth characters. In the metagame, so we play with 4v4s instead of 3v3s, so we can have more low tiers available. I also don't think the character balance matters that much when all the other presets are s super broken to begin with. But, uh, and also, well, uh, I mean, it we we had, I don't know, to me, we had an interesting tournament going on, like that is true. There, there were some nice picks, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure every I, I think Sean and I were talking about it, or Sean that every single 
character got at least one win. Lucian, let's go. And because because we did Lucian Ball, Bracus I'm pretty sure every single person. Oh, there was, was a Brackus win too, yeah. Brackus <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. technically did get a win. So yeah, yeah. Lucian was so, the last so, one out there. So Nazatur never won a game with his Lucian, eh? He switched to Lucian and, and then lost? I don't know. But I know he won he, with Brackus Dallas, which was like, incredible. Like, Naz was the low tier hero, like, <laughs> bringing yeah. wins for a lot of low tiers, you know? Like, if you have this guy around, <laughs> you might get through the roster every tournament. You see, uh, we were going to do Brackus Ball, but then we're like, wait, Lucian hasn't won a match, <laughs> we think. So it was like, sure, that's <laughs> Lucian, uh, yeah. Let's, let's give the, the, the man some uh, visibility. Um, well, some slight balancing could be done also. One thing that bothered me, and I, I think I mentioned it to most of you, but... Uh, Brackus's provoke is really trash since the AI rework, but I think if the provoke worked as intended and just forced mages to just shoot their shitty wands at you uh, and not walk away, um, I think that would really uh, give Brackus a good CC tool in a way because it goes through all kinds of armors, right? I mean, it, it would help, but I promise you that even if provoke like actually was just a, a full stun, he wouldn't be there good either. He, he wouldn't just, be. He, he wouldn't be jumped though. Yeah, he, he's a, he's a melee character with zero mobility and just piss poor damage. It's kind of it's kind of sucky for him. It's sucky, but I still think that it could be used for provoke in some scenarios. He could be teleported in or something, and and the, the provoke. Because think about it, the provoke is still an insta CC through armor. Mm -hmm. If so, so definitely he might end up like as a Gareth or something. That's like. But Gareth is really shining, dude. <laughs> no, no, Gareth has had some good showings. Yeah, Gareth has been really popping off, honestly. Um, but I'm thinking, yeah, maybe if, cause, cause, yeah, I don't know. I feel like they've they've like revamped the game somewhat since since uh, the launch, and I feel like definitely their focus was the story and not the arena. So, um, the yeah, I don't know. Maybe some tweaks. Maybe uh, maybe Niles could use the the sleep grenade or something we'll see um uh, before those changes i think a huge anti-mage tech is just sucker punch looping that this, should be this, in the game this. to be honest hell nah <laughs> we're gonna make a mod to patch that out <laughs> yo the last time i used sucker punch looping what? i actually punished a melee character walking up to my illusion and he sucker punch looped into a uh, chicken <laughs> and that was it skill issue i don't know huh i said it's just a skill issue don't worry about it Well, what a movie that looks. It's very manly. <laughs> Technological <laughs> thriller. <laughs> nice. <laughs> looks great. Sucker punch looping. Well, I mean, I guess we'll get to do it all we want in the freaking tournament soon with uh, the speedrunners. I mean, that's not really what I want to see. I mean, even if we did a speedrunners tournament, I would rather ban that, honestly. But... <laughs> Sounds so bad. It's a part of the game, as much as Mage's stupid shit is. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd like to ask the devs what they think about it. Because honestly, it'll it's go hard to their spam to... folder. Huh? It'll go to their spam folder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I guess um, so. I think it's when Gift Bag 2 came out. That broke a lot of things in GM mode, and oh god, the GM mode boys got pissed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so how does how does GM mode work? Like what you guys do like long campaigns or uh long like... campaigns or one shots. Like um the guy who was in the chat earlier, he makes some good one shots like um like horde mode or or um like like ed dungeon crawling adventures mm -hmm. or things like that. But um right now he's just like hosting a long campaign which is like quite sessions long and things like that. Uh -huh. and you, guys, you guys are using Vanilla Plus for that, right? Yeah. yeah At so... least for his campaign, other people use, like, just the base game or Divine War or whatever the other overhauls are. No, I, I actually looked at the overhaul a little bit last night. Honestly, the thing that you forgot to mention, that honestly the coolest part is you can customize which uh, which balancings you want. Yeah, that's honestly, that's yeah, that's honestly probably the biggest selling point. You can check what you want to balance and not? You, yeah, you can customize it. Oh wow! Yeah, you okay. can you can yeah you can rebalance the overhaul to like how you like it. 
Um, oh, that's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. that's pretty incredible. Like, also, some damage goes through armor. So, mm -hmm, yeah. you can, like, have mixed parties and not need to, like, min-max. Uh, I mean, it's good for, for like, GM mode, so if you have three melee people and one mage, the mage isn't screwed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys have been doing uh, GM mode for a long time? It sounds fun, I just, I really don't have anyone to play with, and... Do you want I guess an I'd... invite to the server? Oh, I'd be curious. I don't know if yeah. I'll play or not, but I'd definitely be very curious. Yeah. Have a look. Um, do you want me to post it in the stream chat or? Just oh yeah, go for it. Whatever? Yeah, go. Let's, go ahead. Let's see if Nightbot bans me. Nah, it, it doesn't care about links. Wait, or does you it? Are currently it does. Down from it chat. does care let's about go. links. <laughs> oh. Nightbot. All right. I'm you send it to caps. put it in the Discord if you'd like, and then I'll put it in the chat. Because if Nightbot bans me, there's something wrong. It's uh, gone. Just in general. You just put it. Uh, if you could, you oh, could DM it to like... me too, if you'd like. Yeah, it's works too. Watch me get. Yeah, I turned caps off because I wanted people to be able to. So you didn't get you. Uh, you made it through. Caps are okay. Links, not so much. But there you go. So that's so the can Discord. Can I just go ahead and uh, spam my? Uh... <laughs> you probably read be... that Discord to everyone here. <laughs> you want. These are GM mode players. They go like arena mode. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Uh, wow, so it's a big community. Okay, wow. All right. And when they make a GM campaign, do they like... Is it like reusable? Will several people like post it and play through it after? Or it's really just like a... Is the GM makes it for, for the people he wants to play it with and then it kind of just expires and goes to the dump? So my friend... Puffus, the strong pass fan girl, he, with his horde mode, he actually sent me and another guy the like files so we could host it too. Oh, nice. Okay, <laughs> so that does happen. Wait, yeah. you're wait, you're telling me strong pass fan girl isn't actually a girl? It's some German dude that is obsessed <laughs> with uh, Warhammer rats. I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh... All right. Well, I'm. Get yeah. a crash, so hmm. I'll go sleep. Yeah, thank no, you so much on. for. Uh... Yeah, thank you for organizing it, man. Yes, yeah, oh, I had a blast. Yeah, no, no, seriously. same. I had a lot of fun this tournament. Yeah. Also, congratulations, Strong Pass. Yeah, you yeah. did it, man. Big Where's winner. my cup? Yeah. You're the hero. Yeah, strong Pass. <laughs> Where's my cup? I want my cup now. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> the one. I'll send you the, the one. <laughs> I'll send you the PNG files, dude. <laughs> oh, great! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> just a feel yeah. holding a cup instead of uh, the yeah. dagger. <laughs> yeah, Photoshop. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers for hosting this. It was, it was fun. It was great. Yeah, it's, it was really fun to do from my perspective, too. But Joe doing all the organizing was great because I just kind of got to sit back and talk. Look at the Lucians smack each other. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty fun, I won't lie. Really Yo, satisfied. Ian, before I leave, before I leave, how do you feel right now? Because you, you, you thought you had it in the bag. I asked you, you said, <laughs> I, have, I have it I have it in the bag. What what happened? How what do happened? you feel now? Well, I mean, not going to lie. Ah, dude, I got to play more Lucian Ball. I kind of fucked it up. I didn't, I didn't realize the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's through, where but, uh, it all went wrong. I know it was, man. It was like, <laughs> oh, I was man, you lost? oh, I'm going to win Lucian Ball. Because I, I played Lucian Ball before, but I just, I just floundered it there. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, then I tried to cheese him around too, and he actually, uh, he actually got a comp that could deal with it, so... Yeah. Unfortunate. So the Lohar, Lohar is not as SS tier as he seems, apparently. I don't know, because it doesn't well, I, sound I, like... I feel as if that if I went over and played it better, or if I went... Like, if I had the Tarquin go in a different area... Like, if I just went to... Uh, if I just put him up on high ground, he probably could have... Because they're, they're, it was really fucked, because they both got CC'd by the Zandalor. Yeah. If only one of them got CC'd, it could have been winnable. Maybe not. Who knows? But it still doesn't make... The Lohar opener looked that crazy though. You but what, so? why, why, why Tarkin also? Why didn't you go for like um, someone with AOE damage to just nuke the Could cloud? take the Zandalore yourself, maybe. So I guess, the thing, yeah, just... the reason he couldn't, he couldn't take the Zandalore. That's the thing. Well, but... oh, that's your so first the, pick, the, yeah. The reason is, is because there isn't actually that many spells that can even be put thrown in there. Uh, for example, oh, any yeah. any spell that is quote unquote vertcastable, 
uh, like I'm talking about like Dazing Bolt, Impalement, uh, Winter Blast. These types of spells actually can't hit inside the um, the smoke if you don't have vision oh, of them. It's very stupid. Mm. Very, very stupid, actually. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Okay. So it's very, it's very limited of what I can actually do there. I think I, think I still could have gotten away with Alexander. Um, I don't know. Be- because of the Guardian Angel, I, w- I wasn't actually able to get um, which, uh, uh, which call it, a, a procs mm-hmm. on them. But I also mm-hmm. could have just played it slower, and maybe I would have been able to find an opening. What about, like, uh, wait, let me look at the whole cast. Anyway, yeah. When I was playing against um, Dadley, is that his name? Dadding. 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 Yeah, I, I had Loha first game. And I was like, yes, I love playing Rogue. That's my favorite like class in this game. And I, I just got decimated. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone like is used to playing against him more and more now, it seems. So like, as soon as you hear a Loha pick, everyone's on like survival mode, like, trying the hardest they've ever tried you know so well, but yeah. but joe you did you did see in my meister game like the game too what could he have done oh no he fucked up he, he, he just had to uh staff of magus's feet and he was fine he totally panicked but he had many options no 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 he could, wait, he, wait, wait, what do you mean what do you mean uh he had alexander he can burn the web that way so it would have burned the web yeah but he already wasn't web turned too because the because of rain it wouldn't have actually gone. He like, it wouldn't have stopped the combo from happening. I think the rain didn't get rid of it because it was cursed. No. Well, um, I I, I don't really sure. know. But re- I'm regardless, pretty sure he cast rain. It didn't remove it. He thought it would remove it. It didn't remove it, and then he didn't know how to deal with it. And then. Well, see, regardless, I I went because normally if they don't actually clear the web, I can just delay another turn and get and go six AP on the on turn three, but I went in on turn two. Just um, assuming that they were actually um, out of the web, and I still killed them all. So it wouldn't have actually stopped the combo. Well, I would have to watch the VOD, but I remember as I watched the game, I was like, he totally fucked up trying to get out of there. Well, um, he walked back into it one time, I think. He didn't clear the web because it was cursed, and I think he accidentally stepped into it again yeah, to refresh it one it. time. Yeah, the, 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 the web was still there. But honestly, I, I, I was certain that... Because if you curse the web after they're unwebbed, it's like a two-turn web. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. So I thought that's what you were going for. And that's where I thought he was absolutely fucked when he didn't burn the web with Alexander. See, um, I actually I thought he rained the web away. I, c- I couldn't really tell in the smoke. He did rain, but it did not work because it was cursed web. Wait, oh, that doesn't oh. clear cursed web? It doesn't seem to. No, no because when oh. we were looking, we were looking from the other point of view. So you might not have been able to tell with the smoke, but from... Meister's point of view, uh, yeah, that curse web was still Wait, did, there. Did Meister rain right on his feet? Or did you, cause I, oh, I, I don't like know where he casted it. I, I think it, it was on, yeah, yeah, it was all it was over, over his own area. Yeah, 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 it didn't, it did not look like it cleared it. Huh. So, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I don't know. Uh, it, it sounds to me like people are figuring out how to deal with the, the smoke openers, and but, but I don't know. I, I, again, the, again, though, again, though, like, even if he burned the web, he, that doesn't save him the game. Two of his characters are getting stun looped, and there, there's nothing to do about it. Stun looped? Yeah, like I'm, I'm gonna r- run in with Malady, go over and, and uh, close circuit them. Oh yeah, yeah. They're all if stunned. You have Zalan- then... Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I that agree that if you have strong. Zalandar and Malady and Lohar, that's that's strong. That's mm-hmm. probably a combo you want to avoid from here on. But yeah, definitely. theoretically, <laughs> that shouldn't all go to you in draft. That would be pretty crazy to get all those. Well, it's draft. it's not that crazy because Zalandar is not like a top priority pick. Um, mm-hmm. But I mean, yeah, can you do that on like any map? Uh, most what? maps, uh, enemies of the gates, you're too far away to get yeah, both yeah, yeah. the uh, web. Yeah, I hate how map. you go for enemies at the gate every time when you <laughs> open the set. No, I, f- I fucked it up though my first game because I uh, I sh- I forgot to clear a, uh, a corpse. But yeah, no, that was that game was a very, very close one when oh, I had like, Meister game one. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, no, Meister, Meister was actually, uh, yeah, he was scary. Yeah, no, exactly. I, I mean, because, yeah, well, that, I'm, that's that's good to hear because mm-hmm. honestly, Meister was certain that I was going to kick his ass and I was certain too. And now there he is. <laughs> he made it all the way there. Yeah, no, no, uh, Meister, Meister so, played very well. Like, Yeah, Meister's really well, strong. Um, I guess he did fuck up the game three, but, and you let me get away with a belligerent draft game too but his game his game one he had a really nice idea yeah um i love seeing maester get out of um 
dadding setups as well. He he like reacts very well on the spot to situations that mm -hmm. seem really tough. Um Well, I mean, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, you know which opening I'm talking about where his yeah, arrow yeah, died turn one. It's like <laughs> how do you yeah. cope with like how do you react to that? <laughs> he's just like, nah, nah, no panic, I'll just throw the cat here and do that. Yeah, he's really strong. I, I really admire that. It's cool. It's been so much fun watching you guys play. There's been really strong players. Um the, the so... best part about the final was that there was no summoner. No wait. <laughs> Jayhan. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the one who cringed out and played played a center, and that was your. Oh no, yeah. I played Tarquin too, so I guess I'm I'm a yeah. fault. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What did you? Yeah, your Tarquin just got CC'd and yeah, it got CC'd and kicked dead. out. Yeah, you got he got right. Yeah. Uh, that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Elemental Apinity. So thanks, mm -hmm. Atabor. Yeah, that's how he popped off so much because I was like, damn, how much AP did he stack? Yeah, no, but I was I was yeah. saying the same thing as well. I was like, damn. yeah, he saved a lot there. Yeah, he had six <laughs> AP. Mm. Damn. All right, well, I'm going. I hope to see you guys again soon for some casual games here and there. Uh, and I guess we'll keep in touch with the speedrunners as well to see uh, how that goes. Have you been practicing some 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 tech, Ian? And Cal, oh, yeah. have you guys yeah, touched absolutely. that at all? Dude, yeah, we've even discovered new tech while the tournament has been going on, hmm. unironically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah. Uh, well, that's why I was very sad when you banned exploits, man. That was very, I very, yeah, I was very oh, sad. You, wait, you guys have discovered new ones that aren't on the Discord yet that you haven't like revealed? Yep. Yep. Ro Ro Reggie. Yes, and you're just gonna keep them to yourself and just like. <laughs> well, I mean, last time off. I shared not last time I shared knowledge, got my exploit banned. So I, I don't know if I want to <laughs> go over and share anymore. You know, you know how I feel. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you were you you didn't. I, there's a lot of other people that know about Sucker Punch Looping, though. Apparently, at least some speedrunners do. And, I see. Uh, I see. Okay. I guess yeah. I didn't discover it then. No. Well, I, I don't think. Anyway, I know the Power Hour knew about it, and he was like, "Oh, that sucks." Like, I hope you guys don't allow that in Arena. And I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> I hope we won't," because <laughs> I, I wasn't sure about the rule set yet. You know, it was kind of up for debate, and I was like, "I hope people will vote against it." <laughs> Anyway, all right, all right. I'm off, I'm off. So I right. uh, catch you guys around. Yep. Nice, I'll nice. Hop off too. It was an awesome, fun tournament. I'm glad we did this because, yeah, it was super yeah, cool. Yeah, thank you, everyone. All right, GG's. All right, cheers. GG's. Yep, Take I'll care. see you guys. Ah. Okie dokie. Well, that was cool. That was fun. That was a lot of fun to do, but I've been streaming for four hours, but I don't feel like stopping, so I'm going to keep going with something yeah thanks for putting it together joe that was, that was really awesome it was a super fun event i'm glad uh i didn't know what to expect going into it at all like i had no clue what to expect when you asked me to do it but it was pretty cool uh for me since this is already a divinity stream that play morrowind i was see i was gonna do morrowind but i actually think i was going to I know Worldly has a speedrun video. I was thinking of maybe, since it's a Divinity Day, I might as well try out the Divinity speedrun. I've seen the arena side of things. Maybe I'll go ahead and try the speedrun side of things. You know? Let me see if I can get the game pulled up here. You know? Yeah, might try and learn a little bit of that speedrun. I should change my title though. Do that real quick. You gonna tell him the tell him the truth. There it is. All right. So how? I suppose I should actually pull up. How does one? Man, I am such a complete 
speedrun noob. How does one speedrun? Let me pull up. I gotta find the worldly video. This is probably the first that comes up anyway. Divinity or listen to speedrun, and I'm an amazing speller, so I didn't spell it correctly. Uh, da, da, da. This is YouTube. Man, three days ago, he got... I think he just took the... Did he take it from Lumi? With this? God damn. Things move fast in the Divinity scene. Evidently. But... Hmm. Let's see it. Hopefully this, uh... Please, give me my quality. There we go. Oh, is it not narrated? Fair enough. <laughs> nice, uh, nice dialogue there. Ping cancel haste is what that looked like. Why you're looking a bit more chipper? Good God. Get through door. That's weird, his there's no dividers on his UI. Trigger Wendis, right? Poison flask. Wow, he casts haste too in. Oh, Nightbot, can you just say uh, 35 messages were deleted by a monitor? God damn. Uh, you can just DM it to me. Or did you already? You did already. Awesome, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's get to that then. Nightbot's working overtime. So you want to speedrun Divinity? I do, Worldly. What's up, everybody? My name is Worldly, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be getting in depth with the beginner's guide for the speedrun of Divinity. With this guide, you guys should be able to easily speedrun Divinity Original Sin 2 in about half an hour to 45 minutes. I will do this at a pace where you guys should be able to follow along. Uh, if you have, he's showing us speedrunning by not speedrunning because it'd probably be do. too fast. So. I've done one of these guides like this before, but the run has changed so much that things just need to be redone for those who want to try out speedrunning. I think this run is really beginner friendly. There's lots of awesome people in the community to help you out if you want. And if you need help, you can join the Discord. Link below to the official speedrun Discord. And gotcha. uh, yeah, let's get into it. For mm. the first thing, we are going to be doing profile setup. Now, if you guys want this to be streamlined you can go download my speedrun guide profile oh, i'll show you, you right now profiles. it has all these save files for the speedrun practice so you guys can just download the profile hmm. the live split that's layout is pretty dang smart too, to do that wow time yourself so go I didn't even know that was that possible if you guys want to streamline this but so if you set want to up set up your own profile, profile i'll quickly go through it with you guys as well we're going to go through the profile setup and I'm just going to show you guys all the hotkeys that I've changed and what kind of settings you should be looking at for the actual gameplay. Your target FPS for this game should be over 100. It's not a very intensive game if you lower all the graphic settings. You should oh, be I suppose you can't do some part. tricks First under 100 frames. First thing we're going to look at, the main thing you want to do is have fake full weird. screen on. I do fake full screen because I need to tab out for a lot of reasons. So yeah. It's really your choice what you want to do. I pretty much always but do fake full screen in, mind, in the first place. The game does have to be run in an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. But you can run no in 1440p. If this is, and of course, this is only if you are planning to submit to the leaderboards. If this is just something you want to do on your own, it doesn't matter what you guys what you guys set it to. For VSync, you do want to set VSync to one of these two. So I do double buffering hmm. because it limits my frame rate to 165, and your zoom speed, like zooming into the screen, is limited to the frame rate. So if you have a really really high frame rate, it's going to be extremely slow. 
and also you want that over 100 fps target it is linked to text scroll speed with that set um, your frame cap to 15 but don't enable it the overall quality you're just gonna that's want to funny set to you set a cap but you don't enable computer, it and that actually has an effect you do want to have shadows enabled you they can be on low but just have shadows enabled i use them for one of my setups hmm with that, everything else can be kind of turned off. You know, you don't need bonus stuff. You don't really need anti-aliasing or anything at, but I like to make the game look nice while I'm playing. So next, moving on to gameplay, we're going to set our autosave. So one, if you're just starting this out, you can set that to as many as you want and turn on autosaves if oh. you want. But uh, autosaving wastes save some time, I suppose. Because I like to quick save a lot when I'm practicing, so. The tutorial boxes, you obviously do not want these showing because they're just going to pop up all the time. The highlights, you do want to enable all these highlights. This hmm. basically lights up any enemies regardless of whether you're in combat or Easy not. To find and them. You, we do want to lock the cursor to the window when in game. This is kind of a requirement. You can alt-tab out, but if it's suspicious, the moderators are going to invalidate your run. Yeah, try not to alt-tab out while you're doing an official run. <laughs> change the panning speed to 3. Why would you and even all tab out during an official run? That seems like you'd lose time dialogue, doing that. Dynamic camera and camera Maybe shaking. there's sections camera where you can like all afford to alt tab. A spell like the camera will just like violently shake. Dynamic camera. I guess maybe in cutscenes. Is what happens when you are in combat and it's someone else's turn? It will move the camera to that person. You don't want that happening while you're in combat. It's really obnoxious. The next thing you want to do is enable rotating minimap. This allows us to complete some of our setups for item blings, so it's very important. Rotating the minimap. next okay. bit is the controls. Obviously the camera is going to be WASD. The camera center means it'll, if you press this button, it will go back to your character and reset Oh, like camera. a focus, yeah. And then scrolling down a little, just a little bit. I don't even know what that is. And default. Out, we're going to find the default? secondary to scroll mouse wheel up and, or, sorry control scroll mouse wheel up and control scroll mouse wheel down this means the camera will only zoom if we hold the control while scrolling our mouse wheel the next bit toggle interesting camera rotate. so you so by default this is don't want to accidentally i really hate control? that so i changed it to f as a lot simpler the tactical camera is the overhead cam so yeah, oh. by default this is o but you want to change lost this to x. yeah now one thing you should keep in mind is the villain was defeated is to escape and right mouse button this is important for later when we're doing item pickups and this is default, by the way. The next the last matches were at least, I mean, the Lucian match command. was a meme, of course, the right but the true last match was still really interesting. The Q command like, is normally set to right They entertained, shift, I they entertained with memes and with, itself, you know, because real it's, matches. It's so easy to remember. Q is Q. That was fun to see. And this basically lets you do multiple actions, uh, including Shiki flings in areas that you normally can't reach. Keep that in mind. Change fling. that to Q or change that to something comfortable for yourself. I like if that they name stuff after. You're gonna have all this already. After so Shiki. So remember this as well. I like that then when you when you discover tech, the alt key, the left alt key, you I get to have default. the name. Then coming for down it. a little bit further, we're gonna see UI select slot. I one. hope there's like this is the first selection a on bunch your of skill bar. Things. So at the very bottom. Just like zero, one, or one, two, three, just four, have a list, five, whatever. But we're going to change the first one that would be to hilarious. scroll up and scroll down. This will make it so that we're using our mouse wheel for both the first skill slot and all first dialogue options. I should probably so do this, this huh? for the Red Prince tech. I wonder, can you make, Mali oh, because your, lots of things. your controls are locked by text. profile, right? So scroll wheel, I hope. very important to switch that. Very easy thing to do once you get used to it. Keep this in mind as well. So that I'm quick not, load and quick save well, are bound to F5 and F8. Quick save is F5. Quick probably not a big deal even if I... You're a lot for your speed run as well. So this one here, show chat. You're actually going to remove this. So you're just going to hit click on it and <laughs> no, clear. This way you're no not... Chat. When you spam the enter... Okay. Let me... Let me go ahead and... Bring the game back up so I can... Start doing some of these things. Well... I'll understand what it means, even if it's not speedrun. Load back in, there we go. Uh, options. I don't even have fake full screen. I'm a fake fan. Always have fake full screen. Usually I do too. I'm kind of surprised it's not. Oh, hey, what's up? 
Oh, I should probably get out of that. Close some of this stuff. Where did I put the video? There it is. Handle VODs? Uh, depends. Uh, would you like, because if you Twitch leech them, you can take them yourselves, but if you'd rather I do it, I can do it too. Uh, depends on how you would want them done. I'm not sure how, uh, if you have any specific things or any graphics you are going to add to them. But otherwise, the VODs can just be ripped with Twitch Leecher from my channel, if you'd like. You can give me the keys, yeah, you can. It's just if you wanted specific things uh, done to it. But otherwise, I have... Transfer stuff directly? Yeah, that's true. If you'd like it directly transferred, that's all well and good. Or I can take it and use uh, Adobe Premiere to do a little do a little clipping. That'd be fine too. That's up to you. I don't mind doing it. Just clipping it and changing it real quick. Oh, that's true. YouTube has some pretty basic clipping. Okay, sounds good. Roger that. Have a good sleep. I'll uh, keep my eyes peeled for the, uh, the keys. Let me say, triple buffering works, right? <laughs> Cap it at 15, I think it was specifically. 15, but don't enable it. Shadows are on, and you can do whatever with these. I don't think he said it was... It is linked. Uh, We're going to set our autosave to 1. If you're just starting this out, you can set that to as many Game as you want. Play. And turn on autosaves if you want. But uh, I set my Apply. quick saves to 25 because I like to quick save a lot when I'm practicing. Yeah, so I'm fine with those. The tutorial boxes, you obviously do not want these showing because yep, they're just going to pop not up need all the time. Those the anymore. highlights, you do want to enable all these highlights. Enable this all basically highlights. lights up any enemies regardless of whether you're in combat or not. There and we you we do want to lock the cursor to the window yep. when in game. Lock to window. This is kind of a requirement. I try not to alt tab out while you're doing an official yeah, run. Don't I alt tab the out. Speed to three. Uh, I'm probably not going to be submitting too down, many turn off close up uh, dialogue dynamic camera and camera shake. Runs, camera shake is like whenever you use a spell like the camera, no camera will just shake, like no dynamic. violently shake. Dynamic camera is what happens when you are in combat and it's someone else's turn. It will move the camera to that person. You don't want that happening while you're in yep. combat. It's really obnoxious. The next thing you want to do is enable rotating minimap. This allows us Got to it. complete some of our setups for item blings. So it's very important. The next Bit is the controls. Okay, Obviously, the controls. camera is going to be WASD. This is going to be the part. The that camera center goes on. means it'll. Oh, if you press me. this button, it will Wait. go back to your character and recenter. Well, Goddamn! And then scrolling down a little, just a little a bit. Camera zoom in. Really? And zoom out. We're going to bind bit, you're the like, secondary. You're the first one to scroll mouse wheel. That's up actually and, crazy. Or, Sorry, Thank you so much. Control scroll mouse wheel you up just, and control scroll mouse wheel down. This means I really don't know what to say honestly because I got affiliate yesterday. The next bit, literally toggle camera rotate. One, so my by default, this is actually the center mouse I, button. I really hate yeah, that. So you. I changed it to F. As a lot simple. You have the, the tactical camera is the overhead camera. Yeah, you so get the badge. by default, this is O. <laughs> but you want to change this to X. Now, that's one thing you should keep actually. in mind is cancel action you is just, bound uh, to escape. And that's your right first button. chat, this too. For later when we're you doing subscribed and this before is chatting. The next important thing That's here is super the Q funny to me. Looking at the right side, that you did it that way. Far down this is, but I respect the Q it. The command and is obviously set to respect. right shift, I believe. But we're actually going to set this to Q that. itself. Thank you so just much. Just because it's it's so easy to remember. Q is Q. And Enjoy this basically your lets you do multiple actions, uh, including shiki flings now in areas no that you can normally get that can't reach. Keep that in mind. You change that to Q or change that to something comfortable for yourself. If you've downloaded the profile, you're going to have all this already. So Again, remember this as well. Your show world tooltips should be the alt key, the left alt key. I think that's default. I don't and have anything. A little bit further. I don't even have like We're benefits see UI yet. select slot one. I didn't even this like thought of what selection. to do for subscriber benefits because I was like, 
I didn't think I'd get them, so, to be honest. Well, great. Now I have to actually... I have to actually do stuff for that. <laughs> but... Dang. Awesome. I'm not complaining. In combat or requirement, you not to alt turn the spell like the camera will just look like, back and, and then scrolling. I gotta go back in the video now. Caught me off guard. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And yeah, it's a prime too, so no loss to you. But dude, seriously, like you don't, you might not, uh, you might not realize how much that uh, is like, you know meaning to me because never ever not to get too sappy i don't want to get it but i just never would have thought you know anyone would so yeah thank you so much let me try and refocus game master line do you want to remove previous binding yeah sure why not camera zoom in this is one I this is one of the reasons I hope this is locked to your profile specifically because I'm not gonna remember to do that otherwise you've been putting up buying this game understandable you know because I, I think it's still relatively expensive but I can say without a doubt this is one of the best games I've ever played if you love like party based D and D styled uh games. I'm trying to think of other it's because one it's a it's a really good story experience. I love the story experience for this game. Super, super good. Combat feels great because you get a whole toolbox of interesting spells. Character creator is Visually, the character creator is not... It's okay. It's fine. But it's not super varied. But what you can... Like, class combos and stuff you can sort of blend together are really good. And... No, it's just really... The fact that it has multiplayer, too, if you had people you wanted to play with. I personally have played it with friends, but I only beat it by myself because it's kind of a pain to, you know, sort of coordinate it happens you know coordinating between multiple people can be kind of hard but oops uh yeah it's fine but if you find it on sale and you're interested or you know whatever this is definitely if you really like story experiences party-based games if you liked XCOM or even Fire Emblem I think this is a game that might appeal to you it's, it's seriously one of the best I've played. I love it. But, you know, I might have a, a low bar comparatively. Who knows? But in terms of games I would recommend, yeah, I'd put this up there. Down a little, just a little bit. Uh, Camera. Is he called Toggle Rotate? He put that what? He put that on F. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll remove zoom in and zoom out we're going to bind the secondary yeah, mouse wheel that. up and control scroll mouse wheel down this means the camera will only zoom if we hold the control while scrolling our mouse wheel the next bit toggle camera it's a shame i think it was just on sale too for the summer sale but maybe you were making some other big purchases too i don't did i buy anything on the summer sale I'm gonna rotate I don't so know if I did. my backlog is so huge that I might have really convinced myself that. to not so buy any games for now a lot simpler. the tactical camera is the overhead you keep but in mind is cancel action is I typically sometimes I go right crazy on the, the summer sales doing item pickups and this is deep by the way the next important thing here is, is the next? Q command if you're looking at the right side you can see just how far down this is but the Q command is normally set to right shift I believe Q command is Q huh Makes sense to me. This to Q itself, just because it's it's so easy to remember. Q is Q. 
And this basically lets you do multiple actions, uh, including Shiki Flings in areas that do you normally can't reach. Keep that in mind, it. change that to right. Q or change that to Q something. Q enables Shiki Flings. I still don't entirely you know what a Shiki colors. Fling is. So remember this as well. But, uh, show world tool tips should be the alt key. I'm going to assume Shiki key, made it. Default. Then coming down a little bit further. Wait, what did he... Did I miss something here? World tool tip should be the alt key. The L rotate item... No, he doesn't have anything for rotate items. Left well, two tilts, that's left alt, now that's what down a little bit further, we're going to see UI select slot 1. This is the first selection UI on your select skill bar. Slot. So at the very bottom, you're going to see... Oh, mouse scroll, scroll up. One, two, that three, makes four, sense. Five, whatever. But we're going to change the first one to scroll up and scroll down. This will make it so that we're using our mouse wheel for both the first... Oh, I see. So no matter which way you spin it... Options. So this is important for the red it, uh, Any text with malady, it, lots of things. Act 2 has tons of text. So we scroll go. wheel, very important to switch that. Very easy thing to do okay. once you get used to it. So no matter what. As well, quick load and quick save are bound to F5 and F8. Wait, did I pick, did I do it on the wrong one? UI select slot. Oh, I did select character. Uh, can I just set that? Is this used? Well, he has it on F1, so... Which is what it was normally. Okay. Saved. UI select slot 1. Okay, not 0. You keep 0 the same. You change 1. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm on my way. Once you get used to it. Keep this in mind as well. Quick load and quick save are bound to F5 and F8. Quick save is quick F5. Load, quick load save. Is F8. You're going to be using these a lot for your speed run as well. So this one here, show chat. I think that's normal, gonna right? This, yeah. So F5 for quick, quick save. Clear. This way you're not, when you spam the that. key for any reason, you're not going to be bringing up the chat window during the game. This one is a good one to remember, but it's not really necessary. Cra toggle crafting. You can press G to open up the toggle crafting menu. Crafting. This used to be a lot more important, but it's not so much anymore. Toggle equipment. This is going to be really important. You're going to be opening up your stats, leveling them, leveling your e. talents, oh, and yeah, all of those things whenever you level up. So imagine that won't get that changed. Mind. The next really important one is to change toggle inventory to the tab key. Normally tab is set to your toggle, toggle uh, inventory, mode, but uh, it, we're going to remove that. Tab for inventory reason, makes so sense to me. This is just for speedrunning. Toggle sneak. I can't, I think the default is C, but you will be using this a couple of times. Yeah, so sneak, okay. Well, and of course, I'll go through all these while the speedrun is going. I'll be letting you guys know what buttons I'm pressing, and you'll be able to also kind of see the keyboard as well. So the waypoint okay. menu, you're actually going to want to change that to the grave key or the tilde key, depending on which word you call it. I might that's actually... key that's right beside your one key. You're... I might actually get some... If I get some food, I mean just like turn behind me, walk, you know, the couple steps to my kitchen and grab something while I, while I watch this. This seems like a good... You know, because I'm going to want to see what he's doing and soak in the knowledge before I actually, uh... Oh, whoops. You know what I just realized in game capture? I don't have this. Whoops. Not that that's a huge deal. But, you know, look how interactive it is when it lights up. Um, uh, so, I'm going to... What do I have? I could warm up some pizza or something. So I'll take, like, I don't know, one... A minute or something to throw something in the microwave and then I'll come back. So, just one second.
Oh, okay. So, likely not my smartest idea, but for some reason I'm really craving spicy ramen. So, that's what's waiting for me. Is a nice uh, cup of spicy ramen noodles. Sounds really good right now, but it just might be, be pretty stupid to do that when I'm streaming. Hi, ah, it'll be fine. My spice and tolerance is okay. It's not that great, but it's okay. Aren't getting it right, or some, you're missing something, you can't find it. Just go download the profile. You can even rename it before putting in there. The README, the instructions are there, so you shouldn't have any troubles if you want to go do that. The okay, wait, did he? Okay, one last check. I think I have like I everything. Said, you guys find you found. getting it right, or some, you're missing something, you can't find it. Just go download the profile. You can even rename it. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, that. Never mind. That looks. In there, the README, the instructions are there, so. You shouldn't have any trouble. That looks to be that. correct. The next thing we are going to do, go through speedrun skills that you need to master in order, not master, but you need to learn in order to do this speedrun. I'm going to load literally the very start because uh, you can do all of these right at the start of the game. Right off the bat, the first thing you're obviously going to learn to do is use your scroll wheel. Spam to scroll text. wheel. To, oh, because that's what it's mapped to, right? I'm you adjust just my skills boom. here. You don't necessarily need to do this. Fly through if it. You're just practicing. And we're going to scroll past the skull's text as well. That's so, so interesting that you can... That's so smart, now that I think about it more. Which is a... Basically, it's a very simple trick once you understand it. So we're going to grab this box that's just chilling right here. And we're going to go over to this position here. So if you watch when I drop this bear, or this box, you're going to see that Fane wants to run up and then place the box. If we do the same action, but we pull the box out of our inventory a second time... So as he's running, just pull hmm. the box out. He will immediately throw it to the first position that you dropped it in. So anytime you drop it out of your inventory a second time, you're going to see Fane basically just eat it as far as it wants to go. The way that you can know that this is going to work, it's as long as Fane has line of sight on the object. So right here, if it's red outline, you cannot do a Shiki Fling. If it's red here, cannot do a Shiki Fling. But if it's white, you can always do a Shiki Fling. So that is the Interesting. Shiki Fling. It's a very easy trick to master. So the Shiki Fling is essentially just dropping any technology. item within vision out of your inventory two times. Very simple trick. Uh, so that is the first trick you want to master. Uh, very, very simple trick. It uh, just takes a little bit of mouse movement. So I'm just going to load this up so I can show you guys what a Q Shiki Fling is. Q and you can Shiki this Fling. In Act 1 as well. It's just easier to show you guys what I mean Oop. by that. Okay, so oh boy. a Q Shiki Fling. Is basically when you keep I'm gonna back it up and leave it still running, but my noodles are done, so I gotta get ready. As well. Mentally so for prepare. The trip, we're going to They're spicy noodles. I don't have to fling, mentally prepare much. Which but is a I love being dramatic. It's a very simple trick once you understand it. So we're gonna grab this box that's just chilling right here, and we're gonna go over to this position here. So if you watch when I drop this bear, uh, this box, you're gonna see that Fane wants to run up and then place the box. If we do the same action, but we pull the box out of our inventory a second time, so as he's running, just pull the box out, he will immediately throw it to the first position that you dropped it in. So anytime you drop it out of your inventory a second time, you're going to see Fane basically just eat it as far as it wants to go. The way that you can know that this is going to work, it's as long as Fane has line of sight on the object, so right here, if it's red outline, you cannot do a Shiki Fling. If it's red here, cannot do a shiki fling but if it's white you can always do a shiki fling so that is the shiki fling is very easy trick to master so the shiki fling is essentially just dropping any item within vision out of your inventory two times very simple trick uh so then it's the first trick you want to master a uh, very very simple trick it uh, just takes a little bit of mouse movement so i'm just going to load this up so, so i can show okay. you guys what a q shiki fling is it's and time you can practice this in act one as well it's just noodles. easier to show you guys what i mean by that and learn. Okay, so a Q sheet. My two favorite things. Is basically, when you cue the command for dropping the pyramid. So I'll show you guys right now. Hopefully, so I'll probably Q move my mic away a little bit because I feel like eating noodles pyramid, is not a. You can see that it. I don't know if you got a, if we got any right? eating ASMR fans in the chat, but again, and I you know, let go I won't subject you guys to. Fane will throw it my to that position, or anything. and when I let go of my mouse, he will start moving towards the position where my mouse was. I gotta look at this and, again real quick here, though. Uh, so then it's the first trick you I want think to they master. use flings uh, very, with pyramids trick. to teleport. 
So I'm just going to load this up so I can show you guys what a Q Shiki Fling is. Q Shiki Fling. And you can practice fling. this in Act yeah, 1 as well. I have it's to learn the to show you guys term what names I mean too. By that. Okay. I don't want to so be a fraud. So a Q Shiki Fling is basically when you Q the command for dropping the pyramid. So I'll show you guys ah, right so not, now. Okay. So if I hold Q, Q on my keyboard and I let go of the, the pyramid, you can see that it nothing happens, right? If I pull the pyramid out again and I let go of Q... Fane will throw it to that position, and when I let go of my mouse, he will start moving towards the position where my mouse was. And this is important because huh. if I try to do a normal Shiki Fling to the island here, you can see this can't reach oh. Fane comes up. But if we do a Q command, and then we, so we hold Q, and then we drop it out again, and we let go of Q while, while we're holding it, let go of Q, you can see we're still So weird. It. That's so weird. And then it does the can't reach. And that's fine. We we flung the pyramid, so I'll hit caps lock to go back to my character. Right so it, it like pyramid. glitches out that's because you of, stack commands on top of each other. This trick is pretty easy as well. It just it's a lot of buttons to press with your hand, especially if you're opening and closing your inventory. So yeah, it doesn't play nice so with stack commands. Keep that I mind. guess. Hold Q. You can let go as long as it's within vision, and then. I wonder if this is going to spill over because I'm playing another divinity run. Bar. And it will by myself, to that just so with a different composition, you know? I'm maybe on a harder difficulty, I can't remember if I did or that. Or I wonder if I'm going to just end up using some of these. <laughs> just, the next thing you I have to, to like, tell myself to play it normally pink after pink learning pink some of the ways to break easy, it. But requires you to move your mouse quite a bit. Okay, so for ping cancel, basically all it is, is you will be clicking this ping button, and you'll be right-clicking right after. And you don't need to move the mouse away from it, you can click and right-click. While you're on Noodles it, do be you spicy. The skill bar, you'll see it go gray and then bright again. So just like that. And what's spicy this is useful, but tasty. what this is useful for is canceling animations. So if I cast haste, immediately after there's going to be a long animation where I can't do anything. But if I spicy cast haste, and then as soon as the <clears throat> buff comes up on the top left here, I can click the ping bar or ping button and then right click and cancel that action and then i can hopefully some of my fighting game again. execution so comes through in speed running like this so we'll cast it not that i'm buff comes up and then we ping cancel and we can move certainly not the best fighting game player in case around, you're wondering no this does not work with the ping hotkey because the ping hotkey is instant so for ping cancel you're going to be using hmm. it for things like uh haste you're going to be using it for chameleon cloak you're going to so you can't use the hockey, you actually have to move the mouse dagger, and even out of click precisely. Can be that way. Not all of them, but some of them. Okay, hmm. for the next trick, you guys are going to... That does add a little difficulty. If you could just do it with the hockey, it'd be so, so consistent. Clip is really easy. Uh, we're going to grab this barrel again as an example. And you can actually practice on this door right here because it, it actually opens. But basically, you're going to come up to the wall. All you're going to do is drop a item directly behind your character. And you're gonna walk hmm. through the door. We'll open the door here. Just to something about maybe the again. you dropping the and crate you where you are. It's very easy. Does it occupy the same so space as you, so it allows you to basically, move? Basically, all you need to know is that the barrel, as it's coming out behind you, will be within your body's hitbox. And yeah. And okay. within that hitbox, you can walk through the door. So because I pl it's such a large object and I placed it so close to Fane, I was able to just clip regardless. But uh, smaller objects won't w will only work while they're mid air where larger objects like the crate should work even no matter how long you wait. So I can wait 10 seconds. And I should be able because to you're still in the same spot as it is. Because it's okay. always within face yeah. hitbox. That is a wall clip. Pretty simple stuff. Interesting. You can do this with smaller and smaller objects, but the intensity gets higher and higher depending on how small the object is. Gotcha. Next thing you're going to master is move and pick up cancels. So basically, this one's really easy as well, but it is something you need to get used to. You're going to be using your left and right clicks a lot during the speedrun. So you're going to, basically, all you're going to do is when you move or pick up an object, you're going to immediately right click afterwards to cancel the animation of Fane putting out his hand. And this lets you... Like a move, yeah, move okay, he did call it a move cancel, without yeah. Without having to wait. So if you don't right click to cancel... A lot of the times, it, it, there's going to be, like, delay. If you do it fast enough or if you do it at a certain pace, sometimes it'll work. I don't hmm. know why this is working every time. Just practice, basically, even just pick up cancels and drop cancels as well. You're going to be dropping an object and just right-click your mouse uh, after any action that is really, it's, it's just basically. a right-click, huh? Spells can only be cancelled by the ping button. Fairly simple. 
So the last trick that is really important Another is fling. the item fling. An item fling is basically tricking the game into thinking you're dropping the item somewhere when you're actually dropping it somewhere else. We're going to drop this crate on the ground. The difference between this and the shiki fling is that this is done when the object is already on the ground, whereas the shiki can Shiki's only be done the from the inventory pack. Gotcha. So we're going to go to options. We're going to go to frame cap. And we're going to turn it on at 15. If oh. you are having a lot of trouble with this, you can turn it down to 10, and you might have better luck. You but I do it at need 15 because to cap it, it's to do easier this. to manage the camera at this frame rate. So we're going to hit accept. And you're going to see that the game is like really choppy. And really yeah, that's Basically, right. Looks wonderful. All an item fling is, is dropping the item on one frame and moving your mouse on the next frame. It has to be, a, it's a really fast action. So basically for item fling, you're going to pick up the object and hold it, and then you're going to let go of the mouse, and you're going to fling your mouse into one of the corners, <laughs> I believe. All oh, this I've seen this trick done because right it looks now, so it super funny that way, in the speed run. A lot farther. So from here, we're going to just make sure that you drop it first and then fling your mouse. <laughs> so dumb and looking. It it's should awesome. should do something like that. This really isn't a tough trick to get down, but That's it so is really looking. hard to master it. I myself mess up item fling all the time. Uh, it's just that I know how to recover from them, so I only lose a few seconds during a run. So with that, I believe we've done all the major tricks. We're going to get into the speed I think run. Lumi was so doing item flings we need to do when I watched her speed run. Character creation, I think she was doing it do the load saves, you're not gonna with know what stat you teleporters? So, so the first thing's first, you're going to go single player pyramids? and make sure you click well? on story mode. To like... And or was that maybe the node So for the thing. speed run, you do want to select Fane. The preset you want to go with is either Fighter or Knight. I'm just going to choose Knight. Hmm. Uh, the reason we choose one of these two is because they start with a uh, Firestorm grenade. Ah. First thing you want to do is come down to the... Because you need the Firestorm preset. grenade to throw to the gill. abilities. And you're just going to remove gill. Warfare. And we're going to grab Pyrokinetic. And we're going to remove Two-Handed. And we're going to grab Polymorph. And we're going to remove bartering and grab telekinesis. Hmm. Next thing we're going to do is grab haste. So it's chameleon cloak. Uh, could break and some chameleon stuff. cloak. Now keep in mind this is the beginner route, but I'm going to be using the advanced setups. So Spons your beginner guide is not going to be using haste if you don't want to, but it's going to be there in case you want to start using it. The next thing you want to do is come to the. Yeah, I want to try pink canceling. Pink canceling seems you sick. Remove constitution and grab full strength. All, all strength. Then go to talents, remove opportunist, grab lone wolf, and your character should be ready to go. You can change the appearance. Lone wolf makes like. perfect sense. Uh, we're just gonna go with the base model of fame, and this is what your setup should look like. Attributes and of strength plus you, eight is hilarious. Wolf, so keep that in mind. That's so funny. Well, let's start the run. Uh, during the loading screen, you're going to hit the start on the timer. Of course, this would be at negative 1.85 normally, but okay. So the first thing that's gonna happen is. Manchester C1 it's funny this video I don't think this video is all that old the scroll wheel but they've already shaved like a full minute after with some change off bar, that world record with this little button down I mean world re and himself the shaved into these I think positions he's, I think I saw the world record was like 13 minutes 19 seconds and right after this skull's gonna talk to you so like even so make sure holds you've this got video. this set up you can arrange these however the video is a like. couple months old this is the way that I like to do it but and then Still. I also like to move this one to the very end. In that span of time, it's gone down. We're not going to be using haste for quite the beginner route. Like a minute at this point, but a minute off of 14 actually, minutes. I'm not even going to do the hybrid. So, I'm not a pro speed uh, we're runner not or anything, but that seems pretty substantial. But this is here just so that when I reload and everything, everything's still the same. Because the route's going to be the same. So we're going to go up here. And basically after you finish the text... You're just going to click on the ladder, and then as you're moving towards the ladder, you're going to be spamming the enter key. Spamming on your enter. Keyboard, uh, as you can see down down here. Spam the enter key on your keyboard, and basically what will happen is that this will pop up, and you're just going to hit enter, and it's going to like immediately as, skip Basically as fast as possible. So the first thing we're going to do, remember how I switched the F key to, to turn the camera? So we're going to turn it this way, and I'm going to grab this barrel first thing. And then we're just going to go later. click on this door. Magister C1 is going to talk to us. You can either use the scroll wheel or use Bam, the that scroll wheel to do 1-1 one, one, and then 4 on the text just to immediately finish your text. And then you're just going to come over and grab this bedroll that's chilling up here. Now, from here, 
you're going to come up to this position right here. Oh, yeah, you get a better roll for, I think and Lumi said I am it was gonna knockdown make you guys resist. In the beginner route, do the Shiki Flings, because no they shiki are flings. really important for if you want to, you know, be efficient. But this is also really fun to do. So, all we're going to do is, if you look here, you can see this pike-looking thing. So we're going to turn our camera so that it's lined up, and we're going to place the barrel on top of this T huh. shape. And then we're going to pull down to the edge of here. I've not actually seen this done. By dragging the barrel out of I don't our inventory think again. Lumi did this. So we throw it there. Because uh, she it probably again, did a more, and he will shiki more optimized. Onto there. And we're already positioning ourselves down here. She did go we're over here. grab this water barrel. And then we're going to come over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw this barrel onto Oh, maybe onto she did this move it up there, here. actually. Maybe she did. If you're unable to do this, it's likely because you don't have enough strength. wrong. So all you want to do is hit it. Should front like call that like barrel here. mancy? Barrel man so, All you want to do is hit his front left leg here. That's really funny. And you can spam click this. That's so here. funny. He doesn't actually even hit Wendigo. And you'll be upstairs. He just hits a guard and, and, and Wendigo pops. This way you don't That's have really the funny. knockdown, you don't have any of that stuff. So remember how we picked up that water barrel? We're gonna or we're gonna run through the fire here. And we're just gonna run to the end. Now, we're also going to pick up this barrel here, mm. and we're going to use that initial water barrel we picked up to clip through this wall. So, all you need to do is come up to the corner of this, this wall here, drop the barrel on your bottom right, and click through the wall, and huh. he should just clip through, no problem. <coughs> you can quick save here, that's not really necessary at all, but what we're going to do is we're going to grab all three of these barrels. So we're going to click here, click this one, and then oh, click this one. Oh, that's cool, because normally... What do now oh, so the... Okay. The normally when you go in here, in the story, tentacles will come through here, because you're getting attacked by a kraken, and smash the death fog barrels. So you can't, you wouldn't be able to grab them, because they would have been broken. But I guess clipping through the wall doesn't... It avoids the trigger, because the trigger is probably unlocking the door with the key, like you normally have to do. From right where Fane is standing, so as as we walked in, we just... So even if you're playing a mostly normal, non-speedrun route, you could just clip through here We're and have death fog barrels to play Q with. Shiki fling. You're going to hold Q on your keyboard. Which would be pretty nasty if you were going to teleport you're it. You're going to drag it over to the stairs here until it's white. You're going to let go of the bag, and then you're going to drag it out on the ground here and let go of Q, not the mouse and he will throw it on top of the stairs. Interesting. And then from here, we're going to walk into this corner, and we're going to drop and this barrel, barrel behind it. us and click through the wall. This one does need to be fast, so basically you're going to come to this corner, drop the barrel. Oh, because the barrel doesn't occupy like as much space, maybe? Wall, just like that. What do you do to with the backpack, though? To pick up the backpack though? more efficiently, you can hold the Alt key so that this text comes up, and then you're going to click mm. the text instead of the actual bag and that will pick it up instead of trying to open it. I see. So from here, okay, we're ready the, to go upstairs. Throw the bag out so you're not over encumbered. Thing. Yeah, yeah. We need to use our bedroll before we go upstairs. So, and bedroll and, and walk also up. put on your tattered, tattered cowl. Ooh. So go upstairs. These noodles are spicy. Now this guy's going to get smacked by the tentacle. Yeah. Now we're just going to go over here, and all we're going to do is double-click our Firestorm grenade, wow. and then we're going to throw it at Gil here, and that's going to end Act 1. That's so funny. <laughs> now, while we're rested, in case you haven't moved the barrels into the backpack or anything like that, or put on your tower, well, I suppose towel, you have some time. You can time. also do that here. I gotcha. There's a lot of there's just stuff you can do if you need to during that bit of the cutscene. So that's the first split. Hmm. You're gonna split the timer there, hit escape to skip that, and congrats to you beginners. You did a few tricks that are pretty critical to the advanced guide so if you guys are getting those pretty how easily, does he work with this backpack and now, you manage though? to do this run in under an hour i would say go take a look at the advanced guide when it's released okay so the first thing you want to do here is open your inventory we're going to press the tilde key to go to fort joy beach right here and we're just going to drop the backpack oh okay now if you want to make this we'll drop off the backpack and and out, you, can, you can do a haste here it's not super, and you can also ping cancel it. Not super uh, hard to do and not a big deal if you don't want to do it. 
you gonna walk up the beach and we're gonna grab these two these two crates right here interesting one make crate sure is to heavier identify than the, other, the difference huh? between the crates so oh one yeah is one is a lot pounds, heavier one is wow. only 10. make sure you have that one separate the heavy one separate so you probably so want to use the heavy ones us. sooner i personally like to get Maybe. rid of them so we're gonna dismiss him by doing the first Goodbye, text, Sir Laura. first text and then the second text next thing you want to do is grab this barrel here and then we're going to come up to the red prince and we're just going to quick do a quick save so this will have quick to be save? done every time regardless really? i would say always do a quick save here the curious red as prince to why you quick save there 42 texts that you need to skip and if you miss the one that you need to get to ah uh, you easy will place to mess up have i get to restart it. the run or reload the save and i prefer to just do a reload than restart the whole run as Makes you sense. talk to him, you're going to skip a bunch of text. So as he says this line as a born fighter, uh, this is the one you're going to be looking oh, for. Oh, because you need it's, him to be a I certain... I believe it's 42 texts <clears throat> through. And you're just going to hit four. I wonder if... Does, and then two, Do some people count? And then skip the rest of the text. That's going to get him as an enchanter. It's going to let us extend the reach of some skills that he has. So I'm going to reload, and I'm going to just show you guys quickly... I'm curious as to what that this a little looks easier like. Than like trying to read every single one. Basically, if you talk to him, and you look at your mouse wheel, and you go back and forth six times or even five times <laughs> to avoid skipping it. But I do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right here, the next text, the next text, the next text. <laughs> so you can use the enter key to just skip a few. Interesting. It is tough to skip with the mouse wheel just a couple, so very easy to get him as the thing if you just count the scrolls uh, and you probably he, he sits enter instead of doing the speed run more seriously one so, i guess four and then two to get him as a enchanter and once again we're on our way okay so i'm going to show you one character at a time here yeah this is the split character stuff is really get the timing right this is what looks like would be super hard like for me use anybody so we're just going to quick save right here so first we're going to put fane up here and then we're going to unchain the red prince by dragging him to the right. And we're going to bring prince over to this rock. It's super important, though, and really cool that in a speed run you can unchain two people and have them act independently, so prince but do rock, different tricks to make them three quicker. To cast rain on the rocks. And then we're going to scroll to cast electric discharge. And as the crocodile comes up the rock, we're going to cast that and get in combat with the crocodile. Huh. And now that triggers only one of the crocs, the too. There's three of them so over Fane's there. So going to use Chameleon Cloak. And we're just going to walk through this encounter here. Really? Chameleon Cloak lets it. you walk through there, huh? That's so funny. I guess they can't see you, so they can't, you know, stop you. And you want to come up to this brazier. Super so funny. So I'm just going to actually reload this and show you guys what it looks like if you do both at the same time. So I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like at full speed. Uh, so we're going to talk to Prince. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then we're going to run up the beach here. Man, the speedrunner's cameras are just always moving all over the place. Super crazy to me. Red Prince is wet. So, oh, we're you can tell by if here. the Red Prince... Yeah, that's that's super so smart to sell if he's in the discharge. right spot by whether or not he has the status. Back. And as you can see in the top left here, the Red Prince is in combat. Man. So you should be at this point, whether you do it separately, just manage the Red Prince first, and then feign if you need to do it separately. Uh, Otherwise, it's just swapping characters. back and forth using the F1 and F2 keys and getting that down pat. The advanced guide will show you guys how to do that with haste, and oh, you can uh, throw a yeah, haste go check that in there out too. If you guys want Dang. to uh, want to get more into it? Crazy. So from here, we're going to walk down to the area where this ladder is. So we're coming through the town here, and, I wish and the I didn't reason need to we eat. Uh, came so up hungry, to this, though, but I want to try this Brazier was because we actually got the waypoint on our mini map. These spicy noodles so really aren't as here, spicy as I thought they'd be. So coming up here, we're on this discolored rock right here. It's just slightly different, you know? Maybe just I just got used to the them. Rest of them. 
and we're going to use this. I'm not really not that here. good with spice, And we though, can actually so. throw this reinforced barrel on Prince this now that probably... he's not moving. So we can give him the reinforced barrel. And we spice can drop for this people like right me, behind probably. us, and we're just going to click up the hill here. For up the, uh, you can clip up area that. Area that we can't reach normally. That looks so, so funny. So <laughs> just kind of levitates up to the top. And we're going to walk into the I guess this it's corner, because there's nothing coded. Do one more clip as well. I think Shiki was Remember saying guys, this is like not hard. a lot of the uh, stuff is coded as flat, so basically. If you need any help, <clears> basically. Learning about them or so getting them better, they didn't code anything underneath of it. There's Discord. only and we'll do our best walkable text up top of it. So, so you just as you're walking up to this move on position, up. you want to switch to the red prince and just hit the space bar to end his turn. So space bar just ends Prince's turn. Basically, we're waiting for this crocodile to teleport to him. He got stunned like an idiot. But I'm not going to skip turn again yet because you wouldn't normally do it. Huh. So, we're going to go Invis. Invis again. And you could do a ping cancel here if you want. So, we're just going to walk know, through the doors. Just feeling like over ping to canceling. this area right here. And as we're doing that, we're going to see the red so good turn speed runs. And this is like the way we're out. going to pick up this crate here, the heavy one here. Give it to Red Prince. And we can right click cancel each of these crates. And we're going to grab that one. Actually, the the crate and the barrel should be in Fane's bag, while the reinforced crate should be in the Red Prince's bag. So we have to skip our turn again. Unfortunately, I think we're going to get a really bad croc RNG here. Mm. I wonder if you're not supposed to typically get two, but I guess they can just wander in. Okay. So in the event that this happens, oh, oh I see. He needs the not, crocodile to teleport. Uh, so this over. other crocodile will come up and block the crocodile that has magic defense. <clears throat> Basically, we're gonna have to kill this crocodile here. Uh, you, if this happened in a real run, you would reset. Yeah, it makes uh, sense. It's this very rare take that forever. it does. But uh, we're just going to use electric discharge on him, I guess, and we're gonna use staff of Magus as well. I'm actually curious, like, if Worldly's actually beaten... <laughs> if we had any more. <laughs> I wonder if he's played the game normally. Actually, Probably, because I feel like no, if no, you wouldn't don't. you wouldn't speedrun this game if you team. hadn't, you know, played it and enjoyed it before. Basically, all you need to do is kill this crocodile, and Cause, then yeah, this one you, should teleport to you. I mean, if you really... You know. Okay, so this is what we're looking so for. You don't speedrun random games, this would I don't normally think, be typically. Happening, happening within the first two turns. If it doesn't, uh, you just got unlucky, really. And that's part so of speedrunning, from what I understand. Don't Sometimes you just now. get You're unlucky. On we're just going to come over here. We're going RNG. to use our mouse wheel for the bedroll. So that he uses the bedroll, we get that knockdown immunity. Now, all you're going to do here is you're going to click way up here. And then you're going to go into your skills by pressing the E key oh, on your key, uh, keyboard. While you're going, you're going to... We're going to first go to the end uh, talent, real quick. or the end skills. We're going to hit all skilled up, come over one. We're going to grab two telekinesis, points telekinesis. makes sense. Come over one more. We're going to grab huntsman, polymorph, scoundrel. Come hmm. over one more. We're going to grab three points in wits and two points in strength. Okay. Kay. Then we're going to come over to this position here. And we're going to swap back to the red prince. And that position, sorry, was a just right above the ladder. A build would be very odd in a picks. real so game. as you're coming through the beach here, let's just keep following the path. And it should be up here to the north. Okay, we're going to switch to the Red Prince. He is going to use Hail Strike, our number two skill, on the crocodile. And then we're just going to hit him once, and he should die. <laughs> That's going to put us out of combat because the other crocodile isn't alive anymore. But... If that other crocodile is alive, you're going to have one AP left, uh, which is enough to drag the gloves into year, hmm. uh, Fane's inventory, and then you're actually going to click the flea combat button and select the beach and go to that. Even with zero AP, you can still do it. Really? But we're going to go to the beach. You can still run away without anything. And we're just going to leave oh, the red Oh, is he going to pick up the barrels? Or he now well, here, likely will. Uh, this is this. a neat trick you can practice, but it's not necessary can use this barrel we picked up in order to clip down the ladder that's right here so you kind of just walk neat. off instead of instead of having to climb it now here we're going to grab this ooze barrel and we're going to just give it to the red prince the next thing that's happened is these 
pigs are going to talk oh, to burning you. pigs. And the first thing you want to do is immediately pick up this oil barrel, because if you don't pick up this one, everything's going to explode right away. <laughs> you have a bit of yeah. time if you pick up this one first. So we'll go through here, grab that, and Quite as a you few can see, nothing, still nothing terrible has happened yet. Now we're going to start picking up as many of these things as we can and just drag them into Fane's, or, uh, Prince's inventory. Every single one of them. Wow. Really? And then you're going to walk up the vines here. And as he's walking up the vines, we're going to grab, hold alt, grab this backpack on the red prince. I didn't remember uh, Lumi doing we're going that, to press but the tilt key, it's very possible I could have just missed that. Square, and we're just going to chill here with the red prince. We're done with him for a while. Actually, that's a lie. The next <clears> thing you want to do is just run down this path. And as you're running down this path, you're going to start throwing all this heavy stuff into this left backpack. Uh, remember, the other one has... Death fog barrels in it, keep and you them separated. want to keep those. <clears throat> so we're going to run up here, and we're so going to have red, the red prince carrying all the heavy gonna stuff. Going to open huh? the backpack, drag two of these barrels into. That's his job. Fane's inventory, and the last one into the red prince's inventory. And from here, we're going to come up. Magic pockets. And we're going to put on our gloves. Pretty huge for swap these stuff around work. a little bit. I like to put the bedroll in the seventh slot. And as we come up here, we're going to hold Alt and grab this sharp piece of metal. Or sorry, no, I lied. That's wrong. We're going to grab these sheep shears. And then we're going to put those on. That will give us Sucker Punch. We'll put uh -huh. that in the 8th slot. And we're going to come up here, and there is a well-worn chest right here. We're going to drag that into Prince's, Prince's Sucker Inventory. Sucker Punch, useful in Arena, and this crate into Prince's useful Inventory. in the normal. And then we're going to or in speed waypoint, running, I should say. go to the abandoned camp, or just run over here. Uh, I don't even know if I use Sucker Punch during my normal run through. At this point, I would recommend a save. I already have all the save files, and if you download this profile, you will have all the save files too, so you won't have to worry about it too much. From here, you're going to you have to do a few things. So you're going to come down to this position here, and if I hold Shift, you can see you don't want to go past here. We're going to press 2 for Chameleon Cloak. We can pin cancel this one. And we're going to come over here and come, like, decently far to the left of the shadows here. Just don't walk too far up. I think this dot, or this uh, crook here, is about as far <laughs> as you want to go. It's a very precise place to remember. You want to do a quick save. If this Magister is in... Okay, this is about to get really dramatic, and I just finished my noodles, so... I'm going to go take care of that. And then it's speedrunning time. I'm really going to probably embarrass myself doing it, but I'm going to do it. Man, I was hyped up for those spicy noodles, but they really weren't that spicy. Maybe I've gotten a little this more used position, to them. And you do a quick save. I think I'll watch this to see the end of the Fort Joy, and then we'll try my speed running back some Fort to Joy. the previous position that they were in. Well, well I say that, but I'm gonna have to learn how to speed run. Uh, Bam. The boat first. Mind control. Okay, so from here, you want to make sure that all this stuff is in the this boat heavy might be. bag right here so you just have a whole might be tough enough wheel. already and this bag doesn't have anything in it and you have your two death log barrels and you have your one death log barrel on the red prince at this point you also need to go to the red prince by opening your skills with e go to the red prince and level up strength four times strength and go to the third slot and level up thievery he gets thievery. he's going to be stealing a book for us after and then huh. just press f1 oh yeah we'll switch back this. to bane here so first you want to take this backpack, and you're just going to move Tea it bag in. I remember this. Then we're going to teleport this Magister down to the bottom. 
and you're gonna see that these guys are kind of upset, but we get the first turn. We got a super heavy bag here. We want mm, to make sure I wonder we if that teleport hit. guarantees first turn. Alexander. But before we do anything, we're actually just gonna walk Red Prince to behind Butter here. From here, we're gonna move a maximum of two AP. Forward. So you only get two AP to move. And we're gonna do a quick save. We don't want to be killing Alexander on this turn. We want to kill the Magister Metamorph and the Geist at the very least, and also the invisible guy that chills right here. So we'll take the backpack and we're just gonna place it behind. <laughs> That's kill so funny. The Metamorph, and we're gonna kill Geist. Just kill him. I didn't realize There's the backpack was missing, like though. the most not the end of the world powerful thing uh, in the game. Reload. So now we have two more AP. We're gonna place the backpack here. Should get an <laughs> invis dude, and we're going so to funny. quick save again. So from here, basically we're going to play dead. We're going to move this bag to the right side of <laughs> Bishop Alexander. He's bigger on the right the side, huh? And the going to pop up, and he's going to... Basically, we're going to have a limited amount of time to hit him with the bag. And his hitbox is kind of small. The so basically, you're just going to place it directly small. behind him. It's huge. So, let's That's play so dead. Weird. And you can hold alt to uh, see the bag a lot easier. So, we're going to play dead. You pink cancel to get the that going faster. You place this on the right side to hit Alexander. <laughs> Hold Alt. Place that as close to the worm as possible. Hold Alt one more time. Drag it over here. Oh, look, there's a knight. Boom. Hit him too. Put it up on this corner because then you have vision. And you can see that this archer saw us, but if we were just a little bit quicker, we could have killed him. So I'm just going to not do anything. So immediately after you kill this archer, you do want to loot Alexander. Hmm. So we're gonna grab this, hit him, and we can ping cancel the out of combat animation. Loot Alexander. Just hit spacebar. Super easy. Then when Mal so you don't actually you, take actually anything off Alexander. F2, you just loot prince. him because it probably is some kind of trigger. Pickpocket butter. Pick tactical retreat. Go to our waypoint. What does that say? Pickpocket butter. Oh, in case you don't get Pick it. Yeah. Retreat. Go to our waypoints and teleport out. If you find that you he can't pickpocket for whatever reason, uh, just make sure that your stats didn't get reset from when from if you reloaded. Uh, sometimes uh, when you reload too early. That's interesting. Stats can get reset to what they were before the reload. So now we can go back to to Fane. Good old Malady. Skip all this text, nice and quick. And we're just gonna walk over to this position. Use the tactical retreat skill book learn it into our fifth slot so we can cast that and so that's here. why you have two huntsmen pin cancel the animation and the easiest way to pin cancel this if you guys are into that is if you're into that <laughs> if you're into pin cancel the, the arrow moves that's funny you can do the pin cancel so you're gonna skip this character's text amadius text and you're going to take the bag and you're going to drag it into prince's inventory so this is because if you pick it up, you won't be able to move. And sometimes mm. your bag is going to be back here. Sometimes it's going to be over in this corner. Sometimes it just won't be grabbable and Fane will come like way back here. So best to just drag it into Red Prince's inventory unless it's already right on this corner. Gotcha. The last thing you need to do is walk beside Malady. Make sure you have the Alexander cloak. Oh, no, you do take off the of cloak. Alexander. Okay. Take the Death Fog Barrel and the Super Heavy Bag. And you're going to talk to i'm just going to do a quick save you're going to talk to malady and you're going to skip her text while spamming the enter key hey everybody future worldly here and before you skip, future. i just want to say congrats on making it this far in the speed run i put about hey, 40 hours into this video alone done anything yet but i recording. appreciate it so i hope you'll take a few seconds just to hit that subscribe button with that out of the way yeah, thank I, you for watching this video and let's get back to the guide i like worldly it's because in the next i like act, this i don't know much about it but still. As you can the see. fact that he put so much time into this video and made it so easily digestible see, is we still have it in the top left pretty simple because he probably is, is not pretty simple he made it really simple which is not easy is what i meant to say because he very easily could have just put up one of his you know a record run essentially 
and just been like, yeah, you just do this this way, yeah, whatever. But he actually divvied it up really well into different parts and had a really really good intro didn't leave anything out he didn't wait until he like got to a point to teach a trick he shows the tricks early obviously he just he understands how to make good tutorial content and that's that's really solid that's really good but now I need to start putting some of this into action does he Do and a then specific. you're going to let go and begin. So, and make sure you click on story mode. Story mode, that makes sense. And begin. So for the speed run, you do want to select Fane. The preset you want to go with is either fighter or knight. I'm just going to choose knight. Uh, the reason we choose one of these two is because they start with a uh, firestorm grenade. Hmm. First thing you want to do is come down to the, or in the preset, you want to come down to the abilities. And you're just going to remove Warfare, and we're going to grab Pyrokinetic. And we're going to remove Two-Handed, and we're going to grab Polymorph. And we're going to remove Bartering and grab Telekinesis. I think my Next audio might have for this game might have been reset with uh, the... Tentacle Ash and Chameleon Cloak. Yeah, now, keep in mind, this is the beginner route, but I'm going to be using the advanced setups. So your beginner guide is not going to be using Haste if you don't want to, so but it's going Spain. to be there in case you want to start using it. The next thing you want to do is come Here's to the, the attributes. I probably ran right And you want to remove constitution and grab I did. full strength, all, all strength. Then go to talents, remove opportunist, grab lone wolf, and your character should be ready to go. All the attributes. Beginner guide is not going to be using haste if you don't want to, but it's going to be there <coughs> in case you Ooh. want to start using it. The next thing you want to do nice. is Come to I don't know if that sneeze came through, but and wow, you we... want to remove Constitution and grab full strength, Big all, all strength. Then go to trip. This is the do is grab. Okay. Eighteen strength. <coughs> Ooh, again, I never can just sneeze once. I always I sneeze in twos. Skills. So he has. One polymorph, one pyro. Instead of bartering, what does he have instead of bartering? Haste. Remove bartering and grab telekinesis. Telekinesis, yeah, makes sense. Next thing we're gonna do is grab been. haste, uh, tentacle ash, and chameleon cloak. Now keep in mind this is the beginner route, but I'm going to be haste, using the advanced ash, setups. So your beginner guide is not going to be using haste Talents, if you don't want to, but it's going wolf. to be there in case you want to start using it. The next thing you want to do is come to the attributes. Oh, yeah, plus six. How did he get and plus eight? You want eight? to remove constitution and grab full strength, all all strength. Then go to talents, remove opportunist, grab lone wolf, and your character should be ready to go. You can change the appearance if you like. Remove opportunist, grab what lone wolf. And is come to the attributes oh I just had extra points I'm dumb and you want to remove constitution and that grab full strength really stupid all, all strength then go to talents remove opportunist grab lone wolf and your character should be ready to go you can change the appearance if you like uh, we're just going to go with the base model of Fane and this is what your setup should look like and it doesn't show you but we do have lone wolf so keep that in mind so let's start the run. Uh, during the loading screen, you're going to hit the start on the timer. Of course, this would be at negative 1.85 normally, but... Hmm. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen is Manchester C1 here is going to talk to you. You're going to skip the text with the scroll wheel. Okay, so I need to Very quick save stuff. already. What you want to do after is unlock the hotbar with this little button down here, and you're just going to move the skills into these positions for your own convenience. That scroll thing is super funny. And right after this skull's going to talk to you. So make sure also, that you've got this Also moving the camera with F. You can arrange these however you like. To. This is the way that I like to do it. And then I also like to move this one to the very end. Whoa. We're not going to be using haste for the beginner route. But if you were actually I'm not even going to do the hybrid. So I'm not hasted there. Uh, we're not going to be using haste. But this is here just so that when I reload and everything, yeah, I have to get used to doing this too. Control because the route's going to be the same. 
So we're gonna go up here, and basically after you try the haste pink finish the text, again. you're just gonna click on the ladder, and then as you're moving towards the ladder, you're gonna be spamming the. So you have to wait because it goes on cooldown, but I don't get hit by it. So you have to wait until down down here. Spam hit. the enter key on your keyboard, and so normally you would run. Basically, what will happen oh, is that this will I pop up, and you're just gonna hit enter. And it's gonna immediately skip I need that to text. turn chat off. So the first thing we're going to do, remember how I switched the F key to to turn the camera. So we're gonna turn it this way, and I'm gonna grab this barrel first thing. Where was and that? And then we're just gonna go click on this door. Magister C1 is gonna talk to us. You can either use the scroll wheel or uh. use the enter key to do one one and then four on the text, just to immediately finish your text. And Where then you're just that? gonna come over and grab this bedroll that's chilling up here. Shoot, I'm gonna have to go back and look for that. Some of our setups for item blings, so it's very important. The so you're just gonna hit click on it and hit clear. This way you're. Uh huh. I did. Okay, so I did miss something when I was setting this up. Uh, sh Where is it? What's it next to? Toggle stuff. Yeah. Clear. You're not when you spam the enter key for any reason. You're not going to be bringing up the chat window during the game. This one is a good one to remember, but it's not really necessary. Cra toggle crafting. You cool, press cool, G cool. to open up the craft okay. with this little button down here. Good thing I remember. And you're just going to move the skills I remember, into I mean. these positions for your own convenience. And can, right after, this skull's going to talk to you. So make sure that you've got this set up. You can arrange these. Oh, wait. You pink like. Oh, so this is you the way that I like to do it. On and then I also like to move this one to the very end. Clicking the ping, not casting the ping. We're not going to oh. be using heat for the. Okay, that's rub, good to know. But if you were. Actually, I'm not even going to do the hybrid. So uh, we're not going to be I'm using curious, this, I want to try it. But this is here just so that when I reload and everything, everything's still the same. Because the route's going to be the same. So we're gonna go up here. I don't think I actually got that. And basically, so I think you don't you don't actually pinch. You just left click, click it, then right click it, and then to get rid as of you're it. moving towards the ladder, you're gonna be this spamming the enter like. key on your keyboard, uh, as you can see. Let me try it down, again. Down here, spam the enter key on your Too keyboard. Too early. And I'm trying to like preempt it. Basically, what will happen is that this will pop up, and you're just gonna hit enter, and it's gonna immediately. All right, I'll pause you worldly for a second. I'm not following your guide. I'm sorry. For a second, I'm practicing pain canceling. Hmm. I think that's the gist of it. I want to see what a normal. Oh. Oh, is that? Is that the move cancel? Because normally, no, normally you can move something. Oh, wait. I guess, yeah, moving is fine. <laughs> That's going to take some getting used to. I keep trying to scroll the camera. That's going to take some getting used to for sure. Uh, moving F to rotate the camera for some reason isn't as so much of a problem, but... No, nope. I didn't get it. Control zoom. Control zoom. That's going to take a while. Nope, not quite. Hmm. This is harder than I think. Worldly makes it so look so goddamn easy. So there's not enough space there. So is it like... Or is it because it's already a locked door? Maybe that's what it is. Or an unlocked door. Maybe that's why. This door is locked, so... Now I'll certainly know. If I can or can't go through it, because he won't just walk through it. 
So get like as close as possible. Ooh, money. Uh... Huh. Can I go through, like, this section of wall? Oh, shit. That was it. Whoa. I actually got it. Can I get back, though? You saw my Reddit post? Hey! That tournament is actually, uh, was a little bit ago, the whole tournament, but the VOD should be up soonish. I'm after, really, no, no, it's all good, it's all good. It actually wasn't me who set it up, the credit goes to a different guy. I can, I can't really take credit for it, I just basically was the voice. I, yeah, that's about as much as I can take credit for. Yeah, it was really good, actually. I recommend, um... If you see a match and it's between Dotting and Meister. That was from yesterday, but... That was a really good match. That was a super, super good match. So, for the kind of the post-tournament stuff, though, I'm... I don't speedrun. At all. But... I figured I'd try some of it out. I'll give you the credit and you'll like it. Yeah, all right. If you insist, you know. But no, the tournament was super, super fun. It was uh, it was really interesting. Nah, you're fine, dude. I appreciate it. All I do is lame jokes. Oh, there it was again. Nice. That's hard. That is that's harder than I thought. Speedrunners make it. Everything seems so goddamn easy. But clipping through walls is not is not easy for me at least. But yeah, it was really cool. It was a it was a cool tournament. The <laughs> yeah, the community for the game is actually actually really cool. For the I mean, I've never run into anyone who plays Divinity that wasn't so far. I'm sure there's some bad Divinity fans out there, but everyone I've interacted with for Divinity has been cool, and I think that's kind of a uh, kind of just how the kind of game it is. It brings a certain sort of crowd. Nope, can't go through there like that. I love this game though, so I'm happy to see that most people who play it seem to be pretty cool. Because I hadn't really interacted with anyone in the the divinity community before. Oh. That's awesome. Let's see if I can get it back. I guess wall clipping is a little tougher with barrels because they're not as big from what I heard. If I can sneak through here. Yeah, cool. Okay. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah! I'm pumped for Baldur's Gate three. Absolutely. Wait, what? You worked for Larian? Are you? Are you? Are you an inside guy? Can you give me some of the some of the deets? Some Larian deets. P-A-X, oh, oh, PAX, yeah, PAX. I was, like, trying to figure out what that stood for, but I was, like, Bard Mania? <laughs> Bard Mania. I forget where, where's PAX held again? I forget. I know it's, like, a convention-type event, but I've never actually, I've never been. I keep casting Haste because it's, just help another booth? That's sick. Like, that's awesome. Because I'm sure you got to meet a lot of fans. Like, a lot of big-time fans of the game. And if you're a big-time fan of the game, then you just have a good time talking about how fun it is. That sounds sick. Plus, that convention atmosphere, too, is just awesome. 
I haven't been to many conventions because I live in a fairly rural area, so it usually out of my way, but... So how long does a normal haste take? Oh yeah, you stand in still for a long time. But you can ping cancel it. Yeah, exactly. And that sounds awesome. There's, It's so fun to just find, you know, people who are fans of things you're a fan of and just geek out about it. That's like the best. That's the best. Like, it's so cool to be able to do that. And typically, if you're a big fan of something, and this other person's also a big fan of it, you probably have common interests anyway, so you could probably just go on for a long time nerding out about whatever you're interested in. It's fun. It's super fun. Try ping cancel now. And then you can move instantly. That's... That's a cool trick. Speedrunners, man. They just break the game in a cool way. So what were the other tricks? They said... The fling? Okay, well fine, if you don't want to pick it up. I think you can maybe do the fling with a bucket? So how do they... Whoops. Oh. Tabs also to go into combat. I need to change that. Mmm, probably just toggle combat. Just clear that. Oh, wait. I did it without cha saving changes. Whoopsies. I'll go combat, clear, accept. So you do this, you hold Q, and then how do you do it? I'd have to look again. There's like a way to fling items. Nope, not how it works there. Speedrunners do with this. You guys split? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope I hope uh, you enjoy the tournament. I appreciate it. So maybe I'll see you around. Thanks for stopping by. How do they do it? I have to pull up the video again. Teach me, worldly. Teach me your ways. It's a lot of buttons to press with your hand red outline you cannot do a shiki fling if it's red here cannot do a shiki fling but if it's white you can always do a shiki fling so that is the shiki fling a very easy trick to master so the shiki fling is very easy i've just been sitting box. here messing it up worldly fane wants to run up and then place the box if we do the same action but we pull the box out of our inventory a second time so as he's running just pull the box out he will immediately throw it to the first position. Oh, that I'm. It oh, so okay. You so drop I was it doing it inventory half second right. Time, you're gonna see. I'll take half credit. So it was this Q. Nope. Okay, I wasn't half right. I was full wrong. And basically, just eat it as far as it wants to go. Immediately throw it to the first position that you dropped it in. So anytime you drop it out of your inventory a second time, you're going to see Fane basically just eat it as far as it wants to go. The way that you can know that this is going to work, it's as long as Fane has line of sight on the object. So right here, if it's red outline, you cannot do a shiki fling. Hmm. If it's red here, cannot do a shiki fling. But if it's white, you can always do a shiki fling. So that is so what the cheeky fling is very okay, easy. Okay, what did trick. I miss here? I missed time something. Time you drop it out, we pull the box out of our inventory a second time. So as he's running, just pull the box out. He oh. will immediately throw it to the first position oh, that wait you dropped minute. it in. So anytime you drop it out of your inventory. There is no Q button involved, I guess. Do you have to do it to the same spot, basically? Do you have to, like... Oh! There it was. The shiki fling. You can't do it like that. So you like the shiki fling. This again. Dang. And then you can just keep moving wherever you want. I got it. 
That's how you do it. Or at least I got the gist of it. I'm sure there's... You have to do it precisely, oftentimes. And I'm not being very precise about it. I'm just... So does it always go... If you always throw it, like, out of your range, does it always go to the first spot you threw it? Now I do this, and then... Yeah, okay, it goes to the first spot. So as long as you throw it the second time out of range, it looks like that's where it'll go. Have to have light of sight. See, that's... Yeah, it has to be out of your range, otherwise there's he'll just not move. And that's fine anyway, because it'll be instant. Okay, that just has a really long range in general, so I'll probably hold on and try that on a part that's maybe a little more difficult. I'm going to try the box clip again for consistency. Oh, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, that's not so bad. I kind of get used to it. For some reason, I can't do it here, though. I wonder if it's because it's something with the door, the fact that it's openable. Yeah, I think he just... Because the door can be open, the character automatically just wants to auto-path. Instead of... Uh, like walking in a straight line. Okay. Pin cancel haste again for practice. That's a really okay. Pin canceling is actually really fun. That's a really fun trick. Do I still have the bucket? I want to try clipping through a wall with a small object. Because evidently it's doable, but it's harder. Because it's smaller. You have to do it midair, maybe? Hmm. Maybe the lever on the other side is not helping my case. Ooh. I don't pick it up. Okay, that looks like it'll be really hard. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. You can do it with a bucket. Huh. That's super interesting. See if I can get back, because I, I can just do it through the door. I was doing it at the sides, but I really didn't need to. I think, is, is it better to just do it, like, behind your feet? Is that the better way to get it to want to collide? Okay, well, I wasn't actually in range. It's a shame. No, nope, not there. Do you need to be square with the door? Or mostly square to it? Maybe it's also camera dependent a little bit? That seems not true, but... Maybe. Hmm... is looking a bit... Wow, you can... Okay. Oh, I moved? I didn't even move the uh, the stool. I'm trying to get it to be in my hitbox. Hey. There we go. 
Okay, so I practiced the tricks a little bit. I think Rolly said he was running up here and like spamming enter, so he immediately got through. He went up this way. Magister Swan, blah 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 blah. And then. I feel, did I mess up the uh, controls? I might have. I think I might have messed up my controls. Let me go back on the video. Because he wasn't casting haste. About what you're doing in official you know, world. I changed the panning speed by to just three. spamming. And in areas Control that you wheel. normally can't reach. Keep that in mind. Change that to Q or change that to something comfortable for yourself. If you've downloaded the profile, one thing you should keep up. in mind is cancel action is bound to escape and right mouse button. This is important for later when we're doing item pickups. And this is default, by the way. The next important thing here is the Q command. If you're looking at the right side, okay. and this have all yeah, this already. Have that. Yeah, I think is that's that right? default. Then coming down a little bit further, we're going to see UI select slot one. This is the first selection on your skill bar. So at the very bottom, you're gonna see zero, one, or one, two, three, four, five, whatever. But we're gonna change the first one to scroll up and scroll down. This will make it so that we're using our mouse wheel for both the first skill slot and all first dialogue options. So this is important for the red prince tech, any text with malady, and lots mm. of things. Act two has tons of text. So I did have so right. scroll wheel, very important to switch did that. I very just easy have... thing to do once you get used to it. Keep this in mind as well, uh. quick load and quick and when I let go of my mouse he will start moving towards the position uh, uh, and this is important because he doesn't to have do anything on skill here. slot one you can see this can't besides the pyramid here so up. not he doesn't have haste do on there command, what you want to do after sense. is unlock the hotbar unlock the hot, yeah. little button down here okay. and you're just going to move the skills into these positions for your own convenience yep makes sense and right after this skull's going to talk to you so make sure that you've got this set up. You can arrange these however you'd like. This is the way that I like to do it. Fair and enough. then I also like to move this one to the very end. We're not going to be using haste for the beginner route. But if you were... Actually, I'm not even going to do the hybrid. So uh, we're not going to be using haste. Okay. But this is here just so that when I reload and everything, everything's so still the same. So while he's sitting down there and because can't the route's move. Because going to be the same. So we're going to go up here. It was something like and that. Basically, so after you, you scroll around and finish the text, happen. you're just going to click on the ladder, and then as you're moving towards the ladder, you're going to be spamming the enter key on your keyboard, uh, as you can see down down here. Spam Makes the enter sense. key on your keyboard, and basically what will happen is that this will pop up, and you're just going to hit enter, and okay. it's going to immediately skip that text. So the first thing we're going to do, okay, how you I do have to grab a barrel. The F key Where's that barrel? To to turn the camera this so we're going to turn it this way and i'm going to grab this barrel first thing yeah and then we're just going to go click on this door oh yeah okay so i need to get to use to talk to us you can like either use the scroll wheel or use the key to do clicking, one one and then four on the text you, so i don't just, just to search a barrel finish your text and then you're just going to come over and grab this bedroll that's chilling up here now from here you're going to come up so to the this position in slot right one. Here. He doesn't change it, so I imagine... And I am going to make you guys in the beginner route do the shiki flings. Because they are really important for Let's if you want to you know, be efficient. But this is also really fun to do. So, it is. all we're going to do is, if you look here, you can see this pike-looking thing. So we're going to turn our camera so that it's lined up. I think it was what he said, the barrel. And we're going to place the barrel on top of this T... T shape. And then we're going to pull down <laughs> to the edge of Never would have known you could throw and something up there. We're going to do a there. shiki fling by dragging the barrel out of our inventory again. So we throw it there, we drag it out again, and he will shiki fling it onto there. And we're already positioning ourselves down here. We're going to grab oh, okay. this water barrel. Wait, 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 wait. And then we're going to come over he here. He shiki flings the actual barrel onto there. And we're already positioning ourselves down here. Shiki fling by dragging the barrel out of our inventory again. So we throw it there. Drag it out again, and he will shiki fling it. Okay, so you th you throw it up there first, and then throw it where you want to move, but it will only throw. Oh shoot! Okay, saved. I was like, man, I don't know if I can actually get it off there. But so you want to run over to this side, then. 
That was kind of a sloppy, cheeky fling, but I get the gist of it. How did Cheeky even find this? Either way. On to there, and we're already positioning ourselves down here. We're going to grab this water barrel, and then we're going to come over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw this barrel onto this magister here. <laughs> if you're unable to do this, it's likely because you don't have enough strength. So, all you want to do is hit his front left leg here. So I'll and show you this. can spam click the stairs here. But so, so all you I need to, to get into this spot over here. Fling and to his you left can spam leg. Click the stairs here. And you'll be upstairs. You can spam click the stairs here. See, this part actually has changed and you'll be because I watched Lumi do a faster speed run of this. So this has, or maybe Worldly might have already known about this at this part. I, I imagine and he, he did. Spam click the stairs but here. This is the beginner and route be because upstairs I think the alternate part it. is uh, really difficult. But from what I understand, the tougher route is to fling this barrel here. Which, for some reason, is allowed. Now I think about it, why is that allowed? So you fling that barrel there, and then immediately throw this poison bottle? Which... How do you... how do you do that again? Was it the poison bottle, or was it the firestorm? I forget, but it's like, you do this, and then you do like that, and then, <laughs> and see, I didn't do it right because I'm pretty sure, yeah, Lumi wasn't here. Lumi I did all that and was still doing the spam clicking here so that she she just skipped this floor and I have the bedroll on scroll wheel so go back that trick looks super cool I gotta say so I'd be coming up here I would very speedily, of course, be picking up this barrel. Look at me, I'm a speedrunner. Oh, big time loss, big time loss. And you scam through here. I didn't reset my keys. This has been a murder. Uh, this is what I would have done beforehand. And I just threw haste right off the hotbar. Let's get that back. Bed roll. Cheeky flinging while moving sounds brutal. No, that's not where it's supposed to go. Let's try it again. Oops. Why are you moving so slow? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so it's like over here, maybe it's easier with a better camera angle. Ah, uh, I clicked on her. So she move, move like here. I accidentally rest because I am trying to scroll to zoom, which I don't know how they get used to that. That is going to take me so long to get used to. Wait, can you cancel the... Whoa. So to get out of this section, do they... Okay, I'm going to try it. This isn't going to work, probably. But... Ah. 
How do they do that? That is so crazy fast. That's so obscenely quick. <laughs> Man. I think you don't really... It's, sometimes it's easy to kind of not understand just how difficult what speedrunners do is until you try it for yourself, because... Holy moly. I think I'm going to do the easy way. Easier way. For now. But I want to do that eventually. The way Lumi did it, it looked so cool to do all of that in like one really short burst and skip an entire floor. I mean, I suppose you still skip the floor when you do it this way, but... I don't know, man. It looks so cool. Pick up... Hey. Oh, I must have clicked... Wait. Oh, I'm clicking behind and not the actual door. And that's why it's doing that. Man, I... It must take so long to actually... To get good. Because there's so much you have to... So many little bits and pieces you have to learn. And not only do you have to learn them, you have to execute on them. Okay. So you get nice and close here. Is this... Wait, is this a, is this a Shiki fling? No, it can't be, because you're not looking at your inventory. <laughs> Does this work? Oh, there's a moment. Oh, that's crazy. And then it... So... There's like a moment after she casts. And then you roll through... I think he's, they said you pick up this water barrel. I think they said you pick up this barrel, too. And you go here... I forget which barrel it was, I'll use the water barrel. I'm trying to do it from memory for now. So... Tab... Line it up. We get through. That skips the trigger. And... We grab ourselves... Three death fog barrels. We stuff in the backpack. And we place the backpack right up top here. Oh, I can't do it when I'm encumbered, though. Do you just do you just like do it like this? Set it down, get a better position. Where was he standing? Oh shoot, I don't remember where he was standing when he threw it. How come I could see it over here? I was like standing clear over here and I could I could see it, but now that I'm over here, it's a no-go. Huh. I'll have to look. We can get to that part now. Depends. This way you don't have the knockdown, you don't have any of that stuff. So remember how we picked up that water barrel? I do. We're gonna or we're gonna run through the fire here. Oh, so you pick up an earlier barrel? We're just gonna run to the end. Okay. Oh, you don't even now, put that barrel in your inventory. Going to pick up this barrel here. Oh, you do actually. And is it easier out of? Oh, we're I suppose going to it's. Use that initial water barrel we picked up to clip through this wall. So, all you need to do is come up to the corner of this this wall here. Yep. Drop the barrel on your bottom right. And click through the wall, and he should just clip through, no problem. Easy. You can you quick just save here. Through. That's not really necessary at all. But what we're going to do is we're going to grab all three of these barrels. So we're going to click here. Oh, click okay, so the, there's positioning required beforehand, which I didn't do. What we want to do now is move these into the backpack. So you and need to be from, in the right from spot right where Fane before. Is standing. So as, as we walked in, we just clicked on this barrel, and he should position himself the same every time. We're going to do a Q Shiki Fling. You're going to hold Q. This on is your a keyboard. Shiki Fling, too. Okay. Backpack, 
You're going to drag it over to the stairs here until it's white. You're going to let go of the bag. And then you're going to drag it out on the ground here and let go of Q, not the mouse. And he will throw it on top of the stairs. Okay. Let's give that a try. Okay, so let me position myself. This looked to be where he was. I'm not quite in the right spot, though. But I can kind of move... This was like... I think this was the right spot. Yep, we can see... Q... Shiki Fling! Sick. And then... You go over here... Barrel? I think I need to be closer. No, I, I can get through. Just gotta find the right spot. Stop calling it rubbish, man. You need that barrel. How else are you gonna get out of this locked room? Hmm. This one's a little harder. Let's see. Because I, I feel like I can't be too close to the stairs, otherwise the stairs might get in the way. Yeah, if, is this too close to the stairs, maybe? Get out of there. Pick that back up. Angle myself here. Maybe the right side is a little easier? Okay. Uh, and then don't actually... Pick up and then go. And that guy gets squished. I mean, combat, but for some reason, grenades go so goddamn far. It's hilarious to me that this actually. Like, target is too far, target is too far. It doesn't give you any sort of arc anywhere around here. But for some reason, Gil. Gil is fair game. You can even hit the kid, too. Gil's fair game. Something about Gil. Oh, I'm gonna hit the kid too, sorry about that. Oh no, I saved. Just Gil. Oh, I get it now. Okay, so they do the knockdown immunity first, right? Let me reload. Okay, so this was just after I got through here. Pick up, go through, through combat here. And then I'm gonna bed roll. Gil. Okay. So, okay. This is like a story knockdown. The story power is stronger than the bed roll. So you get knocked down no matter what. Even with all my mess ups, that's uh, still probably the fastest boat. Pretty quick boat run. Now I gotta go back and do some more practice on that. Pretty sweet though, I gotta admit. I suck really badly at speedrunning. But with the power of worldly on my side, I'm actually managing to do a little bit. Uh, let's go back to the start. I'm going to do quote-unquote real run. Well, I'll restart it again, though. I'm not going to have a timer or anything, because, good lord, I, uh, I, I'm not ready for that. So you run at this, spamming enter, run through here, pick up. Oh, I'm going to need to find a way to pick up. That's a little quicker than that. Run to the door. Skip through dialogue. <laughs> Did not switch. Okay, reload, reload, reload. I keep forgetting that I did not uh, reset the hot bar beforehand. And I also keep resetting that there's no point in me scrolling because I remapped it. Is there a different way to pick it up? Can you double click to pick up? 
because I don't want to actually look in the barrel. This been a murder. I'm going to say that every time, full disclosure. Go about here. It's time for Shiki Fling. Oh, wow. Throw that there. And then... And then... Knockdown immunity. Oh, I must have done it wrong. I don't think when Worldly does it, it does this fade to black. I don't think so. Okay, so double clicking doesn't put it in your inventory. Boring? We're about to do something super cool with the barrel. Boring? Well, not that barrel. We'll use this barrel. Okay. Well, that wasn't very exciting. I'll give you that thing. So apparently the right side actually seems to be like the trick. So I think the positioning was like right like here. And then you can just click and you'll end up right where you need to be in order to do the Q Shiki Fling. So hold Q, first things first though, throw all these in the backpack. Hold Q. And then like... Oh, I messed it up. My bad. I forgot, you're supposed to let go of Q, not the mouse. That's still new to me. So you Q, let go of Q, maybe I have the camera in the wrong spot? Or I'm messing up the, the Shiki fling. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Done here, run through, pick up. I don't think I have a backpack. Yep, I left the backpack down there. Okay, well. Practice. Goodbye, Gil. Alright. So I guess I need to, like, visually make sure that bag is coming with me before I do it. I wonder if there's much benefit in early doing a... For some reason, ping canceling is, feels super easy to me. I don't know why. It's really fun. I wonder if it's best to not move. Well, maybe it's pretty easy to just not move and then do it. Spam through that dialogue. There's been a murder. Head on over. Time to get freaky shiki. That was, I think that was a pretty bad shiki fling. And then, it's like what? Oh, I didn't pick up the bedroll. Okay. So there, yeah, mistake. I'm not gonna reset, just cause I'm still practicing. I'll just run back and grab it. Do that fling again. Oh, wait, does he pick up that water barrel normally? Oh, yeah, he does. Probably after this, though. So it's, what? Bedroll. I picked up another barrel for fun. Nope, I actually picked up the wrong one. Okay, let's... You know what, let's take it... Now I'll reload. I've made enough mistakes where... I should probably just reload. Get these in the right order. I wonder if there is any benefit in ping canceling haste at the start. Do they do that? Yeah, yeah, Swain. Blah, 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 blah. There's been a murder. Okay, grab that. Keep going. So we have the bedroll this time. 
Uh, shoot. I wonder if there's any benefit to being in a certain position. This is so weird from where I am. And closer? No. Maybe it's actually better farther away. Too close, I lose the angle, maybe. I don't know. That's so weird that it's just not cooperating with the angle this time. There it goes. And then... Knockdown immunity. Then... Grab this. Freaks out. I'll firebomb you too, Gil. I don't know how fast they do that. I shouldn't firebomb Gil. I just kind of wanted to try. That weird... Yeah, so now you get stuck here. Because I didn't uh, spam this. Oh, you can do it from that side no matter what. I saw Lumi do that trick, and I was like, my mind was shattered into a million pieces. I could not believe how quickly, and how much, like, how much that skipped. Like, accomplished so much by doing that. Do, 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 do. There's been a murder. I'm just going to preempt it now. Okay. I don't know what the exact spot over here is. We'll do it the easy way this time. Is it a camera thing? It's a camera thing. I messed up the fling. I don't think you grab this first. You probably do this and then grab it. Okay, we're gonna go back. Did some things out of order. I should probably just make a save where I have this set up. But I think no matter what, I'll probably go to the next section just to... I think it's decent to uh, do different zones to kind of not burn out on one spot. Of course, you do have to run, there's been a murder, uh, places several, like, I don't know how many times. I cannot imagine the amount of times Lumiere Worldly ran certain places in order to get them down. Like, to the amount of perfection that they have. And then you would throw this here. And I didn't bedroll, so that was a mistake. So I'll get knocked down, which eats quite a bit of time. Oh, and I forgot to click the stairs, goddammit. Well, looks like we're going back anyway. I don't know why, I just feel like, I just, I'm like, okay, we activated the trigger. We're good to go. But no, you have to actually click on that staircase too to move on. Click it. Yep, I wasn't spamming enter. I'd spam move. There's been a murder. I'm, I'm kind of getting. I'm getting tired of my own stupid joke. Speed runs. Yeah, I'm trying it. I'm learning the technology. Move the barrel. Wow. From where I'm standing, this happens to be very precise. So if I move here, it's probably easier. Or not. Okay. So I go into this corner here. Okay, before I do this, I always forget. God damn it. I need to actually pick that up. Wanted to play Minecraft? Yeah, I might play some Minecraft, too. But I figured I was doing a lot of Divinity. I might as well keep doing Divinity, you know? Plus, 
I was watching a lot of Divinity, and I wasn't playing a lot of Divinity, so kind of wanted to. Did that just not work? So, bed roll first. Throw this on his leg. Pick this up, and then start spamming. Then we go to the next part. I don't know how he avoided this, the fade to black though. I'd have to launch back on that because he doesn't he doesn't have the fade to black when Worldly did it. But then you go through here. Why would my guy go this way? Oh, because he's an idiot. By an idiot, I mean the AI paths you around fire, so you actually can't click at your destination. You need to click closer. So we go here. He does a water bottle here. I will as well. Clip through. He stood about here. Death fog, death fog. That's not quite right, I don't think. Yeah, easy clips. Easy. But I think I messed up. You have to stand in a very precise spot. No, I actually can. Hold Q. Let go. Drag here. Messed it up. Okay. Oh, because I also let go of the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't let go of the mouse at all. You do this, hold Q, this, only let go of Q. Boom. Bag goes up there. That's a shiki fling. A Q shiki fling. Then you go over here. Bear a little bit on the right side. Screw it up. That's fine. How did I mess that up? That looked like it was going to work. Uh-oh. Choking. Big time loss. I thought I had gotten pretty consistent at this, and then this, this particular wall clip is going to humble me. What is, uh... I wonder what I'm messing up here. You get right up here, clip it so it's as close as possible and partially in your hitbox. Maybe I'm too far to the right and not far enough. Uh, maybe, is it better to stand at an angle? Maybe. Okay, maybe it's better to stand at an angle. Maybe that clip's easier. Then you go through... Goodbye, Mr. Magister Knight. And then... Poor Gil. And then... You kind of just... Hang out. I think this... Can he resist knockdown there? I feel like he did, because I feel like he was just messing with his inventory while he waited for this. But... Okay. That's the boat segment. Okay. And then he... Oh, I thought Tilda was... Is that not a normal hotkey to... Uh... Bring up the quick. Toggle waypoint menu. Oh, that's grave. Why did I not know that? So you would teleport here. Grab this much too heavy backpack out of your inventory, set it down. Then you work your way over this away. And then I think he picked up. I'm, I'm just gonna, okay. I'm just gonna watch the video. Just skip that. Thank you, Worldly, for having Thanks. this nice and segmented so it's super easy. You beginners, you did a few tricks. 
that are pretty critical. I sure to did. The World advanced Beam. guide. Thank so you. if you guys are getting those pretty easily, and you manage to do this run in uh, under an hour, I would say go take a look at the advanced guide when it's released. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here is open your inventory. We're going to press the tilde key to go to Fort Joy Beach right here. And we're just going to drop the backpack. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to make this a bit quicker and try it out, you can You can do it. Yeah, speedrun here. guides. Worldly, super, I've watched most of this guide just because I was uh, eating a little bit ago. Not a big His guide is super good. You're going to walk yeah. up the beach. He said he put like 40 and hours into this. It's such two, a good guide. These two crates right here. Like, he really did not leave anything out. Make sure to identify the difference between the crates. So, one is 150 pounds, one is only 10. Look at that. Make He's sure even got zooms. Separate, the heavy one separate. Sir Laura's going to talk to us. I personally like to get rid of him. So, we're going to dismiss him by Poor Sir first, Laura. Text, first text and then the second text. Next thing you want to do is grab this barrel here. And then we're going to come up to the Red Prince. And we're just going to quick do a quick save. So this will have to be done every time. This is really funny. I, I watched this part earlier. Save here. I just need to... The Red Prince has 42 texts that you need to skip. And if you <laughs> miss the one that you need to get to, you will have to restart the run or reload the save. And I prefer to just do a reload than restart the whole run. As you text talk to him, you're going to skip a bunch of text. <laughs> so as 42 says, texts and don't forget it. As a born fighter... Uh, this is the one you're going to be looking so for. So you have to... It's, I believe it's... Yeah, I like that he says tricks, too, through. on how he remembers it. And you're just going to hit four. Because it, it's way worse to just say, yeah, uh, you know, make sure you skip 42 precise lines of dialogue. It's going to let us... Uh, but not one more, because the then you're screwed. Has. So I'm going to reload, and I'm going to just show you guys quickly how to do that a little bit easier than, like, trying to read every single one. Basically, it still seems a little... And you look at your you mouse know. wheel, and you go back and forth six times or even five times yeah it's, it's like a it. you'll probably five have to six, learn it a bit one, on your two, own three, on what four, works five, for you six. so right here the next text but using your scroll text. wheel like this the next text because <laughs> so you can use the enter key you know, to just skip a few it's cool it i kind of see how why they the do it now wheel, make your scroll couple. wheel text so because very easy to get you can fly a through text with scrolls. scroll wheels uh, way faster than you could with like just pressing buttons doing the speed run more seriously so four and then two to get him as a feels like at least and once again we're on our way see this is the part that's going to get okay. me so i'm going to show you this one is this looks really complicated to me because it's kind of tough to get the timing right if i try to show you both and i don't want to confuse anybody so we're just going to quick save you would right confuse here. me so i appreciate it so first we're going to put fane up here but I'm and then we're going to unchain the red prince by dragging him to the right and we're going to bring prince over to this rock do. So as Prince comes up to this rock, we're going to press 3 to cast Rain on the rocks. And then we're going <laughs> to scroll to cast Electric Discharge. And as the crocodile comes it's up so to the funny. rock, we're going to cast that and get in combat with the It's crocodile. very cool that the game's And now like... we don't need to do anything with Prince engine so and how it does book. elemental reactions and we're will let you through this do that. Encounter here not worry about it it's just super interesting that that uh, even is a thing and you want to come up to this brazier so I'm just going to actually reload this and show you guys what it looks like if you do both at the same time so I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like at full speed uh, so we're going to talk to Prince 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 All right, and then we're gonna run up the beach here. Hmm. <laughs> Controlling split characters in a speed run scenario. <laughs> really cool because of the possibilities it opens up. But Red oh Prince man, is wet. we're gonna walk into here. My brain. So yeah, so he can see through status effects that he knows Red Prince is in the right spot. So the Red back. Prince hits the water and gets and the as wet. You can see in the top uh, left here, not the Red well, debuff, in whatever buff. So you should be status at this point. Whether you do it separately, just manage the Red Prince first, and then feign if you need to do it separately. 
Otherwise, it's just swapping back and forth using the F1 and F2 keys and getting that down pat. The advanced guide will show you guys how to do that with haste. And uh, yeah, go check that out if you guys want to uh, want to. I get still more into that's it. one of the the techniques that I find the most fun to do personally. Ping canceling is awesome. So spells are like they're animation locked, right? So if I cast haste here, which makes me move faster, you know, useful for speed run, obviously. If I cast it, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to move, and it takes all that time after casting before you can move. It's not like a huge amount of time, but it's enough time where, like, I think they considered, previously speedrunners considered it not really worth it to use haste in a run because, you know, you have to stand still in an animation for a while. But you, instead, you can... Oh, I did it too early. Basically, you still see what the cancel, t uh, what it does though. If you click the ping button in an animation, it cancels whatever's happening. As far as I can tell, it cancels whatever's happening. So I wait for the buff. I'm off to the races. I think that's super cool. <laughs> I love canceling in general. Cancels are tight. So I ping canceling apparently was like pretty big in terms of like I did it too early again. No wait, I actually did it like that was like frame perfect. God damn. Holy shit, I do have the haste buff. I got really lucky there cuz I did not mean to I did not in intend to be that precise with it, but... God damn. It's really satisfying. It, it, more than anything. It's like really satisfying to cancel it. Because it's just like that, that yeah, like I nailed it kind of feeling. It's cool. Very, very cool. Uh... Now I guess let's look at the Red Prince and skip his 42 lines of dialogue. Or whatever it is. A quick save before. You spotted why out so much so if what do you see when you cast your glance over this? Uh oh shoot, I think I went way too far. Yeah. Or maybe I didn't go far enough. Yeah, definitely not far enough. Okay, let's just go ahead and load. That was uh, definitely not far enough. He likes to talk. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. That was pretty close. And then you can just spam it the rest of the way. And you can unchain him. Actually, there's no point in unchaining him yet, because I need to take him farther, and it's probably easier just to click with one person. Cat oh, comes up and finds us, and I think this is the rock that he needs to be at. So unchain the Red Prince, and send him here, I think, if I remember right. And I take... Thane here, and I send him up here. And then I look, yep, okay, so he's supposed to be here. Cast rain, cast chameleon cloak. So. Oh, I got stopped. I took too long. So he said to do the Red Prince stuff first. So I'm going to guess, in this instance, what I need to do 
Let's get the red prints over here while I get myself in position over here. Cast rain. And then I tried to do a cheeky little ping cancel there, and I ended up running. So, oh. See, I was just throwing this shit at random. You can't do that. You gotta wait for the croc to come over. I think my cooldowns will work out, though. Oh, you need to hit the right part of the water. Let's go back. Back, 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 back. I'm getting the feel for it, but this this particular section seems to be a little tricky. So we'll move you over. You're over here. Get on the rock. Cast rain. Oh, I should have been quicker. I wonder if in this situation with the crocodile going away, they would simply do the other side of things. Probably, right? Because this crocodile is taking forever to come back. So in this case, they probably would have moved over to the main character and gotten him in position. So we've gotten in combat with them, so that's going to stay pretty much the same. I'm all stealthy now. Going to skip through that over to this, and now that I have that auto path in, I... What did he cast first? Did he just delay turn so that this guy can, uh... cast scale apportation on me? He didn't. Well, I don't want to, like, do my whole combo on him, right? I want him to... Oh, no. Now there's two of them. Wait, is this the wrong crocodile? No, the magic armor one does have. He's supposed to... Oh, is it because the other one's over here? That he won't teleport to me? Because usually... Yeah, they're just kicking my ass. Okay. I did it wrong. I'll try doing it one at a time. How about that? Easier that way. Rain. Fight. See, there he teleports. Oh, but he teleports up there. He needs to teleport to me. Is the thing. Hmm. How do I make that happen? Worldly. So from here, we're going your help. to walk down to the Red Prince's wet. We're going to walk into here. So it's raining, and then we're going to cast Discharge. Or switch back. That's crazy. And as you can see in the top left here, the Red Prince is in combat. So you should be, at this point, whether you do it separately, just manage the Red Prince first, and then feign if you need to do it separately. Otherwise, it's just swapping back and forth using the F1 and F2 keys and getting that down pad. Yeah, go check that out if you guys want to. Uh... Makes it look so easy. We're going to walk into here. So it's raining, and then we're going to cast Discharge. Or we'll switch back. And oh, here's a croc section. While the reinforced creep. Unfortunately, I think we're going to get a really bad croc RNG here. <sighs> that sigh. That's the sigh of a man who's faced bad RNG many a time. Okay. So, in the event that, that this happens where the crocodiles are not... Uh, so this other crocodile will come up and block See, I don't know if this is what was actually happening to me defense. because the other time he just teleported Basically, straight up to the top there. Here. 
Uh, you, if this happened in a real run, you would reset. Electric discharge on him, I guess. And then... <laughs> don't have anything. We're just going to end our turn. Basically, all you need to do is kill this crocodile. And then this one should teleport to you. Okay, so this is what we're looking for, the scale portation. This would normally be happening happening within the first two turns. If oh, it okay. So it's fine if it... Well, he scale ported the wrong way the other time. Let's try it again. Rain. This croc is somewhere. Just have to wait for him to come over. Man, where are you, Croc? Not you. You're the one that messes thing up. The proper. <laughs> He's just not coming over now. Is this the boy? No, you're the wrong one. What'd you do with your friend? I know he takes like a long walk style cycle, excuse me, all the way up and back. Do I want to reload just because I'm not getting a crocodile over here? Might as well. Okay. Red Prince. Move over up here. Cast Rain. Zap. So now we're in combat with him. See, he's gonna scale port super early. And then fossil strike. Does he have teleport up like pretty quickly after that? Just gonna hit him with that. And then wait. Is he just not gonna do anything? Grr, yeah. Why don't you come over and grr to my face, buddy? Oh, now his buddy joined in. <laughs> you loser. He's just gonna sit up there and do that the whole time instead of teleporting? Come on over. See, now he won't because he'll be blocked here. I'm just gonna beat my ass with rocks. Alright. Reload. I'm gonna look at the worldly video again. Uh, you just got unlucky. Really. So he's gonna be here. I don't think I'm don't getting worry about him unlucky. Now. I think I'm You're just doing it fame. wrong here. We're just gonna come over here. We're going to use our mouse wheel for the bedroom. So where does he stand like Okay. He stands like so exactly in the exact this there. happens where the fiend's bag but well, where the force crate should be he, in the red I gotta look bag. at like when so does he shock them? Again. Maybe? He looks so disappointed as he really clicks. Croc RNG the, stuff, the look on his face is really funny to me when he looks back and sees two crocs. So we have to skip <laughs> again. This is Unfortunately, pure disappointment. Really like you can kind of see it. Bad croc RNG here. And then that side cracks me up. <laughs> but I, I gotta look again. Does he go to like the the very edge with red the red prince? So it's raining, and then we're gonna cast discharge into here. Back a little bit. So it's raining, and then we're gonna cast discharge. I'm gonna switch back. Okay, so we kind of cast discharge like as the croc is walking up still instead of turned away. Oh, he gets right up to the edge here. Rain. Lord knows how long it'll take this crocodile to show up. Last time I didn't do this immediately, he was just gone. So I might have to reload it again. But I quick saved at a really awkward time. I might have to... I have to look at something. Can I ping cancel the end lag of rain? You'd think, right? Red Prince, where are you? Oh, you're already over here. Whoops, how did I forget that? Huh. 
Huh. Looks like he can. So maybe I'll ping cancel it just so uh, I don't miss. Move up. So he's pretty close to me, but he still, his AI just wants him to go up. Huh, I wonder what am I doing wrong? I'm definitely doing, I, I'm doing something wrong. Because I don't believe they've updated anything in the game that would make this change, so I wonder what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> By the way, I might switch over to... You're playing Minecraft, right? Mason, I said I was going to get on there, so maybe I'll do that. Not that... It makes me feel like I'm admitting defeat, though. And that doesn't sit right with me. I don't want to lose these stupid crocodiles. That's not even going to hit, is it? Oh, it did. He's just going to teleport to the same spot. Awkward. Hmm. Damn. Well... Hunter just joined as well? Hmm. That sounds fun. I hate to feel like I'm giving up, though. But... I want to freeze that croc out of my own self-satisfaction. Get owned, buddy. But... I do think I will play. When the, my when the, the boys want to play... Minecraft? What are you gonna do? True. I've had times where I would come back to something later and it would just work, you know? But I'm gonna switch games. If there's people here for Divinity, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna swap over to Minecraft. But I appreciate I had a lot of people coming in and out for Divinity stuff, and, you know, that's awesome. A lot of people like this game. And I am certainly one of them. I love this game. But for now, I'll pop over. Yeah, all about execution. Yeah. Woo, fighting games. I love fighting. I'm a fighting gamer. I haven't played fighting games in a little bit, though. Well, not that long, I suppose. But... Yeah, that's just a heads up to people who are here for Divinity stuff. I'm going to take a little bit of, bra of a break from it and move over to Minecraft for a little bit. But it's going to be chill. I have a nice group of chill people to play Minecraft with. It's just going to be, you know... I've been streaming for six and a half hours. I'll just gonna keep going and, you know, it'll be nice and chill. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the call with them, so. Oh, that's Tyler. That is me. Oh, it is you. Yep. Mr. Gamer. It is me. Mr. Mr. Gamer. Mr. Speedrunner. That's why I hear. Yeah. That's where on the street. Dude, speedrunning is actually fun. Why didn't you tell me? You never I, told me speedrunning was fun. <laughs> never. I don't know, man. How could I've you? I've told you a lot of things are fun. I don't know if you ever... No, you certainly never... You? Speedrunning? Well, okay, Telling so the me? secret is... No, I know. I'm kidding. You, you Speedrunners actually hate speedrunning. <laughs> really? Is that... You have to harness <laughs> well, the rage? Well, that's, that's not true, but that's what everybody says. Yeah. Because, you know... You get you get frustrated. It's like it's like saying you f hate fighting games. Yeah, yeah, no, I hate fighting games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Everyone, ha- everyone who plays fighting game hates fighting game until they don't hate fighting games because they win. Mm-hmm. I think it's like I, League I've of seen, Legends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've but seen a lot less. of people say this, but it's always the uh, you go back and forth between thinking that you're just the worst fucking player and you'll never <laughs> get better, and being the best player in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's exactly how it no, goes. There's no 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 in the middle there. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see what progress you guys have made first before I do anything. I haven't. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you were playing earlier today, weren't you? For like 30 minutes or so. Oh, were you? Okay. I just saw you in there while I was, because I was moving around Discord for the tournament and whatnot. Basically, all I did is I went over, checked out Mason's house. Oh, uh, have you got got, some iron? Kevin's house yet? Your farm is incredible, uh, Hunter. It's, look at this. Holy shit. Yeah, I really need to get some textures for Minecraft. I got the ugly ass base Minecraft. Navilla. Yeah. I I just put shaders on the other day and yeah. They're, Dude, they're shaders are sick. Pretty. I used to have them, but I reinstalled <laughs> and now they're gone. It was easier than I thought it would be too. I mean, I guess it's Minecraft, <laughs> one of the biggest games ever, so they've yeah. they've got it pretty well figured out. But I thought it'd be some kind of different. Uh, Hunter. What? You haven't been tending to my farm, it seems. Selfish. Why would I? It's your farm. <laughs> God, Don't worry. Man. When when I was playing by myself, like when nobody was around. Yeah. Um. I did a lot of farming myself, and I have like a really big stockpile of stuff. And I didn't, you know, everybody else's farm just got out of hand. <laughs> but yeah, I have like if you need food, I have plenty of food for everybody now. Um. If you need iron, I could spare you some. You know, as long as you're not building your whole house out of iron or something. Not yet. Get it. Working on it. Yeah, working on it. The Iron Fortress. I'm working here. I'm working. I can't even do it. I'm working here. Uh, Let's go ahead and make this wheat still. I wish you could... uh... Like, crouch down to one block, you know? Oh, and fit through those spaces? Yeah, I wanna... I'm doing some under... Under house renovations, because... Under house renovations? Me. Yeah. I, I put down a foundation, and now I'm like, I wanna change the block of the foundation. And, mm. like, you can't see it at all. Except for this tiny little corner, but I know, you know? Yeah, true. Oh, no, it's there, too, now, so now you have to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got that ugly foundation. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never let me live it down, dude. I won't. It's like making fun of someone at a high school reunion or something. Yeah, you just got. Uh, where's the nearest sand? Uh, if you boat from oh, I my yeah, from the dock, it's not super far. Hang on. If you wait, is there a lot of sand there? Or is it nope, just there's like not much at all. Only enough for me. <laughs> oh well. I was gonna say, if you go oh, on a sand journey, you should take water. me so we could just fucking devastate whatever sand is there. Just destroy the ecosystem. I work alone, Mason. <laughs> like oh, uh, no. any true Minecraft player. You wouldn't take any help? Like, nope. That sounds like I, I would to be share honest. with you, you know that, right? No. Nah, but I but... share with you and I can have it all to myself. Yeah, this, this is textbook, Hunter. What's that? Okay, so. Alright, fine. I guess. Yeah, yeah, just, you're, you're just gonna have to accept it. <laughs> I mean, as as I have grown to accept, you're such a sundry. Yeah, he is. I mean, I guess you can. Yeah, come. I guess you can come. Oh my you god, I have to. a lot of. I'm seeds. just down in the ravine, though. I'm not going on like a real. Uh, uh yeah. nights. Do you wanna? Do you wanna go to bed though? Bitch. Yeah, sure. No, I don't, cause I'm down in the ravine right now. <laughs> All right, we work through it. Yeah, sure. Works for nice me. Music. Yeah, I got some chill Minecraft to kill the zombies now, like, because they can if it's uh, they can just be like in the water when the sun comes out, right? Yeah, I oh, don't. Yeah. yeah. And they'll burn in the if water. If they're in the shade, they're good to go. Oh yeah, is Kevin's house coming along? Wait, what? Is that is that your house, Mason? It uh, looks like a house. Maybe? Yeah. In the mountain. I, I have a I have a house. That's crazy. Kind of on the side of the mountain. Yeah. I don't have a house. I mean, I kind of do, but it's mostly a cave. You got a dungeon. 
Yeah, I do. I BDSM dungeon. But I don't, oh, uh, wow. I don't have any of that you stuff don't partake. in it yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Whips and chains are, uh, are being built. <laughs> Crafting those up as we speak. First things first, I gotta throw some stuff in the... the smelter. Ooh. God, why do you dig so slow when you're underwater? I don't know. That's just it's the worst. how the game works. But yeah, Both you're so making it hard slow. Making it harvest sand. Yeah, I I would not mind coming across a desert, and then removing the entire desert, putting it into my inventory. You have a lot of glass you need to make. Um, yeah. I don't necessarily actually, but I know we will in general. So just yeah. to have it would be. I always use a lot of a lot of glass. You, you, know? you do. You're a glass enthusiast. It's yeah. great. It's fun stuff. <laughs> and uh, I think Kevin it. wants a bunch of glass. Kevin went through. I had like half of a chest full of uh this new cobblestone cobble mm. deep slate and Ooh. he took all of it <laughs> and used you gotta it on his tell belt. kevin how much he can take otherwise he'll take I, all of it <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, hey, can i have some dirt i'm like yeah sure and he takes like every bit of it <laughs> i told him as long as you don't take all of it at first and then you know he'd take two and then he'd uh you know, have to come back and be like, yeah, sure, you could take a couple more. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, you could just take a bunch. And then he took all of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic, Kevin. Son of a bitch. This is how he rolls. <laughs> Kevin doesn't play by the rules. Kevin does have own. quite a house, though. Like, uh, Already? It's, it's not finished, I don't think, but, like, it's large. Because oh, of, you know, those did he just stacks. expand like his uh, yeah, his layout essentially? You gotta make sure I'm doing this right for the spiral staircase. Which is the middle pillar? This is the middle pillar. I should put my torches on that one. Now you're thinking deep slate tiles. What I want is deep slate bricks. But yeah, if if you haven't gone down super deep, Tyler, mm -hmm. um, you know how you used to stop at. Approximately level like twelve or fourteen for diamonds. Yeah, it's deeper now, right? It it's now you stop at negative fifty eight. What? They spawn yeah. that much sooner now? No, no, no. negative fifty eight. They oh, negative fifty eight. Yeah. Oh. So that's, they that's they spawn deeper. at they do spawn at like the same level, like I don't know, uh, twenty or whatever. But it just keeps going down into the negatives quite a bit, and down there. It's uh, this deep slate instead of um, instead of bedrock. In instead of like normal rock, it's this deep slate stuff. So it functions almost exactly the same as uh, as uh, what am I trying to say? Wait, cobblestone. No. Cobblestone. Yeah, except it just like looks a little different. So it's kind of nice for building purposes. Man. Pretty cool. What? I'm going down here and I, I hit a I hit a patch of water. As I'm going down, so I need to like fill it so that it doesn't exist anymore. And I think I need to almost ran out of air. So I think I need to fill it and then uh remove. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yada yada yada. Yeah, you get what I'm Make saying. Compass. Iron and paper, I believe. What? I don't make the rules. That doesn't make any sense. Look, I'm just saying, I'll make the rules. I thought, I mean, Maybe I'm wrong. Or is it red I, I don't, sand? I don't and remember. Iron. It's it's I, something with iron, because the iron is the need. But it was like a map inside iron. Might be a map. Might be a map oh, too. a map would make sense, okay. But for a map, you need paper and red. Or maybe you need a compass to make a map. I forget which <laughs> came first. Yeah. I don't remember either. Classic chicken. chicken yeah, classic egg. chicken and the egg. You know how it is. I, I do know how it be. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah I'll just keep it like this. It's a little awkward, but... Alright, 
new foundation is much stronger than it was before. One of the most important things to look at when you're buying a house. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in Minecraft where, you know, physics are especially important. Wouldn't want it sinking into the ground or anything. Yeah, being, you know, uneven. Yeah. I'm going to guess Kevin's house is just very wide. Is it just very wide? Like, did he just kind of keep going? Uh, yeah. yeah he didn't like go straight outwards, but yeah, it is very wide. You could see it much better from farther distances now, I believe. Oh, it's not a secret hideout as much anymore? No. Oh, that's kind of a it's shame. Like, I thought it was super funny. It's a monolith now. Yeah. It was pretty cool. But now it's huge. Villain uh, headquarters. It's not that anymore. Yeah, it's not a, not a super villain headquarters. Okay, so yeah, this is, this, this is more of the superhero water. headquarters. Yeah. You see it in, on the horizon, it gives you hope. You know, oh, mm -hmm. it's home. Let's do a little strip mining. When you strip mine, do you typically just go too high, or do you go three high? Um, what I do is three high for the main passage, then the offshoots I go too high. Yeah, that makes sense. I can get behind that. Or I'll go two by three even. Yeah, like I think as that's the main passage. as the main and one. Then, yeah. And then three by one on the sides, which is. A lot more digging. It it is. It feels better. Not as claustrophobic. Yeah. yeah. I kind of like the wider passage too. Yeah. Deep slate. I probably have too much of this. Go shit. ahead and put that up. I haven't hit anything. Oh, is it bedtime? It is nope. bedtime, but. You're here in the mines. I'm, I'm oh. far away. <laughs> You're still getting sand? Yeah! You said we were working through the night. Oh, I thought it might have been long enough where it was another night. But I guess it's not been that long. The sun is coming up. Uh, it's coming right up now. now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, th I, I thought it was also. I was like, man, night, you know, I haven't seen daylight. Is a night again already? No. I'm, Get outside a little bit, guys. Come on. I'm not, I ain't touching grass. I'm in the mines. This is where I belong. But well, I keep you there in my... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tyler, I do want you to have a peep at my house before I change it all. Oh, sure. If you're... You know, no, if I'm, you wanna. I'm, I'm available. <laughs> Not like I'm really doing anything, so... I'll come up and... see what's happening at the Mason residence. Oh my god, there's a trident guy throwing tridents at me. <laughs> Who'd have thought that the trident Get. guy would be throwing tridents at you? Get, well, I don't, I don't know his real name. That's true. <laughs> Jerry. There's a there's a creeper? Why is there's a majestic guy? shot of an Enderman here, but he's standing right in front of the sun, so it's kind of badass looking. <laughs> like oh, his outline. No. <laughs> he's holding That's the block. Really he's like... He looks divine. He does. He looks Like good. the Lord himself, just up there. With the... <laughs> That's really funny. I also... Went out, and Ooh. I got some spruce go. trees. Oh, they're nice. like the little uh, variety. Yeah, they're the uh, the normally the stuff you see in the taiga, you know, like the colder environment. Oh yeah, you've so been I'm, so they actually grow here. Yeah, well, yeah, I think they do Not grow like, a little better. Unlike and they just hunters' stupid stumpy trees. Yeah, and they about. look like they belong, <laughs> you know. Yeah, true. Plus, you've actually been. I don't know if how a hunters' tree farms doing, but this one seems to be pretty solid. Pretty good. Well, I cut them all down. <laughs> There's I that. So yeah, I went with the slanted roof, but if you look at it carefully, it's it's not an even slant. Oh, I yeah, I see it. I see it. Yeah, I How I had to look for it a little bit though. Yeah. It wasn't immediately obvious. Ah, I see. You have the incinerator too. I do. Oh, this is. I almost hit Q are... by accident. And threw that in there. <laughs> these blocks here are the different blocks you can make out of that new. What did you Wait, these look really good. Oh, I threw some daisies in there because I. How I didn't you? Want yeah. I yeah. Know. So here's here's a normal cobble on the far hmm. left if you're facing it. Then here's one level of polish. Here's another level of polish, and there's the next level. How do you polish? It, it's not really polish. You just you just put them in a in a group of four, like a uh, like a crafting table. Oh yeah. And it gives you four back, 
and then you can put those Ooh. four back into that same square. So it's super easy to, to yeah, make them Yeah, it's different. not bad at all. Maybe takes a little while just to keep throwing them in the crafter, but yeah, you can do you it really quickly. Oh, he took your daisy! Holy shit! How did he do that? I threw them away. Oh my god, he's <laughs> out. Yeah, he's gone. Did he save them from the incinerator on toss? No, oh, he, he probably euro. He probably just took one of these. I hope he did. And then he ran. Yeah. <laughs> Little bitch. I had my water bucket ready. Why didn't you hit him with it? Douse him. He, oh, you can, he you ran can see so a small fast. Portion, small oh, portion shit, of my, I think I lost the chicken. Base. Fuck, I did! No! Were you trying to bring one back? I'm trying, I had five. Oh, this Two is have fallen off the bridge. Ooh, nice. Nice touch like here, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna hang to get some one of those. lanterns. How do you around. how do you make lanterns? Um it's a torch in the middle of uh eight um Oh, they have to be specifically nuggets, huh? Yeah, iron nuggets. I just Which, got rid of a bunch of nuggets. Well, I thought I had more iron than this, but if you want to take some iron it's in this chest. Blast furnace. Smoker. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, you're advanced. The hell's they, a blast furnace anyway? It, it's like a smoker, but for ore specifically. Um, which both of faster? Those just, uh, yeah, they're just faster. Okay. Which is pretty nice, you know. And then the smokers for food. Yeah. Faster. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. House is very cozy. And if you want some potatoes, I have absurd amount of potatoes. Were you farming them? Yeah, and carrots. If you want carrots, potatoes, baked potatoes. I'm going to take that stack of 15 and bring them over and start cooking them, or planting them. Okay. Have it on the farm. Uh, Yeah, nice. This is a cool little valley still. I very much like yeah, this is the spot fan. we picked. Eggs fucking suck. I just threw 13 eggs, not a single chicken. One in 16 chance if they haven't changed it. Oh, is so, it really? Uh, yeah, you got, you got unlucky. I'll go ahead and take the Kevin Expressway back, which is not at all faster than just walking I hate, over I hate normally. It so much. <laughs> it's so especially, ugly, especially because it like is gonna tie in. I'm just gonna I'm gonna destroy it. Yeah, let's just destroy it, dude. <laughs> because it's gonna tie <laughs> in to my house. Yeah, it'll yeah. it'll look super nice as a, no, uh, one of the entries. It's the not exits. happening. At that. <laughs> not my house. It's he, so he, it's so ugly. He also made what he was calling like a. A shortcut through the mountain. Like he, he loves to call a anything a shortcut, huh? Yeah, but probably it far, came, it's probably farther than the first it, one. Yeah. yeah, it came out like further, further down than anything else <laughs> that we have so far. So, like, we'd have to go further that way to come back on it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Kevin's house is. Uh, it looks like it's It's like a solar plant. His house <laughs> is performing photosynthesis. But he told that big me. <laughs> it's it's got that like cone. Looks like it's it actually looks you know what it is? This is This is a siphon. This it's is a like a big for, funnel. Yeah, it's a funnel for like oil. He's doing an oil change on the area below. Oh my god, he's he's there's literally fluid the coming of, from yeah. it. It's yeah. the funnel. Alright, his house is the funnel now. Henceforth known as the funnel. What what he said to me, he was like, I'm going to make a reverse prism. I'm like, a what? A reverse prism. Now, wait, and he's like, no, wait, a pyramid. A pyramid. Oh, a reverse pyramid. Yeah. Prism? Right. <laughs> yep. Interesting. I mean, it works in the right place, but. Water. Yeah. I know he can, if he wants to make it look like a uh, hot spring, if that's what he was going for, he can tunnel underneath of it and put torches below, and the torch smoke will come up and make it look. Ooh, but a but I think there's a different way, too, because it's, like, smoky. Right. Oh, yeah, it will leak, too. There's there's a way to do it. I've seen it done before. I only had the hot spring idea because I saw someone else do it before. Oh, my right. God. I'm sure... Oh, yeah. I don't know if I told you this, Tyler, but Camden said he was down to play tomorrow. Oh, hell yeah. Because he's busy this weekend doing whatever Camden stuff is. He's always busy, though. He's always busy. He's very... He's a hard worker. He's one of those guys. Yeah, if he, it's like if he's not working, he's not, you know, he's not happy. Probably freaking out. 
But he also doesn't seem happy when he's not when he's working. So yeah. he's just always in a state of freaking out. Yeah. Which, from an outside, is is pretty pretty yeah. funny. <laughs> I kind of, yeah. you know, take a yeah. oh. slight you know amount of sick pleasure from it. Wow, you really foolproof that lava containment. Yeah, it's idiot proof now. Was it you who did it? Oh no, that's me. Okay, I also put a sign. I jumped on into it. it. Yeah, no, I know. That's why I thought you might have went over to uh, proof it. Oh no. I put a sign on it and it's got OSHA pink. on it. So hopefully, if anybody's planning on jumping right over it, they will read the sign before they go. <laughs> nice. Alright, Kevin's house is pretty cool. I'll give it yeah, up. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I dig it. It's not his worst creation. <laughs> Not bad for Kevin. Not bad for <laughs> Kevin. Oh, man. Poor Kevin. Oh, I wasn't going to say that, but, you know. Because it wasn't right. Uh, if there's anyone who will say, Hunter, Hunter, we'll go for it. I'll go. Every time. Am I even going the right way? Yeah, okay, I'm going the right way. Mm. Doesn't seem like there's much soft snow on the way up, at least. Yeah. I, I, earlier, the first piece of snow I hit was soft snow. <laughs> was bullshit. On his way up? That's just you, <laughs> though. On my way up. No, it was over you... behind me. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, come here. Like, look at this fuck. Oh, yeah, Where there's a bunch you? of soft snow right next to, like, right next to your sh stuff. When I was I know planting he... some of those trees, I stepped Oh, right. you mean on your side? Yeah, yeah but that's side. that's your side. Of course it, there's going to be soft snow. I had to dig myself out of the soft snow right there. Well, boom, there's less soft snow to deal with now. Yeah, only, mm -hmm. only a little bit less, though. You're a regular Still, old mountain man over there. Do you collect much glass or sand, which will be then turned into glass? You got enough. Right a little bit. Nice. Hell yeah. By a little bit, I mean you, you probably grab like several several hundred things. I got sand. quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's what I thought. Hey, Hunter, can you spare any glass? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would you even ask that? All right, so fill me in here. What's what's going on? I'm working on it. <laughs> Okay, so you're I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you to it. No, it's a it's a master uh, idea here. Mm. Bold words. You probably, you probably wouldn't even understand it. If no, I, if I, I don't. To tell you. I don't got my architecture degree. You, you need a PhD, actually. I need, I need my doctorate in buildings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doctorate in buildings, like I got mm -hmm. mine. Yep. Where did you get yours? The clown college. Got him. Owned out. Tried to jump to the platform. Yeah, look who got owned now, yeah. bitch. <laughs> there we go. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I see you. I see, I see. So is this going to be the floor, or is it just going to be... You're going to make a glass... Wait. What the hell what? are you doing? I'm working here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I'll just see. How I don't understand what you're doing right now, but I'm sure it'll all come together. Oh, it will. Like any good plan does. Ow, my plan. My plans always come that. together. Don't question. Can I make glass stairs? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. I Doubt think, it. But I thought you were gonna ask like something very specific that would you'd get a no to and would ruin the entire thing. <laughs> I need to get some goddamn glass. You know, electricity up here. <laughs> It's almost nighttime if y'all are yeah. hoping to sleep through it. I'm on a uh, I'm on standby for bedtime. I'm just doing some last minute crafting. <laughs> but uh whenever I see you guys go to yeah, screw it. I'll just hop in bed. It's on the top of a pole over there. I'm in bed now. Ooh. Ow! He brought a bed with him. I, the pole I was standing on was my house. <laughs> so I just dropped right into bed. Sleeping through this night. Alright. Morning. You know what's bullshit? <laughs> what? You can't game it. Like, uh... Stuff, uh... In the... My glass didn't make any faster. Even though we, we slept... 
Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, it doesn't actually pass time. It just skips night, essentially. Yeah. It's kind of B baloney. Hey, talk about some BS. <laughs> I'm going to report this straight to Minecraft headquarters. Authorities. I have to uh, look at this diagram. Because I am scared. Should be. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Might as well get some materials first. Back to game. Okay, uh... Oh, I need to. Wait, how do you how do you make the uh, the deep cobblestone? So you you got to have deep cobblestone, uh, cobble deep slate. Uh, which oh, is its you own have to block. you have to mine its own thing. Okay. Yeah. Which is just I think it's basically below zero is where it starts replacing. Gotcha. Rock. Okay, so I'm gonna need to mine a shitload of that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, I have a shitload of that. I have um. One, two, three, four, five, six, Whoa. Seven, eight, what can you do with a smithing table? Do you know? Um. I don't remember. Oh, I think it's like you upgrade diamond armor into netherite armor, which is super late game shit. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, not going to worry about that right now. Fletching tables for arrows, I assume. You can make barrels? Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could actually store stuff in them, too. It's like a alternate form of storage. Yeah, that's cool. Good look, you know, you fit your aesthetic better. Very neat. <laughs> cool. I was just wondering what else I could make out of cobblestone. Right. I mean, I could make stone stone. But... That's kind of lame. Yeah. Well, you could make the stone stone into smooth stone. Which, you know, just looks fairly different. Yeah. Stone bricks are kind of cool, too. Yeah, it's true. That you can make some bricks. I think it looks kind of like the, the cobbled stuff I showed you. Just it does. It's a little lighter, you know? It's the same, ta like, uh, pattern. Mm -hmm. But the darker stuff is a little cooler. Oh my god, I could get a bunch of kelp and make my house out of dried kelp blocks. <laughs> That's a thing. Oh That's a thing. Oh, you can make it out of hay bales. Well, oh my god. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You can make yours out of hay. Somebody can make theirs out of sticks. No, we're not doing <laughs> like that. Mine's out of wood. That's close enough. Yeah. Uh, Kevin's is out of stone. Yeah, we're pretty much there already. Just need a big bad wolf. <laughs> yeah. Is that you? Since you don't have a house that means that. <laughs> well, criteria? I mean, mine's, I, mine's I'm, made out of wood. Uh, or would it double wood um yeah I'll, I'll go train some wolves and i'll come back yeah that's true they do exactly. exist they can blow our houses down <laughs> gonna do shit to my house <laughs> it's nice because it's not built exactly they can't <laughs> do anything <laughs> yeah. to it <laughs> oh, you've got wolves them. are no threats to me i'm homeless <laughs> yeah the homeless yeah, population is immune to wolves <laughs> Probably the most. They're, they're probably the most at risk, actually. Yeah, I'd say they're the most at risk. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I want to build my house out of. I mean, I could just do polished. Polished stone isn't so bad. So we, we have three Ingrams. types of wood here Oopsies. right now. Um, you know, we oh, have the. Get back uh, in there. The what is uh? Oh, yeah. What's spruce? What do those logs look like? Those are the light colored ones that uh No birch are light. Oh, okay. Spru okay, spruce, yeah. Spruce are the ones that are like the tall evergreen looking ones. Those are darker, they're what my house is made of right now. Um, but they're not as dark as dark wood or dark oak is what it's called. Mm, yeah. Um, dark oak's cool looking. Dark oak is really cool looking. I have not found any dark oak, unfortunately. No. But Stone. Yeah, that I think that's the darkest wood there is. I'll hold uh, this for now. I can't remember where jungle wood is on the scale. I think it's 
kind of more of an orangey. Uh, probably on the darker side. I imagine. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. All right, back down into the mines. I got to get some of that. Uh, maybe I have to get some of that rock. What's happening here? No. What? Why can't I do this? Oh. Wait, what? It's okay. Trying to break the law over there or what? Not letting him. No. Yeah. Fight the law, the law wins. this up sometime. So, you know the slabs that are basically a half block? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to put two different types of slabs on top of each other, and I don't know if they're compatible. <laughs> Which is bullshit. The old double slab technique. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, you could put two of the same slab together, but as soon as you try to... What? Oh my minutes. god. There's so much water. Well, we are by the ocean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, goddamn. I don't want to make myself, you know, swim in order to, you know, get to my, my oh, splunking. mines. Splunking! Splunking scares the shit out of me. I know. <laughs> that's one thing I well there's a lot of things in life I'd probably never do but that's up there yeah same also dumb question uh, wood's watertight in this game right yeah yeah uh, how am I going to do this I think I just need to make a ladder yeah screw it it's going to look kind of stupid, but I don't want to make a spiral staircase through water. I'm just going to make a pipe, Super Mario Bros. style. Hell yeah. And I am going to make the noise every time I go through it. What noise is that? Wham, wham, wham. You know, going down yeah. the pipe. I think I nailed it. Oh, I just need, like, all sticks. Okay. This is bullshit. Why can I not do this? This is bullshit! <laughs> Get owned by Minecraft. Is 15 enough? Let's make more. Surely 18 will be enough.
not happy about this. <laughs> no? Uh, this is some baloney. Why, why could you not do this? Minecraft, you're... It's 2022. What have you been doing all this time? What is all your coding going towards if it's not this? <laughs> not this one specific interaction? Well, your every just, need and want? It's, it's just like... It's literally just two slabs, you know? It's like... Minecraft used to be about the people. Well, back when Minecraft was owned by or Notch, people. who's a wonderful human. Yeah. Perk's great. Yeah. Real activist, too. Yeah. Now he's hella rich, though. Hell yeah, he is. Can't take that away from him. Well, you could, maybe, but... He can take that away from himself. Right. What? Do you not have a torch over here? Wait. Alright, well, Wait. I hope this oh, doesn't end up here? ugly. I have to make... <laughs> uh oh. I took that as a threat towards Minecraft itself. Oh man, you can't actually do that. That's weird. You can't have a torch across from a ladder. Oh yeah. You have to build a wall. Or dig out a wall or whatever. Yeah, that's unlucky. Okay, looks like I'm s Oh shit. Good to start There's making There's a creeper that's like Almost on my bridge. <laughs> He's ready to strike. And I hope not. Are you guys ready for bed? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll have to climb back up. But... <sighs> At least I can do that now. I will admit going up and down a uh, spiral staircase is kind of a pain, but <laughs> yeah. But hey, I'm any, I'm going down. Like any kind of going up is annoying in Minecraft. Like a uh, yeah, a ladder takes... isn't very fast. No, but it works. Hey, that's my cue. It's scary. I like can't lay in bed and wait for you guys. I, I got attacked the other and night doing that. Like, <laughs> yeah. You were like scarred after the one time you died for it. Essentially. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I think that'll look okay. I hope. I'm actually kind of scared. Just make another pickaxe. Before I go down. I doubt I'll go through this one, but... Reaper. <laughs> Get the hell out of here! I feel that. Oh, yeah. I just looked over on the side and I saw. I need to figure out stuff to do for points. Ooh, points. I hit affiliate. Oh. I have channel points now. Affiliate? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, oh yeah. you had a lot of faith that, I, in me, Hunter, huh? <laughs> I didn't know that's when you got channel points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They give you a lot of this shit now early for Twitch. I know you got you got that because you sent me a picture of it earlier. Yeah, I did. But I guess I just didn't associate it with Twitch points for some reason. I just no, you get it at the same I just time. I thought everyone yeah. got those. No, it's only the privileged. You know what I want? I want a... Uh... Hollow Knight redeem. A Hollow Knight redeem? I want to do... <laughs> I do a redeem of Hollow Knight noises, because some of them are super funny. Yeah, there's there's a lot of people in the... Hollow I, I watched Hollow someone Knight. who has a the Hollow Knight, the weird worm, like, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's As that is a redeem. The, uh, the grubs. Yeah, the grubs are good. Oh, I think it's the, the one thing that'll, like, jump at you or roll at you. I think that one is also... Oh, uh, is it 
the wow mushroom? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> wow, 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 or whatever. <laughs> and this is what's really going to get you guys. I have a sub. Who is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, eight, eight we weren't the prime. first one. No, and then you get a badge for being first, oh, so you'll never wait. get it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh wait, 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 isn't it like the first? It's the first many? badge. Oh wait, no, the first few get one, I think maybe. Yeah. But the number one, that one's gone forever. Nice. Who's up? Eight bit prime. He subbed before putting anything in chat, which is the funniest thing. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. So that's another another badge you miss out on, Hunter. I know you love the, collecting. The nerve of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, just perma ban him real quick and hope he strips that from No, it does it doesn't. Damn it! <laughs> also, I'm I'm not gonna do that. Wonderful way to build a community. <laughs> yeah, first one you're out. <laughs> I don't make the rules. Shout out to eight bit man, whatever his name was. Yeah, close enough. Give this up. Eight bit man wasn't eight bit gaming? Yeah. I'm not the streamer. Streamer. What's it? 8-bit squash. There squash. we go. We're so good. Yeah. That's a that's a great way to treat your yeah. first subtitle. You don't even remember. Cancelled. Name. Refunded. Man. I don't even know how that works with uh, subs. I can't even get a payout like till uh, I get a certain amount, which is fine. Because really? yeah. guess who can also run ads now? <laughs> <laughs> you can? Yeah, I can, technically. And make money off of it. Yeah. It's weird. It's, the whole thing just feels weird. You know? Yeah. In a good way. You're you're a real streamer now. Real yeah. Stre you could quit your job. Your day job. <laughs> good thing I already did. <laughs> <laughs> way ahead of you, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what oh, shoot. That's water. Bruce? Beyond water. Oh, there's more. Oh, this could look cool, actually. Oh, no. Maybe one day I'll get that VTuber model. Ooh. That's, that's how you get the big bucks. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll be it's an good. anime girl. Hell yeah. That would... I would almost do that only for Hunter's reaction. That would be enough for me. You just wouldn't see reason. it. <laughs> you just leave me. <laughs> just leave just like, we're, we're unfriend right on friend on Steam. Everything you know, don't your block number. the number. That would be pretty this funny. This guy's dead to me. Yeah. Don't even know who it is, actually. Yeah, who? <laughs> the Never fuck? Heard. How the hell do stairs work? I just put, <laughs> I just tried to put my first set down, and they came out upside down. Looking like a T. It's like a... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell him. It it goes based off of where you place it on the block. So, um, oh, so like what you want to do is put it on the floor or on the bottom half of the block that it's facing. Because otherwise, yeah, it'll come in upside down or something like that. You just kind of have to move around with it and understand how they place. It's hard to describe. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Well, I am getting the deep cobble. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It does unfortunately take a little bit longer to mine. It does, yeah, I kind of noticed that. But it looks cool. I think it's going to be more worth doing it out of this than it would be normal cobblestone. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Fuck. Flank strike or stairs strike again. <laughs> Your worst enemy. I hate him. <laughs> we got to got to get you a ramp. Ooh, lapis. Nice. Not, I, I don't think lapis is all that cool, but you know, it's cool that I found it. I'm deep. Hey, it's super cool. You do? Wow. That's cool. I respect that. 
it's, it's just like, a blue rock. What's not cool about that? Come on. <laughs> so it's diamonds. But true, diamonds are pretty cool. You got me there. Check in, mate. Yeah, take that one. Oh, this is a... This cave's a little bigger than I thought. Whoa, what is this block? Come here. My inventory's full. For you. Tough. Oh, yeah, what? tough. That's tough. Tonka tough, know. even. Oh, my tough God. The whole underwater... Oh, my God. Oh, you have a large underwater section? Yeah, it's a whole underwater part. I thought it would just be a little pool, but it... Once again, it leads to, like, a whole... Uh, section of whatever it's called. That thing that I'm too scared to do. Spelunking. Spelunking? I ain't doing no spelunking. Ooh, redstone. Now maybe Hunter can make his compass. Yeah, I don't know why, but I do really want a compass. Like, for no particular reason, I just want to have one. <laughs> it's a status don't thing, you wouldn't get it. Don't they yeah. actually point to spawn, not even, like, north? I don't, I don't know. actually remember. I think, they, that's what I think do, it does. Yeah. That does make sense, though. Oh, that's way lamer, then. I don't want that anymore. <laughs> you want to go true north, and that's it, baby. <laughs> do north, fellas. Oh. oh, my God. It's a whole nother... Underwater section. Is there air? Oh, there's air. God, you're so lucky. Now I'm spelunking. <laughs> oh. Damn it. I've been tricked. <laughs> gotcha. Only Minecraft could trick me into spelunking. What are you? I keep finding new shit because it's been so long since I've played this game. I'm gonna throw out my bowl for now. Unless they're you make super rare. Soup. Dripstone block? This block has drip. Oh, dude, that's the, uh... That's a block that can have, um... Like, stalactites and stalagmites. In fact, it does. It has a pointed dripstone on it. Which, nice. I imagine, is what you're talking about. Uh, is there anything you can do with pointed dripstone? I don't think so. Decorate. Oh, getting rid of it. Yeah, I, think it's I don't want my decorations to be cave-themed. <laughs> well, I'm in already... a cave, you know? Yeah, I know, but I don't want to think I'm homely. living in a cave. You know. It's homely. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like... A cave with nothing done to it. So what do you think? So what do you... <laughs> Love what you've done with the place. Oh, that's cool. These two sections are like connected by water. That's pretty neat. Man, I have you gotta go deeper. done so many things where I do something, then I'm like, I want that slightly different, and then I have to and you just redo go it. back and redo all of it. That doesn't Which sound healthy. The worst worst thing because like at least i get my materials back you know it's not like with glass you have to glass is gone mess up it. yeah yeah that doesn't come back i'll play high stakes yeah so where do do diamonds are they able to spawn at the same point i think so okay uh, I'd have to look it up again. I I looked it up, and I'm like, this doesn't seem right. And then I looked at other locations, and I'm like, wait a second, it was right. They changed it a lot. Yeah, it's hard to know. Oh my god. Yeah. Why is there so much water? I need water breathing potions. Oh my god, this goes deeper? I wow. need those two, actually. Well, yeah, but you, and you need it because you just well, like exploring the sea. Yeah, I just want to, hey. I want it for fun. This is for you. <laughs> Business or pleasure? Here's That's a, my pleasure. Uh, here's a suggestion that I know that Hunter will take it because of how he works. Um, it's a what? He's got a suggestion I'm for gonna, you. I'm, yeah, I've got a suggestion. So there is this thing that you could get from raising turtles. <laughs> raise to, turtles? Yeah, yeah. You have to, like, raise a turtle from, like, birth all the way to growing up. 
And when you do that, they drop like a a turtle helmet or something that <laughs> makes that makes you breathe underwater longer. You like it's not like full water immunity, but it's like way longer. Something. Yeah. And like you know, if you raise three turtles at once. Why well, to do that? Get three of those. So, so I can get three of my own helmets? I mean, you could uh, possibly share, but I know that's not in your nature, so. No. I would never. It. One thing of iron in that cluster. The game's stingy. Big haul. Gotta probably buy the rest of the iron in a microtransaction. What's game? I shouldn't say that when this game is owned by Microsoft and Xbox Game Pass is actually like a good deal. Surprisingly enough, it is. We'll, we'll let him have that. Yeah. Damn, that was the first creature I'd seen in a while. Of course it's a creeper. Really? I'm over here fighting for my life trying to make this fucking bridge. <laughs> oh, is it night? I'm yeah, I'm swashbuckling night. zombies and I, off and I'm in shit. deep. I yeah, am... I'm... I didn't want to pull here. you out of there, because I know you're probably real. Yeah, you, you gotta wait till I complete the mission. The shader has some really nice. When it rains, like all surfaces get wet and they're all reflective, and it's just very cool. That's somewhere we're playing on base. Mission complete. Got a boy. Yeah, just go ahead and grab a couple of those for me too while you're down. What? There was only one. <laughs> Oh, that's lame. <laughs> the cluster. Yes, uh, Where's the rest of the them? Worst. Oh, man. Well, there might be more that I missed on the way over. Potentially. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Where the hell am I? I can go up Down. pretty far here. I. This is... Is this going to look really cool? It already looks pretty cool from my perspective. But like, I think this is a massive, massive cavern I'm in. What happened? Oh, fuck! There's a spider, hold on. <laughs> if I, uh... Okay. Delete the, raw, the, the ground underneath my treasure chest. Uh, Do they float, just, or does it just blow up? It floats. Fuck! Oh. You want him to blow it up? What did I get hit by? Oh, no, a skeleton I, archer. Uh, oh, Ouch. shit. Ow. Reaper right there, Wall next hack. to my toolbox. Damn bridge. That was an actual wall hack. I was hiding behind the wall and he sniped me. Oh my god. Nice headshots, dude. <laughs> he got me good. Uh, I need they to hit you them. over your shield. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that must have been what happened. They can do that? Oh, yeah. yeah. They're talented. Yeah, it's, it's kind, kind of, of bullshit, if I'm being honest. Oh, fuck those guys. I'm not impressed at all. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> what the hell? There's a cave over here? Dude, it's caves got... are sick. And it's got torches in it? Oh. Sounds like you're not the first one there. Hey, from your place, where did you mine, Tyler? Oh, Lord. Uh, I went down. And I go back, like, towards the big, uh, the mountain, or did you carve that out, too? I just went down. <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't, I haven't make any, made any cuts. Oh, Are I you wanna, trying to I make your basement? A little... No, but I want to be able to mine over here and there's a little cave without thing. us connecting yeah I, don't want to I mean it. maybe we can make like a community zone in between not like like a neutral zone you know so we can have a diplomatic negotiations oh enemies come on. what the he's in my house how'd you get here oh hey there's more of that deep random weird looking rock you found yeah. earlier mason so I looked, I looked that place up. They have like vibration sensors Whoa. that, like, they like sense vibrations and shit, as you might Makes imagine. Sense. Yeah. Um, uh, 
and they have this one that's super scary that makes a shriek noise and you'll you'll know if it goes off that thing can summon this really 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 scary enemy so if you see one of those that shrieks at you be careful <laughs> it uh it, i'm encountered one and it killed me very quickly through a wall it goes off vibration too yeah how does it do that um like tremors yeah like planting like if... blocks breaking blocks um jumping moving if you sneak i don't think it will track you but yeah he's got to sneak around this fucking monster yeah what about a creeper exploding oh that'll probably do her. okay there's one near me got to put her down quiet yeah i'm not 100% about that but it sounds like something that would happen yeah okay i'm just going to leave I don't have enough diamonds to do anything, which is uh, a a bummer. Make shovel. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. I appreciate your optimism, actually. Trying to know? help, man. Yeah. Give you some ideas. Saying I could really use a shovel. <laughs> you could. You're trying to. <laughs> what am I trying to do? Ruin the desert and beaches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cancun Speaking won't of... exist after you. Speaking of. Cool. Uh, actually, the um, what's it called? The the hoe is what you use to break those blocks. That's deep dark blocks yeah. or whatever. Which is oh, really? weird. Yeah, is the weird. hoe is almost never used for stuff. It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. But because of that, and because hoes will break tree branches faster, I've actually almost gone through a whole diamond hoe, which is like that weird. One of those that achievements weird. that never happens, you know? Made it. You actually made one? Yes. <laughs> I always go for that because I'm like, I want to do this for once. And then I, uh... Then, you know, I might actually do it this time. Yeah. Alright, I'm making my way back up. Well, it's about, uh, sunlight. Or Perfect. Sunrise anyway, so. I'll get a little nap in, maybe. I just need to get back up and deposit a bunch of shit. Seven. Then I'll probably head back oh, into yeah. the mines. Maybe. I don't think I have much to... to, to build. On. Wait, what? No. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> what? No. He just... really swerved us into a dark place. Yeah. I'm already in a dark place here in Minecraft. The caverns. Indeed. What the hell is this? <sighs> this stupid hold down space and get back up. Boing, boing. Yeah. yeah I do want a bit more of an overhang, I think. <laughs> Where the hell did I. Wait. Where did I start? Ow. Ow. Uh oh. just forgot where I needed to go. Wait. Maybe not. Where do I go from here? The last time. How does this look? Take a step back. Ooh. I do kind of like this. Monster. There's a zombie somewhere. It's probably through here. So I'm not going to go through there. Maybe he's up there too. He's ass. Hmm. <laughs> Just for fun. Yeah. Minecraft's about sending a message. At times it is. How am I... How have I already lost where I came... Oh. There we go. 
need to stop raining. One can get you all turn, turned around, huh? Yeah, I like... The way I came up is like hidden around a corner. I'm terrible about that, though. I will always, like... I don't really... The only defense I have against getting lost is I put torches on the right side. Sometimes that's not enough to not get lost. That's what I do. And yeah, it helps in a lot of cases, but sometimes it's not enough. Yep. Was it raining out there? It is. Yeah. I can hear I it. I wish it wasn't, because I'm trying to, trying to have a nice view of my house to see how it looks, and it's just, you know, It was raining. Raining. Raining cats see. and dogs out here. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. Fuck. It's a nice rain. Very clean. Mm -hmm. Made my first glass mistake. Damn. See how this looks. Let's, uh, let's go deeper. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I really appreciate that all this is one to one. <laughs> Thank goodness, the deep slate stuff. Oh yeah, it sucks. Oh, like the combining. Yeah, it so sucks miserable. if you spent four to get one, like several times in a row. Yeah. Probably need Part of me wants to pass. build this one block higher, but how much work would that, that require? It require me to do the whole half <laughs> roof again. Well, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Yeah. No, did that block fall? Ow! Ow! I fell way down. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I think it's glass time. Oh, well, well, before I do that, though, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna actually make this entry work. This entryway. What if I built a giant-ass staircase ac across the whole ravine? You actually had to enter from the opposite side. That'd be really like stupid. a pain in the ass. Yeah, that sounds really <laughs> like a pain. I'd build a secret entrance for myself. What about half it would just be a ladder. A ladder straight that? down, probably. Yep, that's absolutely what it'd be. Maybe half, half of one up. Would that be better? Hmm. I'm thinking out loud. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thinking out loud. You should be a streamer. Yeah, true. My God. You could catch me at a pretty steep, huh? Twitch.tv no. slash Jimmy Lightning. Where wow. Where I'm right now. With double underscores because there's a bunch of other Jimmy Lightnings that took all my name combinations except the stupid one. Is there really? 
Yeah, there is. And I, maybe with the newfound affiliate status, I'm going to petition Twitch. Get these people off the platform. <laughs> I can get yeah. my name. I'm one of you now. <laughs> does it tell you, like, this person is an active user or anything like that? I don't think it does. Yeah, because I know, yeah, I think if you're, like, I've heard people say, like, petitioning for a... Uh, like a new name, they'll like maybe look them up or something and be like, "Yeah, this." I think this if you're a certain, yeah, if you're big enough, they'll do that on Twitter. I know for people who have a solid following, they'll get rid of old accounts, or you pay the, you know, pay whoever has the account. Like, hey man, sneak me that username. I'll give you twenty bucks. Yeah. If I had a username that somebody really wanted, I'd. I'd try to get the most money I could out of them. Oh, absolutely. If they were... If I knew they were rich, at least. Yeah. If, if they weren't like rich, some, yeah, I wouldn't do if that. there's some niche micro-celebrity, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Yeah. But if they're like... I don't know. Joe if I Yeah, if I accidentally had Bill Gates' handle, you know? Yeah. And he's like, hey, I'm looking to get into Twitter. I feel... You know, I want to feel young again. I'd be like, well, I'd Bill... Like, hey, the the Bill Gates account. Yeah. <laughs> my name's, my name's, yeah, I know, crazy. My name's nowhere close to that, but I just happen to have this name. It's going to cost you one billion dollars. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Probably, probably a mill, though. You know. Yeah. <laughs> right, he's Bill he Gates. <laughs> he can afford it. He can oh, yeah, he can afford a lot of things. A million yeah. dollars. And even if he says no, that's where negotiating starts, Bill. I don't make the rules. Yeah. yeah. Make me an offer. Yeah, make me an offer I can't refuse, Bill. I would also call him Bill, first name basis. Mr. Gates. That's just how close you two are, huh? Yeah, I know, me and Bill are tight. Why the fuck did I get a poisonous <laughs> potato? Uh, that's, that's how they be sometimes. Yeah, get owned. How Is there any way to that? unpoison them? think so Is, can you make a poisonous stew with poison potatoes i don't know you're asking the right questions though yeah i'm, I'm going further that is important yeah you see you know you want to know too i do they got me curious god i screw so many fucking potatoes <laughs> yeah they they come fast you'd make the irish proud Wait, how does this look from the inside? Well, that looks good. Actually. Wait. I care about more how more about how it looks from the outside than the inside. Because <laughs> other people aren't going to see uh, that. The, the pillagers inside. are here. Where? Dude. They spawned in the same spot as last time. There's four of them just chilling at the bottom. They're staring at me because I, I don't know why. I pissed them off the one time. Last time I had arrows to snipe them, but I don't know. You remember where they were last time? It's like the tip of the water meeting the land. This is the dumbest fucking treasure map I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's just an X and there's zero markers. <laughs> oh, it's because We've you not have been to there. kind of fill them in. Oh, there's multiple? No, I think you have uh, yeah. to have been to the spot, right? Or do you need more maps? Yeah, I think you need to have been to that spot. Yeah, because so, that's how you fill a map in, is by having been, been there. Yeah. Oh. To What you can do, like, I think it shows you, right? You're, like, on the edge of the map or something? Yeah. So, yeah, you just have to, like, read the map and, like, okay, if I'm in the southeast, I need to go to the northwest. Yeah, that sort of thing. I don't have a compass. I don't know what direction those are. <laughs> well, well. You, you always hold the map north-facing, so that's that's good. That's a start. Uh, and then the other way is press F3, and it'll tell you. True. Facing north or whatever. Tyler, so are oh. you are you still deep in the dungeon? Nope, I'm right here. No, you're not. Oh, nice. Hunter, how are you? Oh god, I don't know what I did to my back when I was sleeping. Oh. Ooh. I gotta stretch. Oh. A little bit. A good stretch is good for the. I don't know. I need to do it more. I 
Just want to have a three wide staircase in, probably. Oops. <laughs> well, that doesn't help my case. I've been tearing through pickaxes, it feels like. Out of the mines for a while. Oh. Let me just run across here and see where I end up. <laughs> I'm almost dead just because of dumb wall damage from jumping up and down off my roof. <laughs> I've been doing that too. Like, I'll drop down, look at it, take a little bit of damage, do it again. Yeah. I think I'll use all my cobblestone to make my temporary. Staircase. I don't think I'll keep it as cobblestone though. It's gonna be pretty ugly looking. Yeah. But. Unfortunately, the thing about the house I'm making, I can't. I kind of plan on making it bigger <laughs> at some point. So. Am I just gonna have to redo all this shit again? Maybe, but that, you know, you'll get to play so much more Minecraft. Fun never stops. Yeah. It's like uh, extending your own game time. The amount of enjoyment you'll get out of it. It's genius. It is, honestly. They think about it. Nice. So I'm now having I fun have now. Real. But imagine how much fun you'll have doing it again. Yeah. It's an investment for the future. It is. Fun investment. What do Ooh. pigs eat? Uh, carrots. Carrots, yeah. If you need some carrots, I have a shit ton. I also have a lot. I'm yeah. just I'm just bringing in some uh some sheep. And I was like, why in the fuck is this <laughs> this uh, pig not following me? Oh, yeah. You're picky bastards. Thought I was getting pranked. Now I have to step back and have a look at it again. Mm -hmm. Is wool hope. good for anything other than beds? You make wool blocks that serve as like colored blocks. If you wanted to make something like fill out a certain color, I guess. No. Yeah. You can have sure it like carpet. Sure. Have some like ugly carpet, like it's the seventies. Okay, now you're talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that might get you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, now there's an actual easy way to get to my house. <coughs> the staircase. Yeah, it's yeah, ugly, boy, boy, boy. but functional. And it's, you know, a solid placeholder. No, come on. Let me let me break the the under part of this. Don't be don't be like this video game. All right, fine. Do it your way. You get XP for feeding uh, the cows or <laughs> sheep. Yeah, ranching's a viable Minecraft uh, career. Yeah. All right, Hunter, where are you? I'm, uh, in my farm right now. All I'm right. in the pen with the animals. You are the animal. I don't know. <laughs> you just I agreed. Cage. <laughs> it's for, this cage is actually for me. To keep you guys safe. <laughs> you, you guys ever seen that Rob Schneider movie? see the beast come out of the cage. <laughs> no, I don't think I have. What? Oh, come this way. Glass. 
Yes, where are you? Are you... Well, you better be. I just cool walked over the this. tree. Come on. No respect. Hey. <laughs> I'll do more. See this? See yeah. how easy that is? <laughs> easy what? what? <laughs> A little deforestation happening. Don't worry about it, though. I kicked Hunter's ass afterwards. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. But here's the entrance. Is this is this not going to interfere with what you're doing? That's fine. Okay. Just wanted to... I don't know. No, I was asking about... Because back here... Come here. Yeah, I'm coming up. Right this way. This area. Yeah, okay, okay. How that goes down. might actually... Oh, okay. If you go this way, you're probably fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was down there. <laughs> Must have found something to mine. I was, it's was probably like a... A little bit of... That looks like coal. Yeah, probably. Yeah, and there's no way you'll run into me. Hit the jackpot, though. What's that? Ooh, that's iron. Good for you. Thank you. That's the, these are the second and third iron blocks of, of a mine this game. <laughs> second and third? You've mined one piece of iron? Yeah, I found it earlier today. <laughs> you, you only found iron today? Not yesterday? Or two nope. days ago? Nope. He's, a, he's a menace. You're a gamer. Work, I work at my own pace. Yeah. Hey, how many animals do you guys have, alright? True, none. Hey, can I borrow some animal? Fuck no. <laughs> you can stay the hell out of their pen, though. Alright, deal. Set up a golem as a guard. Uh, can I? I don't think so. I feel like I might need one now. Yeah. Now that Mason's on the detect loose. a threat. I wonder if it would look good. Better not make your house out of wood, Mason. I'll come burn it down again. Oh, shit! Not again! Hop to bottom, wood! That's right, I'm about to be on a wooden bridge, so... <laughs> <laughs> you set my house on fire, I can't even escape! Yeah, you start at both ends, you just gotta, yeah, you just gotta, yeah, I was gonna say, you'd have to, like, try and run to the other side. Light oh, the fuse, know, baby! You know what I could, yeah, I could, I could, like, set up a fuse to blow up one side, oh and my then God, start a yeah. fire on the other. You could, you could TNT both ends of it, and then just, like, oh. play, it'd be just... One tube with no sides. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's another I, idea. I put lava underneath. <laughs> yeah. I'll just Re fuck him yeah, up. Just replace that whole river with lava so my <laughs> yeah. escape route. <laughs> yeah, ruin nature's beauty over there. Just to. Just, <laughs> just, to, kill to, just for flexing. Yeah, just to ruin like days of my work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm setting a up a tree. I have to have this tree farm so I can get wood for my fucking bridge. So it's kind of why I'm at a standstill. That's why. That's why. Did you notice I gave you some wood and some some birch yeah. sampling? Yeah, I planted uh like all those trees. Good. Yeah, I just I planted I think sixty or seventy trees. You know. <laughs> Dang. Hey, uh, you got a traveling merchant here. He. What does he want? Selling a sea pickle. He wants emeralds. <laughs> A like sea, a sea pickle, sea dude. pickle, eh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like the sound of that. I, I think I got <laughs> sold the sea pickle in high school. If you know what I mean. What does it mean? <laughs> you know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it just a, sounds very innuendo-y, which is, yeah, you, you know, uh, I thought, Mason, I thought you were going to hit us with a, like, a, kind of a D's nut style, like sea pickle, sea pickle, like <laughs> yeah. you know, that'd be a terrible like D's nuts. Show. Yeah, it's a it's a real sea pickle that's actually in his inventory right now. I hate that I like D's nuts jokes, lowest form of comedy. <laughs> but god damn it, they're so good. <laughs> they're funny. I like that they were like, cause I knew D's nuts jokes. I was hearing those in like high school, but then they got really popular again. Yeah. I don't know why they did that, but they did. No, I'm not gonna complain though. I guess. Like, yeah, funny. I think like Twitch donations. I think it was Twitch, yeah, because they would like get you know get streamers to like they'd get them to see these nuts, and you know it caught on from there. And Wendy's. Yeah, well, I what was the one the cassette or the tape players? Oh, sorry. Wasn't there one about that? 
Such a oh, movie. I feel because not. Oh, not it's CD. CD's nuts it's or CD, something. Yes, you, you, yep. you know, you heard it was the like, CD. Do you prefer, it's like, do you prefer a tape or a CD? They're always like CD, and they're like CD's, CD's nuts. nuts. You like, you like fitness, fitness dick in your mouth, like yeah. you like <laughs> dragons or goblins. Dragons, or yeah, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's actually so many. It's some. You heard the mind goblin, mind <laughs> goblins one. I know. I don't know what, how it goes, but I've heard of it. I know there's a mind, goblin. Really. Like mind goblin. Mind goblin. Goblins. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I hate that it's funny. Hang on. There's one. There's one. How did it go? Shit. I've completely lost it. I had something. And I lost it. Is it gone forever? It was probably what? hilarious, but now we'll never know. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for depriving oh, us like of comedy. Hope you're happy. It's like some kind of town. Like, or, or, like, have you been to this town? Or maybe it was the like, the Sawcon. You know. Oh yeah, have you guys been to Sawcon? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what's Sawcon? Sawcon these nuts. Uh, it's. And then there's good. Candace. Yeah, Candace, Candace dick fit in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dumb. It's so dumb. Love it. Yeah. I I hit like everyone. I, I don't know if I hit you with it, Mason. But I can't I can't now. Cause it's too late. I think you hit me. I, yeah. Yeah, I hit like everyone. I hit Tyler, Bryce, and Kevin, Jill, and Zach. All with all with like the same one is great. <laughs> that sounds pretty fun. Those idiots. Yeah. Those no. idiots. <laughs> Have you heard? It's like uh, do you prefer e girls or i ladies? <laughs> so what? what I, I walked lady? right into this. I ladies one. nuts on your face. Like come on. <laughs> It's so <laughs> dumb. I yes, I got nailed good. by it. <laughs> the hell's I an island? Bamboozled. Oh, my. It's so I heard stupid. Heard out a Twitch donation too. That's a good one to steal it from. Who was it? Who the? Who got hit with it? Was it Poob? It's Aqua FPS. It was Aqua. Okay. Still funny. Wait, do raw potatoes poison you? In this, like they would in real life. I don't, I don't know if you can even eat poison them. you. Yeah, potatoes, uncooked no, potatoes. Are like, uncooked ones can be. I've watched I, my friend eat raw potatoes before. Yeah, that's I, not good. I think <laughs> I, if he, you, he's still alive, though. I think <laughs> they can poison you. Yeah, I think if they're like green, they could poison you. Yeah, but you know, it's not like a guarantee or anything. You're just gonna get owned. But yeah. Potatoes, I though. thought potatoes were better than that. No, they're poisonous. Technically, that's speaking. fucked up. I, I want to look it up actually. Watch you guys be like totally wrong. Like, no, no, they're potatoes are actually the most least deadly plant in the world. Like, I don't think they're any. Are. I bet they're not least you know less dangerous than like carrots, which you can just like eat straight out of the ground. I don't. Tennis is in the ground. <laughs> Fair point. Boom. Yeah. Two chains. I need another chain. What are you singing over there? Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm saying I need two chains. Like. Like I actually need a couple chains. I didn't even know you could get chains in this game. Yeah. Come into my house. You'll see. I swear, God, if you have like a sex done, like the the <laughs> fucking hand clamps, the, the you know you can like. Pull people like Shrek, like they're having Shrek 2 when they're in prison, those? No. I swear to God, if you just have those like hanging behind your bed. Dang, they served raw potatoes at a school in South London, and then like 78 of them got sick. Did he die? No, actually, they all made it. But, uh. That's wow, they were, they were boiled and they were still bad. Damn. <laughs> I don't want to believe this. But it's mostly it, the green is bad. The green is yeah, what's bad. I don't it, think it's raw necessarily. It's no, I mean there's the there's like a toxin technically in like the skin, but yeah. if it's cooked, but it's like the the sprouts basically. It's mm -hmm. fine if you just eat the skin, I suppose. But if it's really like sprouted, you know how they do. Yeah, yeah that's bad. Don't eat that. I've uh, pulled those sprouts off of my potatoes and still ate them before. Well, you did the right thing then. <laughs> yeah. Unless you yeah, pulled, you know, pull, pull the sprouts off and then just eat them alone. <laughs> mm, the best part. Flavor. <laughs> Delicious. I actually keep them for so long. I they grow the sprouts and I leave them so they keep growing sprouts. Yeah. 
And the supply of the sprouts. I've definitely stored potatoes under the fridge and, you know, picked up some... Oh, gnarly. it turned to liquid? I, I know. Oh, yeah, that was, I forgot about or was that. that. Which one of you was that? No, that, that was, was me. That was, 100%. That was, 100%. That was one of the... That was really gross. That was super gross. Unpleasant is what I would say. I should have eaten those potatoes. It would have built me a natural antidote. <laughs> probably would have just died. I probably would have on the spot. Right there. It would have been like a cheesy they, video you game. You take one, one ladle full and you like Tom and Jerry die where you scream like grab <laughs> your chest, lock up, and fall back. Nah, I think I'm more of a Skyrim uh, ragdoll, like the spin death on spot. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You, the spin Word. death? I modded that out of my Skyrim game. I hate the spin death so much. <laughs> How about, how about the one where your, like, legs stick to the ground and you're, the rest of you ragdoll, so you're like... Oh, yeah, so I look extra dumb. Or, uh, I was thinking, like, maybe a Family Guy style, where, like, there's no frames in between, you're just standing, and then... And then you just hit the, the deck. Yeah. Those are kind of funny, I won't lie. I'll just imagine, like, all the Family Guy deaths are always, like, super gruesome, too. And they just... <laughs> they and are. they go on forever. Like, some of them, like, he gets hit by a car, he'll just, like, tumble. <laughs> Yeah, they're Blood they're everywhere. pretty nasty. Yeah. Are they still making Family Guy? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. God dang. It's a cash right, cow. Guys. I have an absurd amount of spruce uh, slabs, spruce planks. Can I, I have, have planks? Some yeah. of them. Not not all of them. I don't want to pull a Kevin, but I I will give you all of them because I have so. Okay, so I mean, these planks, you can actually stack them too tall, and they look exact. Or, I mean, these slabs, if you stack them too tall, look exactly like planks. Wait, they're just half walls? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, bring those too! Thanks. Oh, hell yeah, okay, good. Fuck yeah! We're eating good over here on the homestead. The homestead? Oh. <laughs> little home on the prairie. Yeah, you know. Uh, hell is it? Pizza Ranch has got me feeling a little different today, I guess. Oh, you got Pizza Ranch? Yeah, yeah right, we did. We did. Lucky. It's quite you're, good. You're in that group chat, you should know. I have it muted because it's not like I would have be able to, you know, Fuck. just hop on over. I, I probably do too. Why hey, do what are you doing? Get away from that. Why do you have a hole in there? Don't worry about it. For here lava, it's a trap. No. Here you go, here you go, here you go, uh, here you go, and here you go. Do you want any trap doors? Wait, yeah? There's 34 of them. What did they? they trap did you? You've already be fallen victim. Ah, oh, that's step one. <laughs> oh, sick. Ooh. Are these super Ooh. obvious though? What? Uh, like, yeah. Yeah. You're not actually gonna trap anyone with it. Damn. I was hoping I could put like. Oh, well, well, you might get Kevin. Oh, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. For example, if you put planks around it, you know it'll be harder to see. Oh, okay, I got that but it's still got those those like looks like fucking train tracks on it, right? Yeah. Like but... the other ones don't have those. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's an idea. Okay. No, so I got you... it. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. Okay, so it's. All right, I'm gonna build this entire thing just to prank Kevin once. <laughs> so it? gonna gonna be beach themed. So I'm just gonna put sand on it, and I'm gonna put line it with tons of trap doors, so the trap doors will open, the sand will fall out, and so will Kevin. Okay, so you like that? Here's an idea to hide them. You can what? You could put like alternating trap doors and other blocks, but only one of them has a like a trap, like a pressure plate hooked up to it. So they'll just be walking over and like, oh, these are just for decoration, and then. One of those times, they'll step on the trap door, and then that one will fall. Brilliant, right? What should I put in the trap door? Lava? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Lava breaks items afterwards, so that one actually sucks. Yeah, that would actually be, like, brutal. I don't know. Uh, lure, like, a bunch of monsters or something. I don't know if they... They'd probably despawn, but... Um... Ooh, ooh, snow. Put the fucking powder snow in there. Oh my god. No, it's just gonna kill you because you can't get out of it. Yeah, you can't. Exactly. Just break it. Yeah, but then you're still stuck in, in my trap. Like, you gotta be able to get out of it still, I feel like. Alright, well. Um. Um. Yeah, I don't know. 
is if you fall on torches, you don't take damage, do you? No. Oh, gotcha. Singe, singe your toes. <laughs> Got him. All right, I'm out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Hey, do you, do you need anything? Or are you good? Um, glass. <laughs> get out of here. Take have. my glass. Take my glass. I, I, well, I, I said you didn't I'm... want glass, or you needed it. I'm probably good for now. Just remember this in the future, all right? Don't you say owe I never me. did nothing for you. <laughs> I don't like this. It's like you can just... <laughs> Hold it over your head. Leverage. I could call at any moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been. Is the hours. very first wood we stream? Oh, okay. But. All right, bye, gamers. Yep. Goodbye, anyone who might still be hanging out, lurking. I'm gonna peace out. Thanks for chilling. I'll see you next time.